Welcome to the Virtual RV Show. My name's David McCrary. If you're here for the first time, very much welcome. It doesn't make any sense. If you're back again, thanks for coming back. We absolutely love you guys hanging out with us all day talking about RVs. Let me tell you what we got going on today. All kinds of fun stuff. If you're if you're new to it, listen, we have a blast here every time we do a virtual RV show. Uh, we've got walkthroughs, obviously. We're going to be walking through a bunch of RVs. We've got giveaways. I'll get to that in a minute. We're going to do a giveaway. we got tips and tricks. I'll give you just a teaser. There's something going on right now with a lot of RV dealers because people are ordering their RVs. By the time they get their RVs, the RVs are raised a little bit in prices. And there's, there's like some small writing, some small print in the contracts that people are signing and the sales agreement that says, hey, there's a good chance you're going to pay more once this is delivered. We'll tell you how to avoid that, uh, that surprise. And then uh, what else? We've got some, we might do some magic. We got some celebration to do. <laughs> uh, and uh, let me talk about sponsors real fast. We've got sponsors, uh, Equalizer, Hitch. We've got Blue Ox, uh, Dish Outdoor, NTG, NTP Stag. They're new, sorry, NTP Stag. Uh, and Passport American, of course, RV Wholesalers. It's just going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Now, there will be times when you'll see, like as I'm walking through an RV, you're like, did he change his clothes? No. Some of these RVs that we walk through today have been pre-recorded. The reason we do that is because obviously you know that inventory is low all around the country. So we want to still show you a wide variety of RVs. So we're showing you some that we walked through last month, whatever. But here's the cool thing. Because we're live, like I'm live right now, because we're live, you can ask questions in the chat and we can come on after we walk through that RV and answer those questions for you. Sometimes they'll answer the questions for you in the chat, but either way, you are good to go today getting all the inf information you need to know. Let's do it. Should we do the giveaway? So here's how we're going to do a giveaway. I, I do magic for a living and we're going to do a little bit <laughs> to find our first winner. Before we do that, I'm going to show you what the winner gets. Check this out. So here's the deal. Here's how we're going to find our winners. On this deck of cards, every card has a name of somebody who's been registered. Now we have over 5,500 people registered for this. They did that at virtualrvshow.com. If you haven't done that yet, go do that. Absolutely free, but go check that Early out prizes. and uh, get registered so you have a chance to win some stuff later. We randomly picked 52 from that list. I've got them written down on on the uh, cards here. We get a close up here, I'll show you. Like, uh, let's see if we can make sure, get a close up. There's a camera, look at that cool shot. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we've got Stuart, Stuart Haskin, if you're out there watching, congratulations, you're in the, the, in, in the uh, drawing to win. Jerry Stewart, we've got uh, Ronnie McCall. But anyways, those folks, those 52 have a chance to win that Passport America. Uh, also on that virtualrvshow.com is a schedule. Let me throw that out there real quick. If you need to know what's going on and when an RV is coming up that you want to see, uh, you, can, you, can, you can find it there. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to eliminate some of these names. The way we do that is just randomly go through and turn some cards face up and leave some cards face down. We're going to get rid of a bunch of uh, cards like this. So when I do that, we've got some cards now face up. For example, there's uh, Marty Felders. There's uh, Gloria Sheck. Her name was face down. We've got a Shovel Martin. We've got some cards back to back. So here's what we're going to do. Some cards face up, some cards face down. I'll snap my finger over it. And when I do, every card corrects itself except for, well, except for these four. Daggone it, of course. It's the, the aces. I, uh, I had my name on the aces, David. Studley McCrary on the aces. So I am no longer in the running, which is not fair. But here we go. Uh, Tim, you want to help me find the winner? Sure. You know, you can't, uh, friends and family can't win. Prizes. I know, I try I, every I, time. I try to be a stickler for the rules time. here, but. So, uh, Tim, what you're going to do, 
is you're gonna cut the deck. Cutting the cards, obviously random. Lift off about a third of the deck. Lift it straight up. One third off? Yep. Okay. Flip them over, set them face up on top of the deck. Perfect, we'll square those up like that. Uh, Michelle Hoffman, you may be in the running, we don't know. Flip those up a little, or lift those up a little higher. How many? Uh, I'm sorry, go a little deeper. And flip those over. Two thirds maybe? Yep, Something perfect. Like flip them over. Throw those down there. Uh, Stuart Haskin, you may, well, you're not in the running because here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna spread these out Stuart. and we're gonna go to the first face down card we come to. The first face down we card, card we come to right here, that will be our winner. And this is And this, this is, is our it. winner. This is it, this, win, right this person wins right the passport. There. Happens to be uh, Melinda, <laughs> Melinda Walker. Nice. Congratulations, Melinda Walker. You have won the Passport America. That's pretty cool. That's 50% uh, off over 1,400 RV parks nice. around the country. That's awesome. So, so there you go. Congratulations, Melinda Walker. We will have more giveaways today, but please go get registered because we a lot of those a lot of those winners come from um, folks that have been registered. Maybe every once in a while they'll do like a a caller or something like that. Uh, but what do we got to do now, Tim? We have a birthday. We have a birthday. <laughs> we do have a birthday. I see what's going on. You're, the, so, the, let's give away another. You want to give away another prize? Yeah, yeah. What's, what is her name? Do you remember her name? Felicia. Ah, we had her name. Her birthday is today. Uh, Tavia Placella. Tavia, Tavia. I believe Tavia yeah. Placella. Tavia Placella, congratulations. You just birthday. won a birthday. Uh, gift. We'll tell you what that is later. But it's 49. I, though, Tim, <laughs> uh, am not 49. Wait, should we tell him what happened? Well, I am kind of 49. Was it not your birthday this It what, was my birthday on Monday. So I am now 49 and 368 days old. Or 4010. Sometimes I will go by 4010. So... We're gonna we're gonna eat this, and maybe we'll send maybe we'll send this I don't think to, you to don't you just point that thing at me. That's Let's terrifying. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. All right, guys, we're gonna get into we're gonna get into RVs. We're gonna get into RVs. Are we doing an RV walkthrough right now? Yeah. All right, let's go straight to an RV walkthrough right now. Happy birthday, uh, Tavia, Tavia, and David McCrary. Are you gonna sing to me? Happy birthday to me and to me. Ah, I knew that. <laughs> that was coming. Ah! Let's go to the first walkthrough. Thanks for being here, guys. This is the Columbus C Class fifth wheel, mm -hmm. right? 298 RLC, so this is an RL, rear living compass uh, okay. or C Class series fifth wheel. You get a large outside kitchen. Is that what this is? Nice fiberglass exterior. It's locked up. That's all right. Oh, she's she's locked, locked up. up on us. So um, nice double awning. The white and right? the white is sharp. Yes, the white, the white awnings are very yeah. sharp. Um, you know, Columbus right now, I believe, is the only one that actually puts white awnings really? on okay. their campers. Uh, so this one, uh, I know you can't really see it. If if you can zoom up, this has slide toppers on it. So, um, you know, that, that keeps junk from landing on top of the slide. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that also helps out with, like, warranty claim purposes. Okay. If you have a problem with that slide seal in there, having that might, not, might result in you not having a warranty issue at all. Awesome. So they are definitely worth the money. You get uh, your, then your shade awnings, huge one up front. You get another big one in the back on the outside of the slide so you don't lose real estate in the shade because the slide's there. Pass-through storage, uh, nice uh, 7,000 uh, 7, pound axles, uh, hydraulic auto leveling gear. Um, you know, there's a whole lot to compass. I mean, again, uh, Palomino. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great brand. It's awesome. They, they, they have everything you're ever going to need. Sweet. Let's go check out inside. Go inside. Try this car trick, see if I can fool you. Oh, it's a good one to do it in, too, because it's, it feels cool in here. Yeah, we'll just... Oh, here, we can actually do it standing right here, if that works. That so, works. Uh, all right. Uh, so we're going to do a trick that uses your uh, imagination as well as, like, physical movements. That's scary. If that makes any sense. Uh, so let's do this. Give these cards a quick shuffle. Show you they're all there. Because uh, everybody can count that yeah, fast. Yeah, did you count that fast? Yeah. 
normal deck. I don't use trick. I don't even know any magicians that use. See, he trick thinks deck. he's gonna get me. He's not gonna. Get me. <laughs> so here's the physical part. We're gonna randomly cut twice to get to a random card. So do me a favor. Reach down, lift off, straight up about a third of the deck. About a third of it. Good. Flip all of those face up and set them face up on top of there. Yep, just like that. Perfect. And just square those up. All right. Now you're going to cut down a little further. This is the second random cut. One cut is random. Two cuts, even more random. So cut just a little deeper. Flip them over. Yep, flip them all over. Good. Set them down there. Now, I don't want to touch them, but we're going to find a card. We're going to use the first face down card you come to. So push those over until you get to the first face down card. There we go. The first face down card, we'll use that. Flip that one over. What is that? A six. So we're going to use sixes. Okay? So that was the physical action. Uh, you actually used your hands to get to a six. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to use our imagination. I want you to picture the, the four sixes <coughs> floating in front of you right now. You got the red sixes and the black sixes. Okay? Mm -hmm. I just want you to see them floating there. This is all on you using your imagination. Now I want you to see either the red, eights, or the red six or the black sixes floating face up to the table in front of us. Totally up to you, the red ones or the black ones, but go ahead and like visualize that. Use your imagination. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so fill us in. Which which do we have on the table here? Is the black ace, uh, black, I keep saying aces, the black sixes or the red sixes? Red. The red sixes. Now we're going to mix in a little physical action and imagination. You're going to reach down and take one of those back. So either the heart or the diamond, the red, uh, the six of hearts or the six of diamonds, but reach down there and take one away. So using your imagination plus, uh, plus physical actions, all right? Which one did you take away? Six of hearts. The six of hearts? Are you sure? Is that the six of hearts? Yes. Okay. So that's your card. Good? Mm hmm I want you to, like, put that six of hearts, like, throw it towards that box like it's in the box. Okay. So here's what happened. You randomly cut to a six. We decided to use a six. You got to the point where you were holding mm -hmm. just the six of hearts, and you threw it to that box. Yeah. Let's go back to reality. Six of hearts. Your card. That's witchcraft. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. That freaks me out. You know, I was even trying to throw them off, too, because at, at first I thought six of diamonds, and I changed my mind to six of hearts. Yeah. I'm like, no, let's throw them off. That's mind control. Yeah. yeah. Mind control. Mind control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about this. Look at this sharp, sharp RV. Yeah, so in the, in the Columbus here, a lot of good features. Uh -huh. You get this huge like island right here. Right. Uh, you get like these nice uh, big power posts. Uh, there's one down there, one here. So you got two 110 plugs, couple of uh, USB plugs, and they just store right down they disappear. in there. Disappear. Um, huge deep sink, huge stainless steel residential size um, uh, range and stove. Huge name brand microwave, huge name brand stainless uh, residential refrigerator, uh, a lot of cupboard space behind Back here. You. Yeah, look at that. Even uh, possibly where you can keep like your uh, your chips ahoy up where the kids up here a little higher. It. Yep, that's where I would keep it. Personally. Up there. Yep. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. My wife, I could keep them here and she wouldn't be able to reach them. <laughs> She's a little thing. So. <laughs> and she's not watching, let, let, so I can say that. Let's, let's add that to the things you say. <laughs> See, I told you I say um, stupid stuff. Um, moving back here, you get the Allure Furniture. Uh, now, there's Thomas Paine, there's Allure Furniture. Uh -huh. um, the Allure Furniture, it, it has more of like a luxury plush feel. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily yep. sinking down into it. But it's actually got some support. I'm it, saying, it, it, it feels, feels very good. The last one, when I got that I sat in was very like I sunk into it this one yeah. this one it has support yeah it's very comfortable it's comfortable uh you know uh don't tell Mike or David I, I but you know um I you know you can fall asleep in these things I'm not saying I know somebody or I did <laughs> but somebody's Here, friend right. told me that they passed out on a lot in one of these one time um right. while they were doing a walkthrough <laughs> blamed it on heat uh, you know I don't know what it was uh, it's awesome. I'm just saying it's just that comfortable yeah, you got a lot of yeah, features, uh, USB plugins in the in, in front. front of the cup holders. Um, yeah, these here. Yep. There we go. Yep. Power recliner. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Do I can see what you? Yeah. 
Get it. Yeah, I mean, go the it, other way. You were losing me. It's a very bizarre me. story. I, I don't. I don't know who it was, but you know somebody told a story to somebody uh-huh. about a horse, and then they fell asleep, and <laughs> and a little furniture. Out. Yeah. So um, uh, huge. Seventy six inch. Uh, no, I believe this is actually the eighty inch sofa, the new uh-huh. eighty inch sofa that they're putting in the rears. Yeah. Of these, because before they used to be seventy six. I think this one's an eighty. Okay. Uh, so and it's a trifold feature, so it'll actually come out to about here. Okay. Yeah. Um, See the... You know, make into uh, practically a full uh, full size queen, uh, but each side actually comes out separate, so you can kind of set it up however, however you want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Big TV, nice fits and finishes everywhere, just to be expected with Columbus. The nice brush nickel finishes. Uh, I mean, you could talk forever about sure. it. That dark, that dark wood <sighs> yeah. is good. Palomino, um, yeah. We have somebody wanting to see the outdoor kitchen, Cheryl, I think. So hopefully we can get somebody on that to unlock that for us out there when we go back out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, have somebody. Well, we'll continue at them time to do the magic That's out right. there. That's right, make it happen. So we can go out there and flip some burgers. I had somebody asking how much coffee I have to have to do these walkthroughs yeah. all day. You have to have all the coffee. It's at all least four pots. Yes. Don't let them lie to you. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to stop here because this, uh, this is kind of a newer feature that we're seeing a lot of fifth wheels. I believe Columbus was actually one of the first companies okay. to introduce this. It's like the one-touch system. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can actually pair your phone through an app to your trailer to where, you know, if you're sitting out there, uh-huh. you know, at least two sheets to the wind. Right. You know, you don't have to struggle about coming up in here. Uh, the wind picks up. You don't have to. You just open up your phone, bring in your awning a little bit. Awesome. Um, you know bringing in the slides because your hands are full but your phone is there just you can bring in the slides while you're doing it you can activate functions of your trailer from your phone through an app wow uh, so and this is all touch screen by the way when it's all powered up uh-huh. um but yeah really nice feature uh coat closet coat closet i'm gonna say hey to erica watching out there i think from new jersey um thanks for watching checking in with us <coughs> Yep, nice big bathroom in there. Bathroom. Let me let me sneak in here, and then we'll close the door. Ah, oh, it's a big shower. It's a big shower. We'll let the camera get by. He's uh, taking care of some paperwork in there, folks. <laughs> I'm not. You can come in. I swear. <laughs> uh, yeah. I Ooh, think that, I the think the household term. I, I think the household term is, "Are you decent?" Yeah. Um, yeah. You know to. Maybe the not not so younger types out there would know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> we uh, we did a thing at my church last Sunday where I was on stage. I brought some dads up, and I had them tell us what the required dad line was after somebody said something to them or they were put in a situation. So in other words, if your kids come in and say, "Hey, dad, did you get get your hair cut?" What do you say as a dad? Um. Well. You would, well, I don't know. You'd say your ears are lowered. Ears are lowered is one, yeah. or no, I got them all cut. Uh, <laughs> if they say, Dad, can you make me a sw- sandwich? You say, um, <laughs> well, I, I, I haven't heard it like that, but okay. I heard the one where it's like, uh, I'm hungry. Hi, I'm Dad. Yeah, that was the next one. Yeah. Hi, I'm hungry. I'm Dad. If is the can you make me a sandwich? Is poof, you're a sandwich. <laughs> Those are the typical dad. Yeah, lines. that's right. And then there's other things we did, but <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. There's dad jokes are going to be the future. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. So look, look you here. Yeah, king bed, Palomino, figured out. And the mirror makes this room look so much bigger than it, it is. is. A mirror it looks here. so much yeah. bigger. Yeah. So it almost makes it look like... Uh, but it also looks make it look like there are more people in this room than there are. They're... So it kind of counterbalances. Oh, I don't know. It looks I like mean... a big room, but there also looks like there's 17 people in there. If you look back through this mirror, looking through this mirror, it goes on forever. It's an infinity mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of room for shoes, clothes, um, you know, all of, uh, uh, all of the bathing suits, everything that you could think of there there's just there's so much to talk about right. with uh, with, uh, with the palomino it's it's easy to lose place uh you know where you're at and uh um, i will say this kitchen is with us being a uh, fifth wheel this kitchen is a little higher than mm-hmm. than it is a normal. little bit it is a little bit higher um so 
you know, but you do get like a prep station. Some people might think it's a little bit higher, but I know a lot of people will uh, take like a little, um, a little like a little like sort. a little stand that'll kind of mm -hmm. set out as like a portable deck yeah. that they'll take with them. Um, you know, it, it's a lot more common than you think. But it's very uh, nice. It's still nice. Yeah, it's very nice. So it's got a the large refrigerator. Uh, it's got the sink with plumbing. Um, it's got the slide out uh, griddle, quick gas connection. So I mean, you're you're gonna set up and be ready to cook outside, really really quickly. Okay. So um, oh, you gotta flip that over if you wanna close it. Oh yeah, so, it, it, this has to we'll be flipped to over. And we store. have people that open and close these kitchens for us. Mm -hmm. we're yeah, pretty so important. one of my favorites here, yeah. the the Columbus brand. Well, just Palomino, as I've been saying. Right, is, we've had it's just Palomino's incredible. In a row. Yeah. What's the total on this? Have we talked about that yet? Uh, I don't think we have. I gotta get my cheat sheet out. Because unfortunately, I'm not a computer. Um, <laughs> so, uh, about 55 and a half. Wow. <laughs> that some of the walkthroughs were going to be pre-recorded. Obviously that, excuse me, <laughs> we eat really quick in between. Uh, that one was pre-recorded. Uh, so this is where you would do your questions or we would answer your questions after we do a walkthrough. We want to make sure we answer everything you have. So don't forget to chat. Also, totally apologize that we went from me just doing that card trick up front and then going into a card trick in there. Didn't realize that when we dropped that video in there, but more importantly, you saw a fantastic RV there. I do want to tell you what else is coming up that I forgot to mention at the top of the show. Last week, Tim and I had a chance to run up to Elkhart, Indiana area and walk through and preview some brand new 2022 RVs. We've got some exciting stuff coming up that you need to see. Uh, both like new new RVs that RVW is, uh, is going to be selling. So stay right here, ask all the questions you have, and we will be more than happy to answer them. We've got, um, what's that, Tim? Oh, Tim's yeah. talking to me. Oh, okay, okay. So on the screen below, sometimes because those we recorded earlier, we have estimated prices. So just call if you have a question. Estimated price is as close as we have as possible. But something I will mention, we're going to talk about this uh, eventually, is that if you buy an RV today and put your, 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 your deposit down, you get today's price. So if an RV is $15,000 and it's delivered three months from now and it's up to $18,000, you're still only paying $15,000 as opposed to that new price when your RV gets delivered. So we'll talk more about that later today. Uh, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube page. We've got all kinds of stuff there, plus brand new merchandise at the bottom of the YouTube page. You can get all kinds of cool shirts, including Trailer Swift shirts. If you don't know who Trailer Swift is, you'll find out soon enough. For now, let's get back into another RV. Right, Tim? Yep. All right, hitting another one. Hey y'all, it's Eric here at RV Wholesalers and today we're going to go over the 2021 Wildwood X-Lite 171 RBXL. Uh, this is going to have your rear bathroom, no slides, uh, it's got a Murphy bed inside. We're going to check all this out today. Specs are, uh, are very good on this one. Your dry weight is 3,836 pounds. Your GVW rating is 7,521 pounds, leaving you with an overall capacity about 3,685 pounds. Very light hitch weight. Exterior height is 10 foot 1 inch. And exterior length is 22 feet 5 inches. And your overall exterior width is 8 feet wide. Decent sized tanks on a trailer this size are sitting for the fresh water at 38 gallons, black water 30 gallons, gray water 30 gallons, and you get a 10 foot awning on this. Hey y'all, it's Eric here at RV Wholesalers, and today we're going to go over the 2021 Wildwood X Lite 171 RBXL. It's a great small trailer for a family. Um, you get a lot of windows, uh, you get a decent amount of uh, space, so if it's a family of three, you, you're definitely going to have space in this trailer to go out camping and have a good time. 
So what we get here is we get our outdoor speakers. You get your uh, cable and outlets out here. So if you wanted to set up a TV or something like that right underneath the awning, you can do that. Now, this one has a 10-foot awning, so you get a lot of shade coverage when you need it. Tandem axle, and they're spread pretty far apart, so it's going to be actually, for a shorter trailer, it, it will actually be uh, very stable going down the road. And, um, you know, with them, you're getting one hole, uh, one tire, and say a pothole, for example, versus both of them at the same time. So it's going to handle and recover a lot better than something this size that would have a single axle. So definitely a really great small trailer. Moving forward, you get your solid steps. That's something that the industry has been going to a lot of today. Um, you know, for a kind of a bigger guy like myself, we love these things because um, you don't feel like you're gonna rock the whole trailer over when you step up into it. So it's a nice feature. Um, I know that when I step up into them, I, I don't feel like they're gonna give away. I love these things. Now, moving up here, you get your pass-through storage. Now, sometimes in the in the past, this one has a Murphy bed, and sometimes with the Murphy bed layout, you don't always get pass-through storage. You get a small compartment on each side, but this one, what Wildwood has done is they actually were able to get a whole pass-through storage right underneath the bed here. Of course, you know, most trailers nowadays, they come with the a two pin solar prep plug on the side so if you wanted to get your um, solar panel like a like a portable panel you can plug it right in there so if you're you know if you're out boondocking or uh, you're somewhere that doesn't have a uh, pl power plug in or anything like that you're still going to be covered um, this is going to help keep a charge on your battery when you run an external portable solar panel hooked up to it so you're definitely going to keep some uh, power in your batteries. Up front here, we've got two 20-pound liquid propane cylinders. Now, uh, sometimes at a dealership level, and it's something that you could ask your salesperson if this is something that might benefit you, but in some cases, you can actually get a 30-pound cylinder uh, at, a de at a dealership extra. I know I, I, I'm saying that because we've been getting a lot of requests for bigger LP cylinders lately, and you can always ask your salesperson if that's something that's available for you. Um, now... But moving back here, we've got our 3,500-pound uh, electric tongue jack. It has an LED docking light on the front, and uh, it's got your nice 7-pin uh, cord. Everything plugs in really well. Um, these trailers, they, they make a whole lot of wild woods, and, um, you know, and they put this nice stuff on there, but you're still at a price point that's, that's very low. Uh, compared to some other trailers that would have the same exact thing, you know, but a lot more expensive. That's one thing I really like about Wildwood. Moving back over here, we have our other side for our pass-through storage. Um, again, you look through, and it is 100% pass-through storage with the Murphy bed. That's a big deal. You know, you get a small trailer with the Murphy bed, and there's there you hardly ever find that pass through storage so this this is a big deal right here um, you know that's something to expect from Wildwood to stay ahead of the curve park side of the trailer is very tidy you get your city city water connection fresh water connection you get your power plug that's uh, as you see it's in use but there's actually a reel that goes down inside of here and it will stow up your uh, shore power cable where in a lot of trailers you'll see that you have to sit there and you have to fight with the with the shore power cable uh, all the wildwoods have this reel system inside to where it stows up you don't have to wrestle with it uh, super convenient feature i love it anybody that's ever owned a trailer knows how important that is and why i'm so excited about it Cable and satellite hookup, so if you go to your campground that has cable and satellite hookup, um, as far as their services, you hook it up right here. You'll be able to access that satellite or cable uh, on your uh, exterior connection over on the other side, 
or on the inside. <clears throat> Moving back, this trailer has backup camera prep. So if uh, you wanted to get a backup camera, it's already pre-wired for it. Uh, usually at your dealership, you're going to find uh, that they sell these things and can install them for you. Um, you know, always nice to have. And for these Wildwoods, now this one doesn't have the option, but you do get an option for a spare tire, uh, which you don't see here. But you do get an option for a, for a spare tire and carrier. Um, I, I can't remember how much the option is, but it's, it, it's, uh, it, it's pretty an expensive option if uh, you wanted to go with that. Now here, <clears throat> you get a nice storage space right here, right above the hot water heater. Now this this extra little storage space, you know, they said, well, hey, you know, we've got we've got this open space right here, and anybody that's ever owned a camper before knows how important extra space is. So having uh, having this right here knows that no space went to waste inside of this trailer. It is a smaller trailer, so having that extra little cavity right here is going to be very beneficial to you depending on how much stuff you take with you when you go camping this extra space that's that that's good stuff right there <clears throat> you'll see that all these doors have magnetic uh, door props so whenever you roll it up it stays there I love that they go with this stuff because it makes it easy you don't have to fight with it now <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and check out the inside here. So we are on the inside of the 171 RBXL here. And as you see, it's uh, for not having a slide, it's actually very open. Uh, you get a large aisle here that you can walk through between the dinette and the kitchen counter all the way back to the rear bedroom, or the rear bathroom, I'm sorry. Now in the rear bathroom... What, one thing that you'll see with that is that it has uh, a lot of move around room and you only usually get that in, uh, in a rear bathroom layout in a trailer this size. So for us taller guys uh, or gals out there, having that extra leg room is super important. Now in these trailers there is an option for a skylight over the shower i don't believe this one has it but you can definitely get a skylight over the shower and uh, you can get a little extra headroom there or you can get some more natural light or um, you know whatever you may need it's a rather inexpensive option if you wanted it this one does not have the skylight option uh, but you can get that skylight it has a ventilation fan and stuff like that in there as well. Uh, and as you saw, it's got a lot of move around room. You have your boot dinette here. This is actually a very big boot dinette. It does fold down into a sleeping space. Um, you know, and, and, a, and a grown man my size could sleep on this comfortably if, if, if you needed to. Now, moving into the kitchen here, you get... A lot of counter space. You get double deep sinks. You get your uh, your glass cover uh, over your range, your cast iron grating, three burners. You get your stove right down here. And you have a broil pan and everything in there. If you ever did want to use it, it's there for you. Now, a lot of space. Moving in here is... Uh, you, you got a lot of cabinet space, uh, very deep. It's about, uh, I'd say about 12 inches or more deep of space. Double shelves in there uh, to keep everything uh, nice and organized. You got, your, uh, you got your refrigerator back here. This is a pretty big refrigerator. It is a 12-volt refrigerator, and this is 11 cubic foot. Your freezer space above. Now this... Um, some people out there they only like the gas electric option uh, because it's you know it's tried and true the tw the new 12 volt refrigerators uh, we've seen a lot of great things coming out of these they they cool off faster they hold um, a smaller uh, draw on the battery 
and uh, they, they're overall showing to be a lot more efficient than the gas electric. Now, I know that there's some people out there that are gas electric no matter what, and, that, and, and to a point, a lot can agree with that, you know, but with this, you know, it, it cools off faster. It uh, takes less draw when it needs to cool off. Um, you know, and if you ran a portable power, a solar panel on the outside, you're going to have more than enough battery power just off of a single battery to keep the refrigerator cold. And it also does have an on and off switch inside to where you can actually cut the draw from the battery if you need it, if you needed that power somewhere else. So moving forward, you get your, uh, jackknife sofa here and your Murphy bed. Now, um, you know, I know in our, in our live shows, uh, a lot of customers or potential customers, they ask, can you bring down the Murphy bed? And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to bring this Murphy bed down to where you guys can see it and how easy it is to do as one person. So you would jackknife that sofa down. You can use that as a day bed, or you can use it as a couch if you didn't. If you didn't want to bring the bed all the way down, you could still sleep on this. Now, super easy, you would pull the tabs here, and the bed locks down into place. Now, as you see, I'm just one person. I did that, and I can do it one-handed. It's very easy, and, um, you know, for a lot of people, I think that the Murphy bed is a lot of effort. It really is not. And... Um, you get, uh, you get cavities on each side of the bed here. Those are CPAP uh, storage shelves. So if you have your CPAP, they are on both sides. Uh, that way uh, you and your significant other can have both of your CPAPs if you use them um, and keep them out of the way. Or you can just use it for quick storage to put your phone in or something like that. You get power plugs on uh, each side of the bed here and here and then uh, you get your wardrobe space here on the side with curtain rod it goes very deep in there uh, it's about uh, 24 inches deep to where you can hang your clothes hang everything you need now stowing up for the day <clears throat> you would come under here and uh, release the latch and go ahead and stow it up. And there you go. You're back to having your couch. Very easy, y'all. The Murphy beds, they offer a lot of adjustability and customizability of your space. Uh, they can really uh, open up a lot of room for you when you're not sleeping. Or, even if you did, you're still going to have enough room to walk in and walk out without putting the bed up at all. Now, again, this is the 171 RBXL. Uh, it's for the 2021 year. My name's Eric with RV Wholesalers. Go ahead and give me a call here, 877-877-4494. I'd be glad to talk with you. Uh, Tim, can you grab me a, a Diet Pepsi? Do we have them? I know there's a machine down there, but I need a, yeah. I, I need a, diet, I need a free Diet Pepsi because I'm a little short on cash all of a sudden. A little frustrated because I didn't expect to be short on cash, but... Let's just check this out. Oh, hey, look at this. Camping $5 per night. That's that's a pretty good deal, assuming this is where I... Hey, how you doing? I'm interested in the camping for $5. Oh, you are? All right. Hey, yeah. that's $5. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I don't know if hey, I can just... No, are you going to need electric hookup? Yeah, and I know how to do that. I can hook it yeah, up. Yeah, that's, so. that's going to be $10. On top of the five? Yeah, yeah. I mean, electricity oh, bills. I okay. gotta supply electricity to the whole place. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank I, you, thank I, you. I just figured you should probably put fifteen there. Yeah, yeah. But it's, hey, all right. Are you tent camping, or are you you got an RV? No, my RV is what I'm gonna hook the. Yeah. See, now it's five dollars for you, and it's a hundred dollars for your RV. So you got a hundred dollars? I do. Yeah. I I have. Yeah, I yeah, normally, I'm glad I, I normally don't have cash on me. But 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but also, uh, it's a two night minimum. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, Thank hey, you. Uh, I appreciate also, it. Also, one, one last thing. Yeah. You gonna hook up the sewer? Yeah, I probably should. Oh, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a fee. How much is that? How much you got? I think I got 20 left. Yeah, that's, yeah I got a 20. That's about it. That's. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, you enjoy your stay. Say thanks. Enjoy your stay. Appreciate it. That was. What just happened? I enjoyed my stay because I didn't have to carry money around with me. He, he lifted it. Let's talk about hidden fees real quick. If you're out buying an RV, there's a chance that when you go to pick up your RV or pay for your RV, there's gonna be hidden fees. And we've seen hidden fees for everything from the PDI, which is like the pre-delivery inspection where they walk through to make sure your RV is in good shape. They have you charge, they will charge you for that. Some places will. Some places will charge you to walk through the RV with you. We've got tire, like new tire uh, hidden fees. There's, it's, it's just crazy. All the stuff that they can, they can add on later. And what happens is you get to the point where you're, you're ready to sign for it. You're ready to take your RV and you realize that the price of your RV is now up $2,500. And they're like, what's well, because of the walkthrough fee and the PDI fee and the tire fee and the looking at me cross-eyed fee? What? I don't know. There's so many different things that they, they will add on there. So what you need to do is make sure that when you sign the agreement or when you, when, you, when you talk about the RV, have them put in writing that this is the out the door price. They're not gonna throw anything else in there. Added to that nowadays is the fact that a lot of these RVs will go up in price by the time you pick up your RV. That's kind of a hidden fee. It's on the contract, but it's really small writing. So make sure you know in advance what you're paying for and you should be good. There are, there are fees that happen. Like what are they? Like, Dock and title, that's it. So with RV wholesalers, you're gonna pay another, I think 600, right around 600 and some dollars on top of your RV that you buy and that's it. There's no other hidden fees involved. So beware of hidden fees, get the price written down, signed by them so that you know when you leave there, you're paying that price for the RV. Uh, transportation fees is another one. I just, I just thought of it in my ear right here where Tim's talking to me. Uh, it should be like to get from the, the manufacturer, which is most likely in northern Indiana, however long it takes to get to your place, however many miles that, are, that is away, it should be like $2 per mile. Uh, if it's any more than that, they're probably ripping you off a little bit. So, so consider that in your, in your total also. And you don't have to, you don't want to pay sales tax on your transportation. So have them separate that out, the transportation fee and the total for the RV. Now, uh, again, we are listening to you guys. We are live. I am live right now. I want to know if you have bought an RV before or almost bought an RV where they try to get you with a hidden fee. It's just chat and let us know some of the crazy hidden fees they try to get by with. We want to know like how much and like what was the craziness that they were trying to get you to pay for. Uh, do that in the chat. We're here. We, we want to talk to you. We'll talk to some of the sales guys here in a bit. Uh, so, yeah. We want you to stay in touch, stay interactive with us, and I'm gonna to get to another RV. Travel season is in high gear, and many of you are setting off on camping adventures and road trips. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. Best of all, it's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Setup only takes a few minutes, and with pay-as-you-go programming, you only pay for the months you use. Hi, I'm Debbie Dunning, and whether I'm filming on location or just camping with my kids, all I need is the Dish Tailgater Pro and the Waller Receiver. You just plug it in and you have your favorite shows within minutes. It's that easy and no tools required. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. So let's, let's talk about this. BT Cruiser, 2021, 52.45. Um, a little bit about BT Cruiser. I mean, it's one of our top-selling motorhomes. Um, they use, they, they've got the new 7.3 uh, gas 
uh, V8 engines. Uh -huh. uh, that's out front of Ford. Um, I actually just just got a truck. I get the same exact engine for my truck. That's how how confident I am in it. For so yeah, um, I think think it's going to be. A, it's it definitely has a ton of horsepower. Um, and it's easy to work on and you shouldn't have many problems at all. So certainly just engine wise, it's great. Um, a little bit about the exterior. Um, as you can see, you're going to have a power awning, LED light strip, um, water heater. You've also got your furnace and then you've got storage underneath as well. For, so for a compact motorhome, you get a ton of space. I think that's really why it's so, they're so popular because uh -huh. it's, it's not like that you're restricted or you feel like you're driving a big bus. Right. So. Right. You know, I, I tell folks on this show, there for a while, 15, 20 years ago, I drove a big truck for FedEx, and it was really not difficult to learn how to drive such a big vehicle. I mean, mm -hmm. a, a week, and I, I was zipping around like it was you know this big. So driving something like this, you get used to And that, that was before we had, like, backing cameras and cameras, side cameras and all that. I don't know if this one has that now, but... Um, well, and this yeah. is like driving driving a van almost. Right. You right. know what I mean? It's not it's not that majorly different from, and that's why the, these these V pluses that I mean, the the smaller ones like this is that, that's why they're so popular. Yeah. So, okay. um, as you can see, when you come out up front here a little bit, you don't have a big cab hanging over top of you. All right. right. So there's no no bed up top there. It's going to be like an entertainment center there. Uh -huh. So you know that's that's a plus, or you don't have a big old shade coming over top of you and everything else. You don't feel so. Um, you know, confined. Confined. Yeah. Ex exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Let's uh, let's head in and check out the coolest part. What is what is this thing? What is this? I don't even know what this thing. Is. Come on, <laughs> get in here. Hey Tim, there you go. All right. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, this is man. This is it's crazy how roomy this is. Well, what's Obviously, the is slide helps. Theater seating. You got one slide out, right? Mm -hmm. You've got your bed, so it's a big open concept, right? So you've got. You know, you're hanging out. You got plenty of room in here. You've got your front seats, um, stainless steel sink, the nicer cabinets. I mean, for compact motorhome, it's just it's excellent. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not. It's on one level. And you pretty got much until you get to the front. There's your table. Yep, little table that'll go in there. Assuming it's under here. Does that no, not lift? No, no, that doesn't lift because this is all in one slide. Oh yeah. Okay. okay so that whole I thing just threw my back in. out trying to lift that. I just pretty much lifted the whole. RV from inside. That's impressive. Um, you want to show them the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, the bathroom's really cool in this model too. All right. So uh, plenty of room in there, don't you? Plenty, yep. And you because got the skylight helps out immensely here. Toilets on an angle, so you got plenty of leg room. Uh huh. And then right. uh, you got the sink here in the corner. Yeah, it's hard to get corner. everybody in there to see all that, but yeah. Yeah, this. It's nice. So right it's all from, in one one location. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have to go out here to use the sink. It's already got that in there as well. This is what I was talking to you about, you know, being the, uh, basically I call it cab over, uh -huh. you know. So you've got, you put your TV, plug right in, you mount, mount right there, plug mm -hmm. right in. And what a lot of people do is they'll put it on a swing arm. Right. So, so you, you can swing it out, it out yeah. and then, you, then you, and you're directly across from everything as far as where you're sitting and everything right. too. So. That makes sense. Um, good head clearance in here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm 6'5", so you got 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, as far as head clearance goes. Um, all full duct, um, fully ducted AC, furnaces ducted throughout as well. Um, I like the countertops they use too. You know, it's like a nicer, you know. Yeah, it does. It's, tex round, it's rounded, textured. It feels. Yeah. Yeah. Like for my cut, we're bounded over. We had somebody ask about the bed if it's if it's usable during boondocking. Um, if it's usable during boondocking, I mean, I mean that, absolutely. I'm assuming if it's just if the slides. I mean, if the slides in, they're not. Um, I think it folds up a little bit. Uh, let me look at that real quick okay. here, and then I can tell you 100%. While you're doing that, is there an option uh, for an over-the-cab bunk if you want it on this thing? I think no, Donna yeah, you, it'll, it'll have enough room to uh, to lay down in there. Okay. When you're, um, cut, well, it'll slide up some, so you'll okay. have a, you won't have the full full length just because it's got to come in um, because that, the uh, cushions will slide up some a little bit. Gotcha. You can still lay down in it, but you're not going to have your full length okay. of, of the uh, bed and quite cool. doing that as well so now do you know if they can get the option to have a bed over this on on this uh model i believe I, I, well i'd have to look at it some okay. some of the manufacturers you can some of them you can't um i think the way that the b2 cruisers are is there's no bed that's what that's why you know it's uh, okay 
there's no bed over top. You got to go up to something a little bit bigger to get gotcha. to that. So that's okay. how I think of their little niche. I believe that's how it is. But um, I can look that up when I get to my desk and tell you 100. percent okay. I think different models do different certain things. Cool. Okay. And the cool thing is, if they want to talk to you about it, they can call you. You want to give them your number? Real quick? Yeah, just call me at nine three seven eight four three. 4380, and then uh, either myself or, or I've got um, three other teammates that we work together, so we'll be able to answer your questions. If we don't know an answer, we'll always find out an answer. Um, we're always honest up front. Um, I'm not going to just tell you one thing. I, I want to make sure we got you exactly what you want. Yeah. So uh, to give you a little information real quick about um, this, this is a 2021 BT Cruiser. It's a 5245B as in Bravo. Um, with the sale today that we've got run until 10 o'clock tonight, um, it's on sale for 73760 okay? And then you've got an estimated payment, depending on credit, it's going to be right around 471 mm -hmm. So, you know, that's an excellent, you're, you're only 24 foot 5 inches in total length. Um, it's got one slide, and you can sleep, you know, up to three three people in here as well. So just to give you some general information on the model pricing and everything else, yeah. is, it's a great deal. So yeah, awesome. Um, uh, Tim, there was another question. Tim was telling me while I was listening to you. Um, uh, he's forgotten what it is. <laughs> I totally forget. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want more information, I know what it was. Uh, did you give them your extension? Oh, well, that phone number will ring directly to my, okay. to my desk. Okay. So make Very it easy cool. for you. All right. So there you go. The uh, BT Cruiser, Touring Cruiser. What is it called? BT? BT Cruiser, BT Cruiser. 5245B. Yeah. This is what Tim and I took a few episodes back that uh, we took it to Nashville, and it's just awesome. It's just awesome to drive around in. This is perfect. I'd love to... Uh, Enough for, for one for me and my wife. This would be this would be nice. Well, what's cool about motorhomes are is you 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 can still sit back here and stuff while you're going down the road. Yeah. So it's just great if you got a group of people going somewhere. What's better than to use than this? You yeah. know what I mean? It's a great great time. Do we know how big the bed bed is? Oh, the bed. Uh, it's like a queen size, maybe. Yeah, queen. It's a, definitely a queen. It's not a king. So. Right. And maybe a little bit shorter. Um, it's probably a six, 60 by seventy four. Mm -hmm. I would guess. Maybe a true queen sixty by eighty. Um, again, I would just have to get the print and be able to tell you exact exact measurements, or we'll put the tape on it. So. Okay. Cool. All right. We got a, another question from Angela. Are you able? Are you able to uh, switch out these for like stainless steel or like black appliances? For a stainless steel? They don't have an option to change anything on appliances. This is stainless steel sink, okay? okay. Um, they don't have an option, though, to go with black or whatever. Gotcha. Basically, the way it works is your appliances and everything, it is what it is. So they don't have options to go to okay. one different color appliance or the other, unfortunately. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you. We're going to get on to the uh, next thing. All right, Mitch walking us through the BT Cruiser. You saw the phone number on there. If you guys have questions that you actually want to talk to one of the salespeople. They are in there, they're working hard, they're selling RVs today, but they would love to talk to you. So to call that number and ask to speak to one of the uh, dealers or one of the salespeople and they would they will answer your questions if you don't get through to us. We did have somebody get through, Andy uh, chatted us up and asked about Rockwood and like, like what's the wait time on a Rockwood. Cool thing is like this past week, we went up to the Rockwood area and I talked to them. We walked through some 2022s. Those are coming in. But I asked them some of the tough questions also, like what about wait times and what about these, these prices going up and all that. So we will have those coming up uh, around the 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock hour, somewhere around there. Uh, and we, they'll, they'll be sprinkled in from time to time. But we will answer those for you right now. We do know that like Rockwood and all the dealers are very much backed up. The best thing to do is get on the list right now. I, I know I keep saying that like I'm just trying to sell you an RV today, but that's the issue right now. These dealers and these manufacturers are, are they're backlogged, they're, they're putting out what they can. Quality is staying there because we've talked to them about the quality. I also mentioned that last week to them and they filled us in on that. So we, 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 will, we will get you taken care of. It just may take a couple months before you get your RV. But here's the deal, like if you buy an RV, from RV wholesalers, when that order goes in, it jumps the line from the RVs that RV wholesalers are supposed to get, your RV will be thrown before those get made. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So, so the customer orders go first, and then like the, the just the orders that RV wholesalers put in, so they have uh, a lot filled, those get placed after or filled after the customer orders. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm trying to explain all this to you. Uh, but yeah, just, just if you can, order today. You get 2022s if you order today. You lock in today's prices. 
Uh, so something to think about. And uh, while you're thinking about that, how about some amazing entertainment? I'm a big fan right now of Yacht Rock. I love Yacht Rock. If you don't know what it is, that's like the 80s and 70s kind of mellow rock. It's just awesome. I think right now we're going to throw the Trailer Swift doing Ride Like the Wind. If you haven't heard of Trailer Swift, these are guys that we met uh, from Nashville. They formed a band just for this show. They are card called Toilet. They are, daggone it, Tim, I'm getting old. My, I did. I came up with a name, which is brilliant. Trailer Swift, come on. Uh, anyways, just sit back, enjoy this, and think about getting that RV today.
let's talk real quick about price protecting and let me tell you what that means. Right now, prices are going up on everything. It's normal, inflation's been around forever, but prices are going up on RVs right now. Like monthly, we're getting price increases on RVs from the manufacturers. So, so what do you do? All right, well, when you buy an RV, you're gonna pay that price no matter what the price is. Here's the thing though. If at RV wholesalers, if you come in and you sign and say, hey, I wanna buy this RV, it's gonna take three months to get, but I want this RV and it's $20,000 and you sign the paperwork saying I'm gonna do it, you put your thousand dollars down. You're gonna pay that price that day. If the price of that RV goes up in the next three months, if it goes up 10%, 20%, you're still gonna pay that price that you signed for that day. A lot of these dealers nowadays aren't price protecting like that. I think most, I think all except for RVW from what I know are not price protecting. So in other words, if you buy an RV from somebody else, $20,000 and three months later, it's gone up $3,000, you're going to pay $23,000 when you get your RV. They're not going to price protect you. It says it in their contract, little writing that that's price is subject, subject to change with price increases. So. Something to think about. If you're in the market to buy an RV, there's a couple reasons not to force you in to do something right now that you're not ready for. But if you are ready to buy an RV, there's a couple reasons why you didn't need to jump on the day. Number one, because uh, there's a good chance it needs to be ordered. Hopefully not, but there's a good chance it needs to be ordered. So you want to get it as soon as possible. So order it today. Number two, if you order it today from RV wholesalers, you're going to pay today's prices. No matter how much it goes up, you are price protected to pay what it costs today, not three months from now when maybe you get your RV. I know you understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes I feel like I have to clarify myself too much. But that is it. That is this. Make sure your RV is price protected no matter where you buy it from. If you buy it from RV wholesalers, you know without a doubt it's going to be price protected. If you buy it from someplace else because we just haven't got your RV, make sure that when you sign that paperwork, you have them put in writing that the price you're paying that day, you're signing for that day, is the price you're going to pay. Make sure. Do not get taken advantage of three months down the road. All right, let me tell you about some of the benefits working and, and doing this virtual RV show. Every once in a while, I'll come out here. Like, this is, this is like an hour and a half from where I live. So every once in a while, I come out during the month and we'll shoot some stuff to get ready for this virtual RV show. Uh, but I also get a chance to meet people like that are picking up their RVs and just the joy on their faces as they're picking these up, knowing that they're getting ready to create amazing memories in their new RVs is awesome. I know I hear stories all the time about RVW uh, delivering these RVs to anywhere across the country. It's, it's crazy. Washington State, I feel like they've done Hawaii even, which is a lot of rowing, that, that, that uh, RV across the ocean. But it's, it's worth it for you. So. Uh, it's just very cool. It's very cool to see happen. The folks here at RV Wholesalers are really, really taking care of their people. They're, uh, they're I'd say customers, but once you, once you become a customer, you actually become family here at RVW. And you'll hear more about that over the next uh, couple hours, all day today. We've got so much information coming your way. Uh, and RVs coming up this hour. We've got the Rockwood Rue. A, it's a hybrid. We've got the Cherokee Wolf Pup. That's a new name to you. It's a travel trailer, but uh, uh, we'll talk more about that later. But it's a new name to you. It's a 2022. And then a Rockwood Geo Pro, also 2022. That's coming up in the next hour. And of course, tips and tricks and maybe a giveaway at some point soon. Definitely doing a giveaway soon. So, all right, let's get back into more RVs. Duncan's being dunked because he got camping swirled by hidden fees. I did. Join our live webinar to find five tips and ways not to get camping swirled. He's not moving. Duncan? Okay. I love these things. I do too. Yeah, I these do too. Awesome. I do too. Yeah, what yeah. is this? The uh, 21 it's be SS? The uh, 21 SS guys, uh, super popular with people that might have started tent camping mm -hmm. and then went in a hard side camper, right. uh, plus being able to, to sleep a ton of people in these You know, things, like on so. a day like this, this would be awesome. With this breeze, mm -hmm. sleeping in one of these end bunk be uh, beds yep. would feel amazing. <laughs> yes, it yeah. would, plus a 15K here. So. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's 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 look at it. Yeah, start out the side. Um, of course, you're going to have the standard uh, rockwood pick and knee rail there. That's where you guys are going to attach that flat top uh, cook surface. It's mm -hmm. going to be like a Blackstone grill. Uh, cable TV hookups with the 110 outlet. Plug in anything you guys want to on that. If you have a table in front of here, what? And then you guys will also have a uh, 
backer for a TV mount. That's going to be the same TV mount that's going to be inside the coach. You guys can just carry the TV out and, and plug it right on in. Of course, um, LED lighted awning, of course, with uh, two exterior speakers on it also. Yep. All right. Should you go inside? Yeah, head on inside here. Again, lots of room in here with the, uh, obviously with the slides, you're going to get a lot of room. It's giant. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's let's talk about this thing. Yeah, notice um, a lot of times you just have a dinette on one slide. They put the sofa on one slide, just made it a whole entire wall almost. Mm -hmm. You guys see in here, I mean, you have a, a tons and tons of room to do whatever you want. Of course, that will drop down, turn into like a lounge for a, a bed. Um, you guys can watch it, sit down watch there and watch it on TV. Uh, two map lights there above if you guys are, are reading at night with yeah. that kickback and recline there for you. Yeah. Um, get over here to the front bed. Uh, pretty spacious, actually. It is. If you think about yeah. it. Yeah. There's a lot of room there. That's at least a queen, right? It's yes. A queen? Yes, yeah. that will be a queen here. Uh, nice little platform there. You guys can sit down on it when they roll out of bed. Sit down, put your shoes on in the morning. Nice little resting spot. And then, of yeah. course, you guys will have some pretty deep storage in, them, in there, too. And that tucks up on both sides. So right. that can also be reached from the exterior also in that pass-through. Okay. And then I see back here, this is a heated bed, heated mattress? Correct, yeah. yes, yep. Colder climates, uh, on top of the furnace, you guys will have the heated mattresses to keep you guys warmer if it is kind of breezy on a nice cold day. So. Awesome. A little bit of storage up here. Yeah, this amount of storage also extends all the way behind this cabinet, too. Okay. So you guys can fit something long in there and not have to worry about hitting anything. TV, again, guys, I will hit on that here. And a perfect condition if you guys are hanging out over here. You guys don't have to turn your head, right, break your out. neck trying to look at it. It will move out, and then it will swivel to wherever you guys are going to be sitting at. Perfect. Um, go ahead and hit over here on the kitchen side. You guys will have a range complete with a fan and a light. Your guys' knife accessories here, that's really sweet. That's what a, is that? It's knives. That's for Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you guys will put your different knives in there. That's a lot of... Kind of a cool little thing Rockwood yeah. does that a lot of people don't really hit on. I've never I've never seen that. Yeah, something small. So wow. <laughs> a knife block built into the range. Uh, glass top, full full size oven. As well be complete with your microwave. Stainless steel sink with the black faucet. That was an upgrade there on the switch over. Newport ash cabinetry, stone interior. That will be standard across every Rockwood roof. No color options. This will become standard. Um, also, 12 volt fridge, guys. That will be stainless steel finish, and that will also make it complete with the 190 watt solar panel. We talked earlier standard. about how quickly it cools, being a 12 volt. It does. Yeah, that's, it does. That's fast. I mean, that's already. They just pulled this in. Mm -hmm. it feels good. Oh, feels wow. Good. wow. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> that will run when your guys is plugged into your tow vehicle too. Yeah, awesome. There's bathroom, obviously. Corner shower. A little spot there. A, another spot for mm -hmm. knives. Little little teeny knives that you can use to pick food out of your teeth <laughs> here in the bathroom. Uh, real quick here, glass surround. Model this size, comparable brains. Mm -hmm. Probably don't, just going to have a curtain for you. Really? Okay. Glass surround. So that's kind of a big deal yeah, to a so lot of people. so much nicer than having a shower curtain stick to you while you're trying to. <laughs> it's awful. Wardrobe. Uh, this, yeah, that's that's good. And then even a hallway that leads back to the mm -hmm. back bedroom. There it is. That's the hallway. You get the sense of privacy, too. Yeah. You really do. Climb into a... there. You guys, again, will have the, the heated mattress along with a, a curtain. Plenty of privacy. Yeah. Soundproof curtain. Nobody can hear <laughs> your, your sleep farts. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting older. Those are more and more evident. Sorry. Way too much information. What am I talking about? Sometimes I say stuff and I just <laughs> shut myself up. Uh, keep in mind, too, 5,000 pounds. I mean, that's going to be a mid-SUV, smaller truck category. It's going to hit on, on, on most tow, tow vehicles. It really will. So. Awesome. Cool. I love it. This, it is really spacey right here, too. Mm -hmm. Or spacious. <laughs> sound, let me sound more professional. Spacious <laughs> right here. Plenty of room for, like, a breakdance fight if, if you have a competing crew come over and you want to breakdance right here. Again, it, the heat must be getting to me. Maybe, Let's just, just, yeah, maybe just campgrounds around here do that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I'll get out here where it's oh, much cooler. I can think much clearer. Uh, what is the price on this? Uh, you're going to be coming in here at $28,910. Okay. Um, that's going to be roughly with a, a monthly payment of about 220 bucks. Wow, that's awesome. And what a cool little, just a cool little RV. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, that's sweet. I dig it. I love these. I love these roofs. It really and is. And it's Rockwood. Yeah, quality. if you guys want to sleep 
this amount of people in a travel trailer this size, you're going to be forced into a bunkhouse. Mm -hmm. That takes up a quarter of your space. Right. I mean, the beds don't take up any space. They pop out, and yeah. you still have the whole entire room of the coach. So It's awesome. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for walking us through yeah. this. The Virtual RV Show would like to thank our sponsors. Dish Outdoors, TV as flexible as your travel plans. Blue Ox, control trailer sway with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. Equalizer, the best protection for your journey. And RV Wholesalers, your home for the nation's premier RV service. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Hey guys, if you're watching us on Facebook right now, first of all, thank you. We really appreciate it. Seriously, I, David McCreary, just a guy that is helping around here at the Virtual RV Show, appreciate you watching, taking time to watch today. Uh, but if you could do me a favor, I know it's you're already watching for me, which I love, but if you can do me a super simple favor, just hit that like button right down there. I'm not even sure where it is. I change it up all the time, I think. Hit that like button. Uh, it just it gives us numbers. It makes us uh, know that people are watching, but it also will uh, keep you updated on what's going on with Facebook and the RV wholesalers and the virtual RV shows. So let's talk about keeping your RV in tip-top shape. RVwholesalers.com forward slash parts. You can buy parts and accessories and stuff like this to keep your RV in the perfect shape. Right now, this is a brand new RV. So if you look around these, the vents and the uh, the Wi-Fi stuff and the all of it, it's all sealed pretty well. After a few years, you may need something like this to lap sealant. Just obviously put this in a caulking gun and uh, seal up around this. That uh, you can find the parts department. And then this is a like a paint. It's not a paint, but it's a premium, uh, premium estomeric, elastomeric. <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, finish coat. So you would obviously put this across the top of your roof. It actually says on here, reflects heat and harmful UV rays. So just make sure you keep up on the well keeping of your RV. Stuff like this at the parts department RV wholesalers is what you need to make sure your RV lasts as long as you want so that one day, whether you keep it forever or you tend to sell it, it's in the best shape possible. All right, so I got something kind of cool coming up for right now for folks that have watched before. Because if you've never watched, this is gonna be new to you, but all of it's been new to you so far. But if you watched before, we got a brand new RV we wanna show you. It's a Cherokee Wolf Pup. It's a 2022. This is, ju we just last week, we're up in Wakarusa, Indiana, and walked through a couple of these. We'll talk more about the Cherokee brand in a little bit, but for now, check this out. It's brand new to us. We're excited to show you. This is a Cherokee Wolf Pup. All right, I'm with George, the manufacturing rep for Cherokee, the mm -hmm. Cherokee line of Forest River. Yep. We're standing outside a Wolf Pup, but I also see the black label above Wolf Pup. That makes me think it's exclusive or something like that. Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be our it's going to be our upgrade product. Okay. Um, when you get into the black label, you're going to get to the uh, gel coated fiberglass. So, okay. Um, what is great about the black labels is that you can do it not only just on our pups, but you can do it on our gray wolves, you can do it on our Cherokees, destination models, gotcha. throughout the product line. So if somebody wants a little bit nicer unit with the fiberglass, they can get into the black label on all four okay. plans. So one of the things on the black label is going to include the gel coated fiberglass. So it's the upgraded glass. It's not the Phylon fiberglass. I, say, I haven't heard the phrase gel coated. Yeah, so gel coat, you know, if you think of boats, Corvettes, that type of thing, uh, that's the kind of the glass you're putting on here. Okay. Um, typical RVs in fiberglass have the Phylon where you can see the threads and the webbing right, right. and that type of stuff in there. Okay. So that's going to be the, the big difference in fiberglass. So the other things are going to be our nice frameless windows. They're more of the European style mm -hmm. um, upgraded um, design. And then over here, um, one of the other things that come with the black labels are going to be our magnetic bag store catches. Okay. Um, <laughs> apparently that's locked. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry, but it will open up. It will and catch open right up here. and yeah. be magnetic right there as well. So awesome. Okay. Um, then they're going to put the outside scare light on here as well for a little bit of extra security. Okay. So on the inside, on the black labels, there's a few things as well. So upgra upgraded in here on the black labels are going to be the, the fabric material. Okay. So it's a, just a little bit nicer, richer material that, that they're putting in there. And then uh, upgraded um, bedspread as well. Okay. 
Um, in the kitchen area, we're going to have um, a new type of sink in here. It's going to be the round stainless style. So again, it's kind of that European style. But what also sets this off is going to be our LG countertops. So more of that Corian style countertops, mm -hmm. um, you know, just more durable, more upgrade and luxurious. Yeah. So those are going to be the big key features okay. in the uh, black label. And this is, uh, this is nice. Obviously smaller than the, the Grey Wolf that mm -hmm. we walked through earlier, but uh, I love the fact that it's smaller and you still have a bunk. Yeah, absolutely. So let's, let's peek in the bathroom. It looks like a smaller bathroom, obviously, in a, in a smaller RV. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller bathroom, but they're still going to get a nice tub in here and okay. shower. Um, you're going to have your big fantastic fan in here as well. So it's right. got the same features as you see in some of the bigger units as well. And okay. you know, have your nice toilet in there as well. And so it doesn't have a sink. So you're using, you're saving space there by. Correct. When you get into the smaller units, you kind of have to sacrifice a right. little bit. You Which know, is space totally understandable. Type of stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Great. Is there anything else in this one you want to show us? Right. Uh, you know, just the bunk area. We have the outside door here, which is more of a bike door, and the bottom bunk will fold up so people can slide okay. their, you know, the more storage or right. their bicycles in here as well. Great. So just a, a lot of great features in here. And along with the juice pack or the solar panel that mm -hmm. I was talking about, we also include, um, you know, the battery meter up here so they can see the uh, voltage of the meter That's and uh, and then also you have your battery disconnect down here so when people are done camping they can turn the battery disconnect off and Perfect. cut the power to the battery so it doesn't drain all so. right so would you consider this a mom and pop RV uh, this one here is going to be multifunctional okay. um, you know bunk houses are not just you know labeled to uh, you know families you know you have a lot of mom and pops that will take this and utilize this for storage yeah but, uh, you know, typically, you know, a family with a couple of kids will, you know, enjoy this particular camper. Love it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, again, guys, you're watching this right now. You're like, I want that. I want it right now. Don't know. I mean, depending on when you call, it, it depends on whether we have them or not. But uh, the best thing to do is call and find out. And then if we don't have them, get it ordered. Make sure you get it when you want it. Uh, how, you know, we're, we're talking anywhere from having it in stock to three months out, who knows how long. Right. But the best thing to do is jump in now, get your price locked in with RV wholesalers and get yourself in this RV. If this is one you want, which I would highly suggest because it's sharp and it's hip, uh, then uh, call us today. <laughs>
I can't remember where I heard this. Tim, where did we hear this from? The Michigan. We, uh, somebody bought an RV from Michigan, uh, up, uh, a dealership up in Michigan, and when they went to pick it up, like the tire cover on the back of the RV, they had removed the power cord that was kind of in, that was included in it, where like they thought it was included in it, was taken out, and they'd set it out on like a table and said, "Now here are accessories that you can also buy for seven hundred dollars." So stuff that they, these people thought they bought, like it, I'm buying, I can see the R, the cover on the back. I'm just assuming it's in there. They took it all off and made them buy it separately. That is ridiculous. They won't do that to you here at RV wholesalers. Uh, so, uh, yeah, do we have a winner? Congratulations to, still waiting, text. That number is 833-717-0327. The problem is we're on a bit of a delay, so it takes a, it takes a minute to get the winner. Uh, so uh, let's talk about, what else do we want to talk about, Tim? What's coming up? Okay, so there are two, There are if you're just tuning in for the first time, there are two brothers that own RV wholesalers, David and Mike Durnell, both great guys. Here in a minute, I'm gonna have a chance to talk to Mike Durnell. Mike Durnell, it's, it's uh, just a great guy and there's so much more to just RVs with Mike and David both, but I'm talking to Mike specifically here in a couple minutes. And he wants to share that with you. He wants to share that with you, so that's coming up soon. You'll see what that's all about. Uh, we do have a winner, Keith. <laughs> I have not heard the, the last name. We are, we are Keith Neal. Congratulations. You won the sewer, sla the sewer hose slash old school intercom system. Again, don't do both. Choose one or the other. That would be disgusting. Uh, what are we doing, Tim? Going back to an RV? Oh, that's right. Uh, right now, I talked about him just a second ago. I'm going to go talk to Mike Durnell. Love this guy. <laughs> All right, good day so far. Yeah, real good. good. So much trailers. Yep, a lot of people probably happy and really good moods right now because they're getting the RV of their dreams. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of reasons to be happy about things. I, I try to be generally a happy guy, but I know there are people out there who are hurting, people who are scared, people who aren't sure of the future. Oh, hell, a lot of us aren't sure what's going to happen the next couple. Nobody knows what's going to happen the next. No, it seems years. a little. It feels a little different out there right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think we're completely over the COVID thing, and right. You know, I, I, it seems like we're getting there though, mm -hmm. which is a uh, positive. Yeah. You know, a lot of states have lifted the masks now. Uh, I know, you know, here in Ohio, we're lifting here in a few days, so that's that's very positive. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's still an uneasiness out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I talk to a lot of customers and try to witness to a lot of customers. And that's where we're going with this: is uh, talk about God a little for a few minutes. And yeah. But I think there's a, there's an emptiness out there, but I, unfortunately, I think it's a choice, you know, that we're making. Right. Uh, and it, it, it's it's to not follow God. I think that's becoming an old-fashioned situation in our country. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, we don't do that anymore. Very few people go to church anymore. Right. You know, the COVID thing didn't help that. Right. You know, it got Absolutely a lot of people right. out of church that were in church. And they may not be going back. Right. They're not, <laughs> yeah. they're not full again. Right. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's all unfortunate stuff. It really is. Yeah. And it, it drives me crazy because, I, you know, I've, I've had a couple of hard times. I, my wife has lost some family members, so she's gone through some really rough times. And she's told me before, I don't know how I would have gotten through this without mm -hmm. my relationship with Christ. You know, when we lost Dad, especially, it, you know, I was like, I, I don't know. I watched some of his brothers and sisters and how they handled it, and they just weren't handling it well. Mm -hmm. You know, the day that he left, and uh, you know, I looked at my brother and I said, how do people that don't know God handle this? Yeah. Because you have no, I, I know where my dad's at. Right. He, he knew Jesus Christ as a Savior. I know where he's at. Yeah. You know, the Bible says very clearly, I'll see him again. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like. Right. I don't know what that feels like. I don't care other than, I know I'll see him again one right. day. Right, right. And I love that. It's, it's not that you have to know everything exactly. You no. just know that everything's going to be fine. We don't have a clue what heaven is like, right. but we know the alternative is, is not where we want to go. Right, right. It's really not. Yeah. yeah and I, I get a lot of people, I think I've said this before, I get a lot of people, customers, when I witness to them that, uh, yeah, I don't believe in all that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of, we don't do that thing anymore. Right. But, you know, your belief or disbelief really doesn't matter. Right. I mean, it doesn't make something real or not, I yeah. should say. It, exactly. it does matter, but it, 
it doesn't make God, I don't believe in God doesn't make God real or not. Right, right. Is, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you, uh, how do you walk them through uh, beginning a relationship with Christ? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's just do that now. If there's anybody at home that, uh, if you're not sure that you know Christ is your Savior, you're not sure you went through that process, it's, the Bible calls salvation a gift. Yeah. Uh, you know, this card can be a gift to you, but you have to accept it. Right. That's that's what it amounts to. We have to accept Jesus Christ into our life. Uh, the way I do it, and I'll just I'll just kind of do it to you guys at home. Uh, if you don't think you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you've never gone through, you've never heard this. Uh, give me three minutes of your time. Seriously, it'll it'll change your life. Uh, we just start out with a few questions, like, what are your spiritual beliefs? That's a just a broad, let's get you talking question. Yeah. Uh, not everybody's happy about that question. <laughs> most, <laughs> most are. I can uh, imagine it probably comes from left field. You're like, whoa, I thought we were just buying an RV. What are you, what are you no, talking it, about? It, it really does. But I think, um, you know, they kind of settle in and see uh -huh. that I'm trying to help them, not hurt them. Right. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm a Christian. I'm this, I'm that. Uh, the next question, a little more specific to you, who's Jesus? Uh, you know, if you tell me, Mike, he's my Lord and Savior. We don't need to go any further, do we? Right. We really don't. Uh, if you say, well, he's the son of God, or he was a prophet, or he was a good man, you're missing something. Right. Okay, so we'll go a little further. Uh, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Very straightforward. Uh, what's interesting is most people believe in heaven, less believe in hell. Uh, when you pass away, where do you think you'll end up? Even the people that don't believe in heaven are going to heaven. Yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Last question, but the hardest. So let's say you're 95, you pass, you zip, you're up to heaven, you're face to face with God, and he says, you know, why would I let you into my heaven? What the heck would you tell him? Yeah. You know, it, it is uh -huh. uh, And I would tell you that 65% of the people tell me, you know, I've been a pretty good person. Yeah. Which is probably true. They probably have been probably. good people. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I think the, probably more than 65% right. are great people in Absolutely. our country. Absolutely. Yeah. Even the world. I mean, right. are, you know, probably 90, 95 percent of the people are pretty darn good people. Yeah. But, and and that's not that they don't deserve to go to hell, but they're gonna they're gonna choose to go to heaven or hell. That's right. that's what the Bible says. Uh, let me read you what Ephesians two eight and nine says. It says, "For by grace you're saved through faith. This is not from yourselves; it's God's gift, not by works, so that no one can boast." So what this is basically saying is to me is. Uh, Nothing I do, I, I do a lot of what I feel is a lot of good, mm -hmm. and I think we should. We should take care of people. Yep. We should help one another. Uh, but none of that gets me to heaven. Right. And if you really think that through just for a second, if I could do enough to get myself to heaven, what do I need God for? Yeah, what was the cross for? Right, what, yeah. was, what was any of that for? Right. So obviously we can't get ourselves to heaven. Uh, the next verse, Romans 3.23, is, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, that one's pretty self-explanatory. We've all sinned. Mm -hmm. uh, only Christ was. What time is it? How many times have I sinned already today? Right. You're yeah. thinking about the guy holding this thing behind us, and you know, <laughs> bad thoughts going through our head. Making us reshoot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next verse. So if we agree we're sinners, the next verse says, "For the payment of that sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life for Christ." So we deserve hell because of our sin, mm -hmm. uh, but. If we accept that simple gift, which is Christ dying on the cross, we can go to heaven. That's right. Uh, the last one, and this this kind of says what I just said. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's simple. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say, man, I, I thought there was more to it. Right. It really isn't. No, not uh, at all. Now, what you do after you've accepted Christ is between you and God. You know, if you want a great life, it's there. It really is there for the taking. Uh, if you if you would like to accept Christ as your Savior right now, if you're not sure you have before, if you want to recommit your life to Christ right now, uh, I'm going to say a simple prayer. If you just repeat it after me, that, that's all there is to it. Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. 
I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Now, Dave, I, I believe, I know you believe that if, if they said that simple prayer, they've been born again, they've been saved, they got received salvation. Uh, to me, that's the foundation of where it starts. Right. You know, get into a good church. Uh, if they're not sure, man, what's my next step? I'm excited now. What do I do? Mm -hmm. uh, they can contact us at any time. That's awesome. We'd love to talk with them. We'd love to send them stuff, you know, whatever. Right. Whatever and they need to get rolling. And it is, you're, you're never going to know everything. A lot of people may not even have prayed that prayer yet because they think, I don't know everything about Jesus. I don't yeah. know if I'm good enough to even pray that prayer. Nobody's good enough no, no, for that gift. None of us were good enough. For right. That. And you're not going to get, if you're thinking, all right, I got I to gotta, I gotta get rid of this in my life before I can do that. You don't have to. He no. will take you just as you are right now. He wants that relationship with you. Yeah. So, good. That's well, all. Thanks, buddy. I yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Let's go sell some more RVs. Sounds good. Well, look who showed up. Well, better late than never. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. This is David Durnell. I mentioned Mike Durnell, and that was Mike Durnell, and this is David Durnell. David's normally with us. You normally. just got back, the, or I'm assuming you just pulled in from the west, uh, or trip out west. Yeah, you two weeks. Pulled in. Two weeks, 6,000 miles. I do not suggest 6,000 miles in two weeks, however. Yeah, that's a lot of miles in two uh, weeks. Three, four weeks would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we're going to, sorry, what come over this way. What? Oh, there we are on that screen. Oh. Yeah, we both look very good. Yeah. Yeah, you I couldn't was, tell yeah. we're both 50. I know. Especially 50. you, because your hair is dark and mine's gray. That's all right. I, I, it's getting gray. I mean, right in there. Yeah. It's one like little, George Clooney Yeah, look. one little spot. I feel it's terrible for you. as close as I'll ever get to looking like George Clooney. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, so you had a great time? No, we did. We saw, um, I mean, it, 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 it's crazy what we fit in. Mm -hmm. You know, the Badlands, Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse. Yellowstone, saw this huge herd of buffalo in Yellowstone that was yeah. like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, everyone should see before they die, okay. you know. And, and we saw the Grand Canyon, we saw the Tetons, um, Pikes Peak, Arches National Park was amazing. Yeah, that's you know, awesome. Just, just, I mean, too much to mention. The really cool thing was 21 of us from, the, from my mom's family, uh -huh. Uh, my mom's gone. 21 of us, four motorhomes, so we're a little bit packed. Right. And not one disagreement. That's, that's awesome. It, we that's, had that's so fantastic. much fun. It yeah, was just it was amazing. Yeah, Man, a lot of fun. You need that. Well, the good news is you shot, what would you say, six hours of Over footage? six hours of footage, yeah. So next month's virtual RV show, we're going to show a bunch of that footage. Oh, cool. At least yeah, that'll be as awesome. much as we can. Yeah. All the clothed stuff. Yeah, well, I'm shirtless in most of it. Okay, cool. Very I cool. get hot, I just go shirtless. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Not actually. Uh, Although it'd be a great weight loss video. Yeah, <laughs> there have been times when I've said, <laughs> sweating with do, David. I just need to put a big mirror in front of my table and eat shirtless. And I <laughs> promise you, I would eat a lot less. Like I'm sucking in right now. Especially a whole as lot. you were putting the salt on. Yeah. And things yep. were jiggling. Yep. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's talk about the new 2022s. Mm -hmm. I went down and hung out with some folks with the Cherokee line. And uh, you don't know how happy that word makes me. What Cherokee? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Well, it's a, it's the number one selling travel trailer in the world. Okay. And it's now here. Awesome. And that is really cool. Yeah. And it, the two that I walked through, we've shown one already today. Mm -hmm. The other one that we walked through is just amazing, just yeah, super cool, and very sleek and hip. Yeah, I love the interior colors. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, a lot of black. It's just really awesome. It's very cool. It's hard to explain, but, uh, cool. you know, and, and their qualities through the roof. We've been trying to get Cherokee for almost 15 years. Really? Yeah. And it's happened. And, and it happened. We're so excited. You know, we were able to uh, buy a small dealership in uh, Mansfield, Ohio. Okay. And it's uh, being rebranded as RV Wholesalers. Awesome. Uh, and it'll be RV Wholesalers Northeast. So we're really, really pumped about that. And it, it is open. Okay. Uh, and by purchasing them, we were able to pick up the Cherokee line and also the uh, Sabre line. So we're very, very excited about that. Sabre. Both. Sabre. If you're an office, office yeah, fan. Yeah, if you're Italian. Or, or Italian. Right. Uh, all right. So uh, we uh, can we talk about, like, family and, like, people yeah. become family when they buy here? Mm-hmm. So tell me, tell me about that. I've mentioned that a couple times, and maybe how you started the business. Let's talk about how. Let's talk about this place and what you do here. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it is a family business. You know, my my uh, brother and I own it. Um, a lot of his kids are working here now. A lot of my kids are working here now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and 
it's real family so important to Mike and I it's it's been everything to us that it only made sense to treat people and it sounds corny but it's like you know we grew up in a home where you were hugged and loved and kissed and you know what I mean and, mm -hmm. and you always heard how would you want to be treated right now? Uh, don't care. I want to be treated. So I want to treat Mike right now. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. But you really, it got ingrained in us that, you know, you treat people the way you want to be treated. And it really just became like, you know what? The, these folks are trusting us with a huge purchase, a, a huge financial transaction, right? Mm -hmm. Investment. Uh, they, they deserve to be treated like we would treat family. Right. And, and that's what we've incorporated. You know, that's what we... Uh, talk about with staff and you know I I just recently lost my um, mother-in-law and um, it brings the importance uh, sorry it brings the importance of family even more to the front mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah uh, as I you know I, I've known her for 34 years love her to death and, uh, and I'm excited I'll get to see her in heaven one day yeah you know forever and and you know helping my wife through the journey but you know it's like uh, I walk through the door, I see people, it feels like I'm home when I come to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when customers pick up, we want them to feel like they're at home. When they call with a problem and they're upset, you know, and they're thinking, I'm not going to get any help. And I, uh, relax, we got you, yeah. right? You know, just like you have to do with family sometimes. So, yeah, you know, for us, it was just the natural thing because it's what we know. Mm -hmm. It's what we've lived. It's what we value. It's what we crave is family. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And people, you can tell people feel that way. I've, I've ran into a few couples who have bought RVs and were mm -hmm. picking them up when I happened to be here. Yeah. And you can tell, they just, they talk, I'll ask them, I'll pull them aside, like, look, I just host the virtual RV show. I don't really work. Like, I don't, I'm not here every day, so be right. honest with me. What's, what's the experience like? And all of them are like, it's amazing buying yeah. from RV wholesalers. That's good. That's that's incredible to yeah. hear. And, yeah, you know, I hear it every single time. We're starting to work this plan now. Um, you know, we have the we have the store in Texas. We have two stores in Ohio now. Mm -hmm. We're trying to um, secure a third right now in Ohio uh, because what we want to do is cover the whole state. You know, beautifully with service. Exciting. Be able to take happen. care of everybody. You know. Yeah. Um, I was mm -hmm. trying to explain it to one of my sons. I said it was like when you were younger, and I could be in every room to spank you. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, we will hear a lot more. David will be here all day today filling us in. i got so many questions, stuff that we like to talk about, tips and tricks. But a lot of people are excited for the 2022s. Mm -hmm. We had a chance to hang out in Indiana. I got a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I saw in Indiana. But then we're going to jump into a 2022 Rockwood Geo Pro. Uh, so, uh, they look enjoy. awesome, the graphics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Although, that, that's really yeah, you'll cool. see. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. It's awesome. Today we're going to find out what's new for 22 in the Flagstaff and Rockwood. Four models, actually. And just so you know, I'm literally at the factory in Millersburg, Indiana. Nobody else is doing this right now. First, we've got upgraded bedding. We've got a brand new headboard. I love that. And I don't know if they've mentioned this or not, or if it's just something they've done. I don't know if I've ever... I don't, this rounded thing right here as I walked in is really cool. Just a little bonus. I, maybe it's in others. I just think that's... Cool, the way that's rounded off there, not square like that. The 12 volt solar ready refrigerator is now standard in all models. Love that. Rockwood is also adding new colors in the cabinetry and the flooring. It's just very cool. And this is not necessarily new, but it's something I always really dig. <laughs> it's just the TV that's hidden and coming up out of the, the uh, counter. How cool is that? Fast forward it so make it won't go this fast. How James Bond is that? Come on now. So there's new graphics on these, and obviously they don't want you to see them yet. They've got them covered up. I wish I could show you, unless they forgot to cover it. Let's look at this. I really dig this. This little circle thing. I'm, it's you're like, okay, it's just a graph. That's that's kind of cool looking. That's kind of sweet, especially after the past year seeing basically the same kind of designs on a lot of these things. I dig that. Another added feature: heated tanks to extend the seasonal uh, use of these RVs. Again, Rockwood just listening to you, giving you what you want. This has always kind of bothered me where there's always like a little step up in the slide and I just assumed it's just something that had to be. Well, the folks at Rockwood uh, and the 2022 fifth wheels have got this figured out. Watch this. This isn't open all the way. When it opens all the way, look what happens. This is huge, look at that. 
completely level now. You don't have a little step up where you're tripping into the couch or into the chair or bumping your head on this up here. You can stand up with me now. Uh, and completely level, look how good that looks. It looks like an extension now as opposed to like an added room, if that makes any sense. On top of that, on top of the now level floor, literally on top of it, is a new hybrid carpet. Stain resistant, water resistant, pet friendly look. You can pet it and he doesn't even care. I think that's what that means. I don't understand that completely. But uh, yeah, so exciting things happening at happening at Rockwood. This is just absolutely brilliant. The, the level, the carpet that's gonna last forever. Ooh, Rockwood doing it upright. You know what's crazy that even in the midst of this high demand that RV manufacturers are going through right now, they're still able to make these changes, these changes that you've asked for. That says a lot about Rockwood and their commitment to making you happy and keeping you in their RVs. Rockwood is doing amazing things, amazing upgrades and changes all for you, but now I'm off to talk to some of the bigwigs and ask them some of the tough questions. <laughs> Right, guys standing outside the geo pro this is the rockwood g19 fd what does fd stand for david front bed they use the last letter of bed fd i don't i don't know and there's i'm by myself so there's nobody i can ask right now but it's kind of driving me crazy in my head uh, but you've got a big awning almost the full length of the rv out here you've got a little bit of storage back here. You know, a little bit of storage. It's locked up right now. A little bit of storage for a smaller unit. But uh, you got the nice big knobby tires on here so you can get to places where a lot of RVs can't get to. I love these Geo Pros because now that my wife and I are a little older and the kids are kind of out of the house, this is the kind of thing I love thinking about. Just getting out on the road with wifey, just hanging out, having a good time. Let's go inside and check out what's happening in here. Like, this is awesome. Like, if you just want to hang out with uh, your spouse or your significant other, it, this, is the thing, this is the thing to get. I mean, you got the, the Murphy bed here that will fold out so you have space with the bed folded away to live while you're not sleeping. You've got space back here. I mean, it turns into a bedroom. Once this comes down, you put the, you put the, the couch down like this. And if you want to just take a nap real quick right there, you can do that. You don't have to bring the bed out bed obviously comes down and you got your you got your bedroom or you've got your living room okay so uh kitchen of course you got the three burners here the three burners with uh this turns into a backsplash i love that little uh, vent above it your table this would obviously come up and be a table here but if you happen to bring a kid or just a weird friend that wants to travel with you and your spouse, uh, they can they can uh, sleep right here. There you go. Boom, just made it into a bed. 12 volt refrigerator. This one, I'm not sure the exact size. It's obviously a little smaller because it's a smaller RV. You got your Magic Chef microwave up here, your TV, which is always important to me. I love, even though people are like, you just need to get away and experience nature. I like to experience nature while watching TV. Um, I'll watch nature shows if I have to. And then uh, bathroom. Again, it's a snug little bathroom. Again, which is fine because you've got a smaller RV here. But uh, you got a little bit of a tub here. If, you, if you've got a pet and you need to wash them off because you've been out at the lake all day and the dog stinks. Or if you've got a very short wife that likes to take baths, she can, she can be in here. Uh, it is, uh, I'm six foot. Thankfully, we've got a, a sunlight here. Or a, what's it called, Tim? Skylight. Skylight. Uh, <laughs> Do I forget words? Uh, so yeah, it is a little smaller, but again, if you're just looking to get clean, this will do it just fine. There is some space back here above the toilet. Let me take a look here. For a towel, lots of room for towels back in there. Obviously the light's off. Let me turn the light on. There we go. How's that, Tim? Nice. And then a mirror. Your mirror may not look this good. <laughs> what is wrong with my hair? It's hot out here today, guys. Uh, and then... Uh, of course, you keep stuff up there. You, everything you need. Everything you need to get out with a significant other. I keep saying that because it might be your wife, might be your husband. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, the Rockwood Geo Pro F19FD. G19. G19. No, F front. Right? Oh, G19FD. 
uh, it's right out there. Tim, Tim didn't re- Tim didn't remember it. He read it right there on the thing. Uh, but this could be yours. All you got to do is get hold of us. You find yourself in this having the time of your life. Hey, guys, if you're watching and you're thinking, I've got a specific RV that I want. I, I don't want to sit through the motor coaches and all this stuff. There's, there's one I want. I'll tell you what you can do. You know, virtualrvshow.com slash schedule or just go there and click on schedule and you will see a schedule of what we're going to show today uh, on the virtual RV show so that you have an idea of when you need to be back in front of your computer. You can keep the computer on all day and maybe you'll see something else that you like that you didn't know you were going to like but if you need to know specifically when certain RVs are going to happen go to virtualrvshow.com slash schedule and get all the information right there. Let's talk about peace of mind real quick. It's nice just to get over here and rest for a second and talk to you without getting crazy out there. I love walking through the RVs, but being here right now just talking to you about cool things is fun. Uh, Network service guarantee. This is, like I said, it's peace of mind. It's something RVW has done for a while. And what it is is making sure that no matter where you are in the country, you are going to be covered by maintenance. So in other words, if you're in Arizona and you live in Ohio, but you're clear out in Arizona camping, If something happens and you need maintenance done, you can call the concierge number here at RVW and they will hook you up with a service center near you that can get to you as quickly as possible and get your problem fixed. The reason being is if you have an RV and it's sitting in your driveway or in your garage and you're not using it, you're not going to realize that there may be an issue. Again, I've mentioned in the past, like you're driving down the road, things are going to come loose in your RV and you're not going to know it until you get on your vacation. Guys at RVW do not want your vacation ruined because you need a little repair done on your RV. I'll tell you a story. I tell this story all the time, but I think it's brilliant. We had a a family from New Jersey, bought their RV in Ohio, but lived in New Jersey, took their RV from New Jersey down to Camp Wilderness. Is that right? Fort Wilderness and, and Disney. And when they got there, it was raining. And they're, they're in the first day, they're in their camper, and it's leaking. It's leaking through the, the ceiling, obviously. So they call David Durnell here at RVW and says, we've got an issue. Our camper is leaking. There's no way we can stay in this camper. We haven't budgeted to buy like rooms at the hotels down here that are super expensive. Um, and they just they thought, we're going to have to go home. We're going to have to get out of this rain and head home because uh, it's going to ruin our vacation. They, they were this close to their vacation being ruined. Of course, it's something they wouldn't know until they got there. David got hold of a service center nearby, and within like less than an hour, they had a service guy out there. The only issue was the, the air conditioning unit came loose. You know, During the travel on the way down, down from New Jersey to Florida, they tightened that up. They fixed another little issue on their water heater, and the vacation was saved. The vacation was saved all because of this nationwide service network. So when you buy from RVW, I say it all the time, you're buying not just an RV, but peace of mind. The folks here at RVW care about their customers. I shouldn't even say customers, I should say family because they say here, they say it all the time that once you buy an RV from them, you're part of the family. They want to take care of you. Over 2,900 service centers in the United States that they, they've they vetted, make sure that they their quality work and uh, they the RVW is happy to put their name behind. Mom. 
sponsor Rob Mystique. We'll put out to sea and we'll perfect our chemistry. And by and by we'll defy a little bit of gravity. Afternoon delight, cocktails and moonlit nights. That dreamy look in your eyes, give me a tropical contact high. Way down in Kokomo, Jamaica. Catch a glimpse Thinking, love that song. It was like the, in the top 10 almost the entire year, my senior year in high school. So brings back great memories. Love Kokomo. Uh, coming up this hour, I'm going to walk through a Solaire Ultralight. It's on the other side of this one. I'm going to walk through an XLR Micro Boost right over there. And I'm going to walk through this Ibex here in just a second with Mitch. And we're also going to give away this survival kit. We have never given this thing away yet. This thing is heavy and very cool. All kinds of stuff in here. Look. That's, that's all the stuff. I'll read some of it off when we actually give it away, but there's all kinds of stuff in this survival kit. You uh, need something like that. You want camping, you need that. I would absolutely need this. I'd probably need a couple of them just to survive. Yeah. Hey, Mitch, everybody. How's it going? Yeah, I'm gonna set this over here. Yeah, one person applauding for you, <laughs> which is more than normal. Normally, nobody applauds for anybody around here, but that's, you got the first applaud. That's right, that's applause. right. Um, to, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through an Ibex. It's 23 RLDS. Okay. Um, so, I mean, the biggest thing with Ibex is they really don't have a lot of options, okay? So, it's a, a very well-built unit. It's gonna mm -hmm. be a fiberglass, aluminum frame construction. Um, I think the, the real niche with these are is the off-road tires sit yeah. a little bit taller. They look so good. Um, so let's just see. Yeah, let's just sort of start up front. Okay. We'll, we'll start there. Way up front. Way up front. Okay. Yep. So they'll have a cool, nice window uh -huh. up front. So when we get inside, we'll see that a little bit. Again, most pretty much everything's standard. So you got power tongue jack, your batteries, your propane, battery disconnect. Um, you will have power awning as we come around okay. here. I want to let folks know too, as they're watching, that if today, if you're watching today, July 28th, 2021, this is now live. So if you're watching this later on YouTube and it's not July 28th, 2021, it's not live. Does that make sense? So <laughs> exactly. you can chat right now if it's July 28th, 2021, which it is today, unless you're watching it in the future. Let's go on. What? <laughs> they have pretty cool graphics. I like how they do the, like a little bit of light blue, gray, uh -huh. white, little mix in. So um, you don't you don't really see that a lot on, on most most units or everybody else is pretty much about the same color. So right. got a little niche there, solid steps. Um, let's go up one in. You know what? I'll tell you right now. You've been in the air conditioning all day. I have not. I can feel the air conditioning coming out of this right now. 
it's going to feel incredible. Oh, 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 geez, it got me again every single time. See? I forget that the camera is in here when we walk in, and it scares the snot out of me, Mitch. I guess what you probably love, that I get scared after yeah. the time I scared you that day. Which time? Or the plunger that you put on my head? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're on two strikes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor Mitch puts up with so much. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to yeah. sit down because t I see you, Tyler. Tyler and Josh, real quick, we'll get to this in just a second. Tyler and Josh are out there running this. They, they do a good job of making sure this you see what you're supposed to see. But o earlier, I overheard them talking about how David always likes to sit, sit down when he walks into an RV. But guess what they're doing all day long? Come on, let's get a shot of them, what they're doing right now. They're, don't you stand up, Tyler. You sit back down. You sit back down. <laughs> nice <laughs> try. Why would Tyler stand instead of sitting down? Because he's not that bright. Oh, see, I turn it around on you, Tyler. <laughs> oh, we don't have to sit down, but it's kind of nice, isn't it? It is nice. Air conditioner works good in this thing. Does work good. It's a well insulated unit. Um, I mean, for so like a little bit about it as far as lengths and weights and stuff like that. Uh -huh. It's a it's what well, I call this unit more like a, a couple's coach, right? right? So so you know if you've got grandkids, you can sleep them on your sofa. You can sleep them on your um, dinette that goes mm -hmm. down to his bed as well. Because the unit's only 27 foot six inches, and that's total length with right. the tongue. All okay. right, um, only 5,000, basically 5,100 pounds on weight. So you can basically sleep. One, two, three, four, you know, five to six people. Pretty yeah. simple. Awesome. Um, and price point wise, I mean, you got with estimated price points going to be with the different rebates and discounts will be mm -hmm. right around 28, 28, four, 28, nice. 370 with an estimated payment right around 213 a month. So Sweet. just to give you guys some idea on, um, you know, pricing, uh, we do still have this unit in stock. Oh, great. So it's available. Um, we wouldn't have to order for it, or we can order it for you okay. as well, depending on your time frame. Awesome. So, should we stand up and actually take a look through it? Yeah. Well, yeah. well certainly okay. here. I mean, first thing is, is you've got. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, you've got the. Um, yep. Oh, you've got yeah. foot rest on both sides of the unit. There it goes. We'll go and then that'll there. come up. There yep. we go. So you got foot rest on both sides, so nice relaxation. You got your dinette. Um, so starting here, you've got your TV up top, mm -hmm. right? So that can, that can turn, okay, it comes out, it's on a swivel, so it can turn to the sofa, um, and also it'll turn over to your dinette as well. Is this what I think it is, these little knobs here? Yeah, you, you got little you little tables, tables you can use. Yeah. Yep, so you got little tables to use. I love that. Um, like, what I like about this this brand is, look how light it is. See how, see how open it is? Like the floors are gray, the uh -huh. furniture's got a nice gray, the conduct. Everything just flows well together, makes a small space feel like a large space. Yeah. Yeah. Fully ducted air, they do nice accent, you know, light accents on your walls. And it's got a pretty good amount of counter space. Yeah, for um, a smaller unit. That, I mean, that space right there, that's fantastic. Absolutely. Nice big single bowl, deep mm -hmm. um, sink with a residential faucet. As we go back, let's, let's get, get on okay. back here. We'll start in the hallway slash the kitchen area. Um, the way, so you show the central vac. That's pretty cool. So Why don't we turns? have those in homes? And maybe we do. Maybe my house is just too old. Mine too. Yeah, it's we need old. those in homes. You you sweep it. and suck up the dirt. You do have a three burner cooktop. And then they, what they do here is it's a microwave, but it's also convection. So you can use it as an oven mm -hmm. or a microwave. Allows you to have more space up top instead of having a microwave up here. Right. Okay. Uh, residential fridge. This comes standard with a solar panel. This will be a 12 volt fridge. And then you've got a ton of space in these. Okay. So this is, as you can see, probably about right around 10 to 11 cubic foot. Yeah. Bathroom? Share the bathroom. I'm yep. going to stand in the shower. That's your favorite spot? It is. All right. Again, I'm six foot for you, those of you uh, who have not heard that yet if you're turning in for the first time. I'm six foot, so I like to stand in the shower just to give you an idea of how much headroom there is. Lots of headroom in this one. Yeah. I've been in some other smaller RVs, and you don't get a lot. I mean, my at six foot, my head is in the uh, skylight. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it, makes it simple for you. And this this is always great. You curved out so you have a little more room in here. Yeah, it gives you a lot more uh, room to wash off and everything, right? right. More, more arm room. Right. Step back and shut that. Cool here, you got a pocket door, uh huh. Right, so that you didn't even, you wouldn't Same even space. see that. So it's not like it's an accordion door or anything like that, and that right. just snaps over. 
Let me come in. And a decent amount of room in here. And a lot of these places you have to slide like this. Yeah. And there's uh, and you got plenty of foot, foot storage space. You got storage underneath, all finished off. Um, one thing that's pretty neat here is click on your light up there. Yeah. Okay. Push, push it in. So you got his and her lights. But if you look at back behind here a little bit, look yeah. how this opens up to the back. Right. So you've got where for so like sleep bat machines, stuff like that. You can put those back there, but you still have your closet. Right. right? So they're out of view, so it looks tidy in here. Yep. Nice and neat. And those and those are just open it up. Most of them run all the way back, so you feel pretty claustrophobic and stuff. So oh, look at that. there's your big window up front. Yeah. This is great. We had somebody ask a question about propane tanks. Yeah. Uh, um, almost there, I think, was the name they used. Tim, what were they asking? Can you put 30-pound propane tanks on this Ibex? You can pretty much put down 30-pound propane tanks on any trailer. Okay. Um, the, all it is is just a ta taller bar, and then and then the tanks will fit right on there. So gotcha. they're the same as the 20-pounders. You just can get t two 30-pounders, do a tar taller bar, and get okay. a, a taller um, cover to go over. There you go. So Thanks no for problem. the question. We appreciate you guys asking questions. Yeah, thank you. Let's just know you're out there. All right, that's great. Again, you say what, around 28000 Yeah, 28370 with the discounts and everything we've got running today. And, um, you know, like I said, estimated payment's going to be right around 213 215 awesome. a month. So Great. All right, I, I really don't want to leave because the air conditioner. Oh, there's, did we talk about this? Yeah, Big old pantry. Huge pantry. Can you see it? Yeah, nice. I could fit in there. We'd have to take, take off some of the uh, shelves, but I could fit in there. Uh, all right, so, uh, oh man, I don't want to walk back out there. It feels so good right here. I feel a total, total change yeah, right full, there. And that's fully ducted too, so okay. the reason it feels so good right now is that these, these are opened up, so it's uh -huh. dumping the air right into you. Okay, yeah, it's amazing. All right, do you guys want to see more of these? I'm going to have to step out here eventually. Uh, Mitch, thank you very much. Yeah, thank for you. For walking us through the, uh, oh, Josh. Josh is up moving around, which he never does. He's in there making fun of me, sitting down every once in a while. This is the first time I've ever seen Josh up moving. Very nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> He'll punch me later. Uh, what do we got next, Tim? We're gonna, we got more RVs, obviously. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Nationwide Service Network. We got that, is that pre-recorded? We're gonna roll with some really good information. You want me to talk to Mitch about it? We'll find out what we can do. You know what, I'll talk to you about it. Tell me about the Nationwide Service Network. Yeah, so what really, and that's one of the biggest things that really separates us from other dealership and, and the competition out there is like, once you take possession of the unit, with us selling nationwide, if you ever got an issue um, with the unit where you need service or warranty done, mm -hmm. all you do is give us a call here. I mean, I think we've got 15, 20 people on staff now. That's all they do. They'll, they'll locate somewhere to get it worked on for you. Um, and then they'll set the appointment time up and they'll get everything awesome. submitted to the manufacturer so that you're not left trying to do that or be held hostage by dealers saying, well, I I'm not gonna work on it because you didn't buy it from me and you didn't pay my higher pricing. So right. that's the biggest plus with us in that, in that service network. And I did mention that, I talked about it a little bit earlier. It's nice to hear some of those fine details, like sure. the, the fact that there are that many people here willing to help and ready to help and setting up the appointment and all that, that's great. Yeah, That's well, amazing. Uh, and a lot of, unless you've owned an RV and had an issue before, you don't realize the, the importance of that. Because mm -hmm. when you're out in the middle of a trip and you've got an issue, I mean, you're left up to your own, basically. You're gonna call your local guy up and he's gonna say, hey, no problem, when you get back, I'll get it worked on. Well, you can't just turn around and go home, Yeah. right? You yeah. need to help now. Right. So that's, that's a big plus with it. All right. All right, well, guys, uh, I'll find out what's next along with you. So, uh, oh, I, oh, we're gonna give the, we're gonna give away that survival bag now. So let's give away the survival bag. I'll meet you over there. Hey guys, I'm in the prize vault. Let's talk about the prize vault giveaway rules. Not really the prize vault rules, but the giveaway rules. We have rules. The first rule is throughout the day, only one prize per household per day. We'll see your phone number. We'll know if you're calling back and disguising your voice or something. We know. We'll, you're going to have to give us your address to ship it to you. We'll know if you're trying to get in more than one prize during the day. Uh, the second rule is you need to be registered. So I didn't know. I didn't even know this. But when you call in, like anybody could call in and win. But what we do is we check our register. And if you've been registered, you win. If you haven't been registered, you don't win. So you just need to get registered to win. Uh, just go to virtualrvshow.com, fill out a little bit of information, nothing to it. That way we just have some information on you and we can uh, make sure you get the RV of your dreams. If that's what you're doing, we have the information ready to go. And then the other one is friends and family 
of RVW and virtual RV show, uh, they are not eligible to win. Our sponsors, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to win. We appreciate your sponsor, but you're not allowed to win. Unless you're my family. My family is allowed to win. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to do a giveaway for me. I'm just taking this chair here. So we're going to do one less giveaway today because I'm taking this away. So the chair's off the table. Monday. But this is help. still in. The survival kit. This is amazing. Let me just read some of the things in this survival kit. You've got two emergency ponchos, two emergency blankets in here. You've got uh, tools. They're like uh, whistles and tool knives and tool knives, multi-blade tool knife. <laughs> I don't know why I said tool knife. I'm an idiot. Uh, mini roll, duct tape, water purification tablets. That's super cool. You got lighting like a flashlight. You've got three days of food and water. That's 12 200 calorie food bars and 12 uh, water packets. Both of those five year shelf life. Fire starting kit is in here. And then all kinds of first aid stuff all in this bag. And it's, it's crazy when you look inside just to see all this stuff in here. But this is going to the first caller. The first caller at 937-649-5979. We'll put it up on the screen here in a second, but just in case. Not, oh, there it is. 937-649-5970. The first caller. I'm going to take this out. And uh, it looks like we've already got somebody. I'm getting the phone handed to me like I'm important. Hello? Hello? Hey, who's this? This is Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Guess what? You just Cindy? won a, uh, a pack. Where are you calling from, Cindy? What? You're kidding. No, you got it. It's yours. I've never won anything in my life before. You've never won anything? No. Well, you just did. A survival kit. A waterproof survival kit. So you'll survive just a little longer. Are you ever in danger that you would need a survival yeah. kit, Cindy? Uh, what would I do with a survival kit? Survive. Survive what? <laughs> Anything that comes your way, Cindy. Where, where are you calling from? Uh, Newark, Ohio. Newark? Is that what you said? Yes. All right. Well, listen, congratulations. I, uh... I'm not from the I'm in Newark swimming with my granddaughter. Good grief. Is this my mom? Well, I think it just would be the only way I can get a hold of you and talk to you to tell you happy birthday. Well. Because you're 50 years old and trying to move out of the house. <laughs> oh, Ma, that's adorable. Good grief. I just mentioned that. How did I not notice your voice? You sounded very excited. Why? I don't. I know. I don't know. I don't understand. You should know me. I gave you life. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, Mom, go swim with Chrissy. Uh, family can't and, win, David. Okay. You know that. Family can't win. We're going to Actually, gonna give, her that. give her that. Oh, hey, Mom, they just gave you a P.F. Chang's card, though, for calling in. Well, what happened to my survival kit? You don't get a survival kit. I'll take care of you. Oh, my goodness. Good grief. Go, go swim, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Oh, my gosh. We're going to find a real winner. That's fine. She said her name was Cindy, but it didn't sound like my mom. She sounded way too excited. <laughs> that was awesome. That was fantastic. That was funny. All right, we're going to find a real winner for the survival kit. You gave, it to me to the, gave this to me on air, and I told mom I can't keep it from her now. Hello? Hey, hello. Hey, is this Dad? <laughs> no, it's not Dad. I just okay. to tell you, I'm not Dad. Don't worry, no family <laughs> member here. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations. You are the official winner of the survival kit. Who is this? <laughs> this is Scott Trevin. W what is the name? Trevin, Scott. D Scott Trevin? Yes. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Where are you calling from? Twin Falls, Idaho. Twin Falls, Idaho. That's awesome. Well, listen, this is yours. We really, really appreciate you watching. Have, I want to say have fun with this. I'm hoping you never need to use it, but Absolutely. congratulations. It's, oh, it, yeah, it is crazy. I mean, what, you'll use it in like four years and 11 months when you're like, we haven't had to use this, and those food bars go bad in a month. So you just eat them all that month, right? 
That's right. That's when you'll use <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Scott. I'm going to have Tim get on the line and get your information from you, and he will uh, he will get this sent out to you. All right. Appreciate right. it. Thanks a Thank so bunch, Scott. Thanks for hanging on the line during during my mom's call. <laughs> okay. okay. Right, we'll you see you. No problem. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, so uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. You know she's gonna make fun of me the rest of the day because I didn't even, it didn't even click. She even used her real name, Cindy, and I still. All right, listen, you might be watching and, and wanting an RV and you're like, but I want this and that, and I want this in there and I wanna make my own RV. You can do that. And right now I got a video to show you exactly how to do that. Check this out. I got something cool for you to do if you're thinking I want an RV and I'm excited about it and it's just going to be kind of fun to build my own. You can do that. You go to RVWholesalers.com. You can see up in the corner, build my own. I think that's what it says. Super easy to do. I've even shot a video. Maybe we'll show it. Maybe we won't. Uh, but you just get on there and you build your RV. You, build, you pick like what RV you want and then you go into the floor plan. The cool thing is that you can, you can put your phone number in there and then after you build it, RVW will send you a quote. And it's, I mean, it's almost immediate. It's, it's weird how quickly you get that quote. But uh, it only takes a couple minutes and it's kind of fun to just play around with different ideas. And the cool thing is, I've done this once just to see how it works. I put my phone number in, I got the quote, like within, I'm not joking, within like 15, 30 seconds, it was fast. I got the quote. And then I never heard back from them again. I mean, they had my phone number. They could have spammed me and sent me all kinds of texts. Hey, you want that RV or not? It's going to go quick. And they never did. So feel safe knowing that you can build your RV, take a look, and kind of peruse your options and send them your phone number, and they're not going to harass you, but you will get a quote. It's so easy, and it's just it's kind of fun to just even just live vicariously through that as you're building the RV. Go do that right now, rvwholesalers.com, build my own, and see what you can get for the price range you're looking for. All right, guys, raise your hand if you're buying an RV for the very first time. When was that? There was a show where somebody had a mirror, like a kid's show, where she had a mirror and she looked through it and she's like, I see Billy and Janie, and whenever she said David, I'd be like, oh, Oh, she sees me. I don't know what that was or why I'm thinking of it. I told you to raise your hand. I'm pretending like I can see you. Anyways, there are people buying their RV for the very first time right now. I want to tell you that you can buy it confidently knowing that you don't have to uh, try to figure it out on your own. Like when you buy an RV from almost any place, they're going to do a walkthrough with you. So let's talk about the walkthrough here at RVW. What that is, is when you come in to pick up your RV, they'll have somebody walk through the RV with you and show you everything that you need to know about that RV. And it's not a set time. If you have questions all day long, they will take care of you. I know it can be, it can be daunting getting a new vehicle that has all these bells and whistles and not knowing how to do it. Like slides, like there's rules when you, like a parking brake needs to be on and this has to be this way before it opens. And I've been doing these things for uh, a while now and I'm still learning about RVs. But if you buy an RV from RV Wholesalers, you come in, they'll walk you through it. You will leave knowing, having all your questions answered. You will know about that RV. You'll be an expert. Uh, and it's free. At RVW, it is absolutely free to, uh, to do a walkthrough. Other places may charge you. We talk about hidden fees. You'll hear me talk about hidden fees later. And this is Sometimes this is one of them. Like when you go to pick up your RV, they're like, all right, we're going to walk you through it. Uh, but you'll see on your bill, like your price went up $1,200. And you think I'm making it up, but we've talked to, I've had customers in here or, or clients in here, clients, not clients, uh, people who bought RVs I've run into when I've been here at RVWs just visiting. And uh, there was one couple that they were going to buy an RV down the road from here, a couple hours down the road, ended up spending $9,000 less here because when they went to pick up their RV at the place they were going to buy from, they started to do the walkthrough and found out that it was going to charge. They were going to charge them fourteen hundred dollars to walk through their RV with them and tell them how to run the thing. And that's when they said, "Nope, not interested." And they tried to guilt trip them, like, "Well, you've already put a thousand dollars down, and you know the guy walking through with this, he needs to be paid. You know, this guy isn't doing this for free." Listen. 
there's no reason why you should pay for a walkthrough if you just bought an RV from somebody. So uh, if you buy from RVWs, you will you will get walkthrough. Uh, again, if if you're afraid that you're buying from somewhere else and they're going to charge you for that, when you sign on the dotted line, make sure they sign also a paper that says the price you're signing for right then is the price that you pay when you walk out the door. But uh, definitely, uh, when you when you pick up an RV from RV wholesalers, you're going to walk through and you're going to leave here knowing the RV that you bought. <laughs> Hey, uh, did you have any idea my mom was going to call? Well, I just figured you still lived at home. <laughs> I do. <laughs> 50 years old. I live in the basement. Kind of. Long Le story. At least you recognize her voice. Yeah. I, you know what? Would, uh, the only thing that would be worse is like if she showed up and I didn't recognize her. Like I feel, and I told people this before, I feel like I have face blindness. Like I will meet somebody. And if I don't know them very well, I could see them like the next day and not remember. I remember like our interaction, but not remember who they are. Cause I don't know. Maybe it's just an excuse. Cause, but I am bad with names. I just got problems. Bad with names and voices, obviously. <laughs> oh, let's let's talk about this one so we can get inside. Cause I hear it's also air conditioned. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be a, a 2021 XLR Micro Boost 301 LRLE. Okay. Um, so the biggest thing. This is more like a like a mid profile fifth wheel mm -hmm. toy hauler. Um, basically what they did is they came out with this to help accommodate a lot of the half ton trucks. Yeah. Right? So this is going to have a 17 foot garage and no slide out open, like an open uh, concept. Okay. okay. So you notice um, you got solid steps, power awning, got a massive power awning. I, I really like that and gives you a lot of space underneath here. Um, and I mean, you're going to have, let's just real quick, let's just shoot to okay. the back real quick. I left this down just because I, I wanted like to sort of, we, we always have it just yeah. up. Yep. So I wanted to show how, how, basically here's your ramp door, right? Here's your, 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 um, your railing that'll go around and then your cables will attach and bring that up so that you can use it as a patio. Right. I just wanted to show it in the down position to give you a good, Cause we good never feel do. out. We always show it up, which is one of my favorite things about these toy haulers. It's got this, you know, this patio out back or this deck out back. Watch it your, is kind of nice. Yes. Yeah, a little slick there. there. Um, this is for little, they put this a last here for like pets, animals, like a leash. Uh -huh. um, I, I also tell a lot of people use this for like um, kids, you know, cable for, for oh. coolers and stuff. You know, so when you're away from your, your campsite, you don't have anything that can just be taken off That's lawn good. chairs and stuff. Yeah. Power jacks. Now let's get, let's get in this thing. Let's go, let's go to the air get to the air conditioning after Ooh. you. All right. Thank you. Oh yeah. It feels good in here gauge hanging out in here in the air conditioner smart yeah here's the open the open concept you were talking about because yeah. we're looking out the back back this way right exactly so you know that's basically as you come in you've got your your living area slash garage area mm -hmm. right you've got a sofa here that will fold up against the wall okay right? two chairs that, which will move up move out of the way um and then obviously your your sofa is in the back that face each other with a bunk, uh, with a bed above. Yeah. So basically, nice. you could sleep um, two on the two sofas because the two sofas in the back go together. Right. The the drop down bed above, and then you got this spot here as well. So you could sleep two, four, five, six, and then two up front as uh -huh. we get up front too. Great. Nice little location for the TV. Right. It's up out of the way. You got Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth connect to it. Um, two little chairs. You like to sit down, so let's sit down, let's check yeah, it out. Yeah, we'll sit down, just because I want to be like Josh and Tyler. That's right. Hey, you know, while we're halfway through this, let me come over here so it's a better shot they can see us. Let's talk about something we haven't talked about yet, and that's uh, the fact that some of these, you have, if you want one of these, you have to order it now. Yep. I was thinking on the way in, like, how do we convince folks that the best thing to do is order now? Number one, of course, you lock in your price. The other thing is, like, you have to wait, so we're already... I mean, we're like mid to late summer right now. Right. So it's not too much longer that you can actually, depending on the part of the country you're in, not too much longer that you can actually go out and camp. Sure. So why not order now? You get through winter. If you have to wait all winter to get it, you're not going to be camping anyways, again, depending on what part of the country you're coming, calling from. And then hopefully by next spring, you get your RV. So I'm just trying to let people know that if your RV isn't available, it's, it's just not available. So you've got to get in now, get in line, and get the, the RV. Right. Well, well, yeah, absolutely. And then the biggest thing is what I what I've been telling customers is this: you, you already missed 2021, mm -hmm. right? Don't miss 2022 camping season. Yeah. 
Uh, two, to order the unit, all we require, you know, is a thousand dollar deposit for most units. The motor homes are going to be a little bit more, but yeah. most units are going to be a thousand dollar deposit. Okay. Right? So you've got that to place your order. You're not going to start making payments on the unit until, until the, the unit RD. comes offline. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's three months. Four, I, mean, I mean, a lot of units are running four to six months, uh, depending on sh part shortages, just like everything in our country. So, I mean, you're basically, you're going to be into your spring next year anyway. Uh -huh. So, so A, place your order so you're ready to go. B, you're not going to make payments until you, you do it. So you're not paying on something that you're not using. Right. Um, C, you're locking into price because the prices have not stopped going down and they will not stop going down. So you're price protected. or the one of the only dealerships I know of in the country that does lock you in, so your mm -hmm. pricing won't change. Um, and then once once your, your your unit comes in, now you're ready to go. You're not in waiting in line all over again. Yeah. So um, I mean, that's the biggest thing. That's what I've been telling everybody. Okay. It's a perfect time to order. Um, and, and the other plus, like I, I ordered a new truck this year, and um, you get to choose what you want. Right. So, you know, if there's color choices, some units have color choices, um, option choices, obviously most units are going to have option choices. So, um, and we're not gouging you to order. Right. You know, most right. places gouge you to order. So a lot of people don't want to order because they think they're going to pay a lot more and they'll get a better deal on stock. It's opposite, especially now because you can't get stock. So they're going to uh -huh. raise the price there. So get what you want. Right. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, I just want to throw that in there because I know a lot of folks are, I know it's frustrating. You want what you want and you want it now. I sure. get that completely. It's just not possible for a lot of these RVs right now. Well, and it's not just RVs. It's, you know, my family, we, we had, um, we ordered a hot tub in, on January 2nd. Yeah, you had mentioned this. We're getting it installed today. Wow. With, with, so almost seven, seven and a half months later. Wow. So okay. it's, it's everything. It's not just um, RVs. It's everything in the country. And I think most people are figuring that out. Yeah. Um, Just think, had you not ordered it then, you wouldn't be getting your, your hot tub today. No, no. I got a lot of friends that um, had also ordered some after I did, and they're not going to get it until at least December. So. Wow. Okay. All right. So jump in now. Uh, let's get back to this then. Yep. Yeah. This is, and it's nice, it's nice just to sit down in here. It's one reason why I want to sit down, just to get the feeling of being in here and kind of living in here and just for a conversation. Yeah. I like how they put the window right yeah. here. That's a monster window. Yep. Right? Um, so... It, and no slide out, so it's pretty open for not having having a slide. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, and, and the, while we're while we're sitting here, just go over like a little bit of what you're looking at here. So this unit's only 32 foot six inches. Um, your weight's only just basically about 8,000 pounds. Okay. So not not very heavy. Um, eight foot wide. Unit with the sale price running today is only 32,735, and your estimated payment's right around 250. Awesome. Right. So, you know, that's very inexpensive way to get into a fifth wheel and still have a toy hauler uh, to bring. You know, a lot of people think that I just got to have a, uh, a big side-by-side -side or something like that. A lot of people use this for golf carts. Uh -huh. And a lot of people get these just to bring in canoes or, or not, not even anything. They just they sleep they just so the, much yeah. more. So you may space. not even have it in a, an actual toy that, you know, this floor plan is going to work a little bit better if you got more kids and stuff. Right. So, um, let's flip around. We'll sort of show them the yeah, kitchen showed, a little we bit. Yeah, showed a little sneak peek there of the kitchen. Let's let's look at it again. It's, yeah. Uh, so you got a big, um, big stainless steel undermount sink, right? Residential faucet, three burner, cooktop with a glass cover on top to give you more counter space. Um, pretty cool little blue lights on your oven. Uh, Twelve volt fridge, right? Residential. Furion. Furion's Furion. a great company. They are. Yep, and they're doing a lot. Furions, they're, they're starting to do a lot more stuff too. So, yeah. um, as you come around here, obviously again you got some more storage here, cabinets, pantry, different lights, your power awning. This will take be like your tank fills and everything as well. And then open cabinet here, more storage below. Let's go up top. Go ahead and go get in the shower. That's All your right. favorite thing to do. Yep. It looks like we got the uh, pocket door. Yep. All right, again, I'm six foot, so in this case, it's a good thing there's a skylight. Yep. Because I'm, uh, I'm into the skylight. I've got a couple, a few inches above me. A uh, little, I don't want to say tight, but it's, you know. Well, you're only 32 foot. Yeah. Right? So it's right. compact, it's lightweight, um, and you're not usually going to be in the bathroom that much. Anyway. Exactly. Well, there's like... nothing, it's not un uncomfortably tight. Right. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm used to like some of these being more room up here. Like around here is not bad at all. Here, it's a little bit, a little yeah. bit shorter, and that's because it's a mid-profile. Okay. Right. So a mid-profile is not near as tall up top. 
Gotcha. Um, in your upper deck, a full profile is, but okay. those are a lot heavier, so that's why you want the lighter the weight, you, you got to bring in some weight okay. somewhere, and that's well, why. Well, you, you want this lighter because you're carrying something in the back most of the time. And you don't have a bigger truck, so now you can still pull with a half right. ton. Love you it. You got it. Yep. Uh, good, good storage space here. Some towels, roll some towels up in there and whatever you need to keep in there. Still got your sink and everything's yep. still in one bathroom, which is nice. Uh -huh. A lot of them you have to walk out to use the sink. Right. So they still, still did a nice job there. And I do one. love, again, that they got the pocket door here, so you're saving some space there. You know, and, and really, at the foot of the bed, I'm 6'5". Yeah. You still got 6'5 here. Right. Um, actually, you got, you're going to have a little bit of step up, so obviously... As you're going in the bed, you'll, you'll lose a little bit as uh -huh. it curves up there. So um, still got USB ports up top. You're going to still have um, hanging storage in the drawer below. Mm -hmm. And then a whole big, sh you it's know, a lot of, a lot lot of storage, storage over here, there. too. Yeah, you got more wow. storage here and then three drawers down below. That's great. And they cut that out at the bottom to flip your shoes in, yeah, which gets them out of the way, too. So you have storage under here, I'm assuming? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got storage under there as well. Yeah, yeah you sure do. There it is. Awesome. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, this is a nice toy hauler. We do really well. XLR is, a, is an extremely nice unit, and they and they got different classes to to accommodate different buyers. Uh huh. No, this is this is good. And yeah, I do like the, I like them both. The the ones that have the separated garage, but I kind of like this being open too. Again, even if you don't have a toy hauler, to hang out here with the back open like that and just it's just very cool. Open up this window, get a breeze going through here. Don't need one right now because the air conditioner again feels amazing. Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thanks for walking thank us through. We'll uh, head back out here and see what's going on next. Uh, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tell you about a big financing secret. So let's throw to that right now. The wrong shot. There you go. We get behind the scenes of uh, the control center over there. Just a random. Did you oh, see on the yeah, screen? Yeah, see it's right here. Yeah. Uh, so the big financing secret. What is the big financing secret? This can save people a lot of money. Yeah. So basically, what we do is this. Um, you know, what a lot of people don't understand is like when you go into a dealership and they set up the financing for you through the dealership, mm -hmm. right? Makes it a. It's easy. Rates and terms will be just as good as pretty much anywhere out there. The bank actually gives the dealership back end money for sending the business. What right. we do is we like utilize that. Yeah, like a commission. Okay. We take that reserve money and we offer it to the customer. Mm -hmm. So you can get a discount for financing with us. Uh, so that's pretty much what everybody does. Um, a, you're going to get a great rate and term. B, it's going to be convenient. I don't have to go to my bank, make sure I got the right type of check, have to keep running back and forth. You just go to the dealership. When you go to pick up or have a deliver that send paperwork out ahead of time, you sign, send back. If you're picking up here, you just come, sign, go. You don't have to go doing a bunch of running around. Okay. And you just saved yourself two, three, four, five, six, whatever the discount is right. that you're getting on the back side. So, awesome. And what they don't think about is, is also that comes off before the tax line. Right. So you're saving not only $2,000 or whatever it is, plus you save that on taxes. taxes. Yeah, that's great. And a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people just don't realize that. It makes total sense. First time you guys told me about this, I'm like, that does make sense that the, commission, the bank would give you, like, commission for using them. Sure. And the fact that you give it back or take it off for the, because you, it's, you give it back, but you don't hand them a check. It comes off the price of these RVs. Right, which is so, even better because then you save on the taxes that I was exactly, telling you about. So, exactly. That's absolutely. Great. It'll come off your price, and then, um, and then you're, you're all set. I mean, it's great. pretty easy. So there you go. Remember that. Uh, and I, I know David has told us before, like, if you go into a place, if you don't buy your RV from here, which we want you to buy from RV wholesalers, but to realize that we can't sell every RV. If you go into a place and start negotiating the price of an RV, wait till, wait till you get like what you think is the final price and then say, oh, hey, by the way, what about the dealer reserve? Uh, will I get any money back from that? And then he says that a lot of times they'll play like they don't know what you're talking about. Right. They most likely do. He said maybe you get a salesperson that doesn't know about it. like they're, And if they don't know about it, their boss is making money off of it. So, sure. yeah. So just know about that. Just know about that uh, that uh, dealer reserve. Good. Yep. All right. Absolutely. So there you go. There's just a little tip to save you thousands of dollars if you're in the market to buy your next RV. Tim, we're going to the next next one through. Oh no, let's let's check it. Let's let's check in with our sponsors. The Virtual RV Show would like to thank our sponsors. 
Dish Outdoors, TV as flexible as your travel plans. Blue Ox, control trailer sway with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. Equalizer, the best protection for your journey. And RV Wholesalers, your home for the nation's premier RV service. Thank you to all of our sponsors. For more than 70 years, the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch has made towing a trailer safer and put the fun back into towing. Four things make the Equalizer Hitch better than any other Sway Control Hitch on the market. First, a four-point integrated Sway Control System that keeps you and your family safer in hazardous towing conditions, like poor weather, winding roads, and passing semi-trucks. Second, an excellent weight distribution system, which provides better steering and braking control while reducing wear on your tow vehicle. Third, the equalizer hitch is easy to adjust and to use. Hitching and unhitching takes seconds and can be done from any angle, eliminating the stress and frustration associated with other hitch systems. Fourth, quality construction, made in the USA from the best American steel with a lifetime warranty. The Equalizer Hitch's integrated four-point sway control combines these things to create the best performing sway control hitch on the road. Its performance and safety are so good that it has been voted the number one sway control hitch in America, year after year, by thousands of trailer owners all over the country. Visit EqualizerHitch.com to find a dealer near you and ask for the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch to get the best protection for your journey. Alrighty, I'm standing outside the Solaire, uh, Solaire Ultralight, I believe is what it is. But uh, let's talk about it. I'm, Lane, I think, will be here in a minute, but right now, I'll walk you around this, this Solaire. Obviously, you've got the, the awning almost the entire length of the thing. I love the fact they put the lights on the outside of these bars here. Such a great, hey, I started without you. you Give me that nice little heads up. Yeah. <laughs> when did they tell you? Like two minutes ago. Oh, well then you should have been here because I started 30 seconds ago. <laughs> you had a minute and a half to get here. Uh, I already talked about the lights on that. I like the lights on There's the end of the bar. On. Yeah, do you have a, is a mic on and everything? Yeah, is it's he good on. To go? All right, you're good oh, to go. That's good. This is live. This is what's so cool <laughs> about what we're doing here. It's live, so you're going to get little things like this to let you know that, hey, this is real life. Absolutely. Problems happen, <laughs> but we, get, we overcome them like we are right now. Is that what we're doing? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we're winging it is what we're doing. Right on, right on. All right. So yeah, I talked about the awning. That's about as far as I got. Cool, cool, cool. So um, Solaire, a uh, wonderful line uh, made by Palomino, uh, kind of like a subsidy of Forest River. Um, cool thing about the Solaire is they have this really nice uh, exterior fiberglass. Uh, it's actually a gel coat, high gloss fiberglass. Um, a lot of people are liking it from the shine that you get when you're actually driving down the road or anything. It's just a clean look on uh -huh. the, uh, whereas some of the fiberglass out there, you have obviously a million types of fiberglass. You got pen rolled versus vacuum bonded. You got high gloss uh, fiberglass, non-high gloss, gel coated, non-gel coated. I mean, there's a million different options that you have. These guys kind of went to the top of the line and said, hey, look, we're going to go high gloss, uh, gel coated, vacuum bonded fiberglass. So uh, really good quality in terms of the camper itself. Um, and then in terms of this floor plan, I mean, it's a really nice floor plan on the inside. We'll step in and check out that as well. But um, great couples coach with plenty of room for two people, uh, even awesome. a third if someone wants to come and hang out as well, but um, careful, that's hot. There's a little light flashing, so it's obviously <laughs> plugged in, which again is a good sign because that means the air conditioner's probably running the inside. The air conditioner's running. It is well. hot out here. I know you've been in oh, there yeah. selling stuff in an air conditioned room. Absolutely. Working hard, Working hard but in air conditioning. Nonetheless, yeah. exactly. No, right. we, uh, we're having the big sale day running today. We've been doing great in there. Awesome. Um, we're until 10 o'clock tonight. A guy said, you're gonna be there till 10. I get off at eight. I said. I'm gonna be here, so you might as well call me up. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's so awesome. You that's 10 o'clock Eastern here. time, of course. Eastern Standard, yeah, Eastern but, uh, Standard time. You guys are here all day. You guys work. Yeah, yeah. Days, no, yeah. we definitely do. We grind while we're here, and uh, otherwise, there's no real reason to come. So, awesome. Um, in terms of the camper, um, questions that Go usually ahead and talk come to them. up. I gotta talk, check in with Tim. Yeah, over go here. for it. 
Questions that usually come up, guys, different uh, weights, around. lengths, it's things like that. Oh, okay. uh, you're looking at 56, uh, roughly 5,700 pounds, uh, 27 foot 11 inches, eight and a half foot wide. Uh, one slide sleeps two or three, depending on how many you want, and we can talk about that on the inside. Price, you're going to be right around 29.9, and then payments roughly $225 a month, okay? And then again, I don't know if, um, if we got this mentioned or not, but we are in a uh, 2021 Solaire Ultralight 242 RBS. So. Um, nonetheless, that's kind of All's the good. story there as well. Live again. What were we talking about? Uh, what oh, the, the camper is. Yeah, okay. what the camper is. <laughs> well, we'll swing in, man. We'll right. swing in there and uh, talk about the inside of the camper here. Oh, yeah. Feels good in here. Oh, I forgot we did the double camera thing. It, I, I didn't jump because this is the third one we've done live. The first one night we did. I need to play it back and watch it because it scares the crap out of me. Every single time. Every time. We did this last time too with the yeah. two cameras and it scares you every time yep. you step in. It gets you good. That's a good size TV for Absolutely. For such a small camper, guys, yeah. the cool thing is, is <clears throat> you're going to be sitting directly across from the entertainment center, which a lot of the campers in this side, you're going to have to turn that head 90 degrees to check out or even 45 degrees to check out that TV. In the 242, you're directly across from the entertainment center. Now, I love in, that we have it set up like this. Absolutely. With the TV actually there and a table here. Absolutely. It makes me want to sit here, eat, and watch The Office. Yeah. Well, The Office is the best show, but it's only yes. on Peacock now, so that absolutely I sucks. I know. Yeah. I, I did get the cheap version of Peacock. I so did too, I so I, don't, I haven't paid anything for mine though. Yeah. The free version that you can only watch like 10 episodes. Actually, there's. I think it's up to the first five seasons now, unless they just have a little bit of each season. Of each season. I don't really know but there are that commercials. far, but nonetheless, yeah. there are commercials that suck, yeah. but Netflix wasn't like the right. trademarked yeah. Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> um in terms of options, okay, I always talk about options in every camper, every video I ever do. Um, and anytime I talk to someone, I'm very stressful on options, especially when these order times. You know, we're ordering campers left and right right now. The last thing you want to do is wait six months for a camper and then it has the wrong options. So stress options when you're buying it. If it's not through us, through whoever you're buying it through, make sure you're price protected, make sure your options are right. Make sure you're comparing apples to apples when it comes to the campers. This right here that we're looking at, guys, theater seating is an option, okay? Um, you do have an option to do a trifold sofa, so that's why I said on the outside it could be two or four, um, because if we do go trifold, that'll obviously be a queen bed that folds out. You have your king bed up front here. The doors shut on it, so in a oh, camper this cool. size, this might be the first one I've seen with yeah the doors that shut like that, that. Like pocket doors that yeah. close together. Yeah, um, definitely a cool feature on the inside um, with a king bed in such a small camper. Not a lot of people, well, n almost nobody else has um, the king bed in such a short camper. Okay. Um, in the other line I don't carry so nonetheless um, storage on each side of them storage underneath the bed as well um, and then we also have a TV backer on the inside of this too yeah so that way you can have another TV in there if you wanted it um, in terms of storage wow huge storage back here on the back side look at that let them check out the storage see all that's going on in there like hang a bunch of coats and then have secret stuff behind there love it cool features um, giant refrigerator, 10.3 cubic foot. Uh, this is going to be the 12 volt refrigerator, okay? So it does not have the gas backup. But nonetheless, when it comes to uh, running this thing off a of 12 volt, a lot of people are able to run this for a very long time. They'll add solar on the roof. You're charging while you're driving down the road. You're charging while you're plugged in. I mean, there's a million, I mean, every time you're using the camper, you're almost charging the battery. So I recommend these guys a lot. Bigger refrigerator, runs off the of batteries. And when you're plugged in, uh, a lot of people don't think about this, but power outages at campsites are very common, okay? It's not something okay. that's uncommon, um, but a very common thing to have power get dropped at a campsite. If you are just strictly gas electric, um, which is basically either 110 or gas, basically if that power goes out, you're SOL. Anything in the fridge is pretty much ruined. The freezer, you can just call it a day as well. Yeah. All right. With the battery backup though, with it just being a straight 12 volt refrigerator, that is gonna continuously run off of your battery. So the fridge is always running off the battery. The battery's being charged by the power. Mm -hmm. Now if the power is cut, the connection between your battery and your 12 volt refrigerator are still connected. Right. So you're gonna have a good day and a half of no power still running that that's refrigerator. Awesome. So a okay. cool feature, yeah, right? That's great. On the inside. I don't think it's ever been explained that well before. So Absolutely. That's, that's good, that's good to know. Inside the bathroom we go. With this being an RBS, this is a huge bathroom back here in the back. This course, is a big shower. We got to step in the shower and show the shower off. Yeah. So again, I'm six foot. If you just tuned in for the first time, I'm six foot. Plenty of room above me, and it's it's deep. It's deep enough. There's a seat here. 
uh, some shelves to throw your shampoo bottles on or your soap. Dave, the uh, yeah. funniest thing ever. I had a customer here yesterday watches all of our show. I'm pretty sure she's watching it right now. Uh -huh. She said every time you step into the shower, you let everybody know that you're six foot tall. She's five two, so it doesn't matter how she tall you are, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in case you're wondering. <laughs> so what that says to me is number one, I'm very appreciative that she watches constantly. Absolutely, that makes me happy. But I swear I only do it because there are people who tune in for the very first time, and if I don't say I'm six foot, they're like, "What's it matter if he gets in there if I don't know how tall he is?" Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you can be like that I guy off ridiculousness. He does, he's like. 5'2", and he looks really tall because uh, of the camera angles. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's not that tall. He's really short, actually. I, <laughs> <laughs> right. um, I got but nonetheless, uh, you got storage directly across from you, Dave. I'll have you yeah. open that one up. Deep. Um, Lots deep of room in there. Storage in your bathroom, which yeah. is something most people don't think about. I mean, you got to think. you got to store all your towels, uh, any additional clothing. I mean, you got a lot of things to store in the bathroom that if you don't have storage room in there, you're... SOL, you got to figure out another place to put the uh, put all those things. Yeah. So nonetheless, a lot of these campers don't offer that. So in such a small camper, um, again the camper length, twenty seven eleven. Now that's tip to tip. Okay, so we're only looking at about a twenty four foot camper here. Okay. okay. So in such a small camper, obviously interior quality is there. I mean we got solid surface doors, solid surface cabinets, solid surface countertops, and it's not the cheap solid surface stuff. I mean it's the real deal. Um, hard. Now this is going to be a plastic, but it is hard plastic it's not a wallpaper right um so the quality that they're putting inside these solaires uh is is excellent there's no no doubt in my mind we had somebody asking about being able to get into the bathroom if the slide closed you will would not. say you cannot no from not just in this at it one from where we yeah, are not in this one the bathroom won't be accessible um the refrigerator will not be access uh won't be accessible either um but the bedroom will be accessible um, the sink will be accessible as well. Could you loosen the skylight and climb in through the ceiling if you really had to go? No. Okay, so don't do that. No, don't mess around with yeah. that. Stop See, by this McDonald's. Is, this is why Dave is not in the RV industry and just shows <laughs> campers with us because as most of us experienced RVers know that if you break a seal on the, on the roof. See, that's why I asked, just so you could lead into this little <laughs> tips and tricks. <laughs> Um, other things on the camper that is important for Solaire, 5 eighths tongue and groove throughout the entire bottom, uh, and that's going to be the plywood underneath this laminate, um, just giving a more solid flooring. Uh -huh. um, you're also going to notice that there's no vents in the floor. Okay? Right. They're all through the walls, um, so you don't have to worry about any dirt, grime, or anything like that getting in there. And then finally, uh, torsion flex axles on the exterior. Okay. Uh, we're not using leaf spring, we're using torsion flex. Uh, just an upgraded axle to make sure that smoother ride, uh, less problems. So standing here because I'm standing right underneath one of those vents we talked about. Yeah, feels fantastic. <laughs> All right, did we talk about the total on this? Uh, yeah, we did. Out, out front, um, again, total twenty nine nine oh four. Payments of two twenty five a month. Okay. All right. Um, so here's what they want to do. People, I don't know if they believe us or not, but they would like to see the slide shut, see what it looks like in here with the slide shut. Okay. So I'm gonna get out of here, or should I stay in there and see if I'm trapped in forever? I'm not because I don't trust you to <laughs> let, let me out. out. So what we do with this, just open her up, stick her on your bed. Now obviously you can drop that down so you don't have to worry about anything right. crazy going. Um, why don't you just start pushing the slide in and we'll see how slide tight it gets. Here we go. Slide in. See, you said you couldn't open the refrigerator. I was thinking you could open the refrigerator from where, so maybe I, I could be wrong from my angle. We'll figure Just, it out here yeah. real quick, though. So it would be very tough to get in the bathroom, obviously, we already see that. So bathroom, that's gonna be null yeah. and void. Yep. Does look like we got refrigerator, though. Look at that, so you can get in the refrigerator. Yep, we can do refrigerator, can't do bathroom. You can get to everything besides the bathroom. Yeah, everything besides the bathroom on the inside of here. Yeah. Okay. So, and then the slides operates off battery, so you don't have to be plugged in for that. If you are at a rest stop or something like that, or just need to pull off on the side of the road, it's really not gonna kill you to open this slide out right. a foot, slip into the bathroom, use the restroom, shut it again. So I, I mean, mean, if anything, if you if you really, really had to go, don't even open it all the way. Look, I can squeeze right it in there. <laughs> and and that set. took uh, about four seconds for it to get that far out. Yeah. So, you know, if it's really a dire situation that people are asking, you know, 
I get all the time, I get people that say, well, if I'm in a Walmart parking lot, they say I can't open the slides. Well, we all know that Walmart employees are very attentive and are going to be right <laughs> on you. No offense to anybody out there that works at Walmart, but that being said, if you are in a Walmart parking lot, Costco parking lot, Kroger parking lot, wherever you're at, and you open the slide a foot, okay, it's not going to kill anybody. Go use your restroom. I'm sure they'd rather you open that a foot and pee in there than a, uh, than uh, in one of the parking spots. Uh, I'm a whore on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I figured yeah. they wouldn't want that either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, again, that's uh, that's pretty much the inside right. of this. We pretty much uh, yeah covered everything here. Nice. All right. All uh, that's good. That's nice. Very roomy for. What would you say, about 24 feet maybe? Yeah, 24 yeah. foot roughly yeah. in terms of the size of the inside of the, the camper. So. Sweet. You can also get to the outdoor kitchen with the slide closed. Yeah, you can. It's crazy. <laughs> you can't get to the slot. You can't get to the outdoor kitchen if this is closed, though. With the door shut. Yeah. <laughs> See, more tips and tricks for you guys. Uh, oh, but enough about RVs for the moment. Let's go check in with Trailer Swift. Take it away, guys. That's by me. 
talk real quick about price protecting and let me tell you what that means right now prices are going up on everything it's normal inflation's been around forever but prices are going up on rvs right now like monthly we're getting price increases on rvs from the manufacturers so so what do you do all right well when you buy an rv you're going to pay that price no matter what the price is here's the thing though if at RV wholesalers, if you come in and you sign and say, hey, I want to buy this RV. It's going to take three months to get, but I want this RV and it's $20,000. You sign the paperwork saying I'm going to do it. You put your $1,000 down. You're going to pay that price that day. If the price of that RV goes up in the next three months, if it goes up 10%, 20%, you're still going to pay that price that you signed for that day. A lot of these dealers nowadays aren't price protecting like that. I think most, I think all except for RVW from what I know are not price protecting. So in other words, if you buy an RV from somebody else, $20,000, and three months later it's gone up $3,000, you're gonna pay $23,000 when you get your RV. They're not gonna price protect you. It says it in their contract, a little writing, that that's price is subject, subject to change with price increases. So, something to think about. If you're in the market to buy an RV, there's a couple reasons not to force you in to do something right now that you're not ready for, but if you are ready to buy an RV, there's a couple reasons why you didn't need to jump on today. Number one, because uh, there's a good chance it needs to be ordered. Hopefully not, but there's a good chance it needs to be ordered, so you wanna get it as soon as possible, so order it today. Number two, if you order it today from RV wholesalers, you're gonna pay today's prices. No matter how much it goes up, you are price protected to pay what it costs today, not three months from now when maybe you get your RV. I know you understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes I feel like I have to clarify myself too much, but that is it. That is it. Make sure your RV is price protected no matter where you buy it from. If you buy it from RV wholesalers, you know without a doubt it's going to be price protected. If you buy it from someplace else because we just haven't got your RV, make sure that when you sign that paperwork, you have them put in writing that the price you're paying that day or signing for that day is the price you're going to pay. Make sure. Do not get taken advantage of three months down the road. I don't, I don't know how to get out of here. It's gotta be a way out of here. I don't know what's behind here. I mean, we, we came in a car, David. Yeah, but there's gotta be a quicker way back to RVW. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's behind these machines. It might be. Looks like there's a hatch right here. So find out! Gosh. Yeah, I, I don't think he went the right way, Tim. Oh, uh, gosh. We should probably look for a new uh, host or something. Yeah, we need something. Oh, gosh. What is that? What's that? Dude, are you okay? You good, David? Yeah, I don't think that was the right exit. Oh, gosh. That was a little scary. <laughs> there was a second hatch. Let me try that one. Dude, you're all dusty, dude. <laughs> My shoulder is still a little messed up from falling. Look at that. Yeah, look at you. Look at how good you look. All right, but scoot that way a little bit. We'll try and send. There we go. This is Kathy, everybody. Look, Kathy is the reason we all have water and stay hydrated around here. She brings water to us, makes sure we're ready to go. There's all kinds of stuff around here, don't you? And And now a star. Welcome to the Virtual RV Show. This is you making your debut. Yeah, you, you, you sound you sound excited, and you do. You welcome people when they uh, when they show up. Sure and, do. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's I awesome. Love, I love people. Yeah, I know. I've noticed that. When the first time I met you, you were very awesome. So yeah. here we're gonna do something. Uh, hold your hand out like this for me. I'm gonna move your hand just uh, right about there. Does that look good in camera? Yeah, up there just a little bit. All right. So I want to show you. I've got three cards here. They all three of them have uh, spider webs on them. Uh -huh. Consider each one of these cards like a, a room. So like a room after a while has spider webs. So what you'd do is you'd go in and you'd dust the room. And if you did that, you'd get rid of all the, uh, oops, you'd get rid of all the spider webs. But then after time, see, the spider webs would come back. You know, if, you just, if you're just dusting, spider webs are always <laughs> gonna come back. Kathy, what do you really have to get rid of to get rid of the spider webs? Yes. To get rid of spider webs, what would you have to get rid of? What's causing the spiders? The spiders, right? Well, yeah, the spiders. Oh, oh, dang it. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh we're stuck. Hold on a second. So, hold, okay. okay. <laughs> it's hot in here. Hold this yeah, and look, look off this way for just a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something. Okay, and then come back this way. Is this right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a hot room. I'll explain. Yep, never mind. It's not going to work, guys. It's not going to work. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dang it. That's the first time I had, it's so hot in here. Nothing's yeah, sticking. I'm sweaty. You're, yeah. Well, crap, that was live on the air. Lane's over there laughing at me. Let me tell you what would have happened. She would have flipped her hand over and seen a big old spider. It was stuck on the back of your hand. Nice. Dang it, Lane, I see you laughing at me. I'm, I'm crushed. All right. Is that it? That was it. You lucked out so much. Then I, I, thanks. A round of applause for Kathy, everybody. So let me tell you what happened. <laughs> You're allowed to go. Dad, gone it. Tim, Tim was like, it fell, it fell. The spider fell to the ground. The spider fell to the ground and totally ruined the trick. Tell you what, it's so awesome when it works. Dad, gone it. Uh, let me tell you what's coming up this hour besides failed magic. Dang it, I'm so frustrated. I'm going to smack Lane as we walk through the next RV. We're going to walk through a Puma. That's me and Lane. We're going to walk through a Rockwood Geo Pro and a big old Redwood we're going to walk through. It's right there, a fifth wheel. That thing's huge. So uh, let's run over to the Puma right now and talk to Lane about, we're going to let him laugh at me because my magic trick failed. <laughs> Oh, okay. I watched it drop the first time. You did? Like, oh, man. <laughs> Before uh, I started talking. I just found out. They told me. Yeah. They figured it out. Uh, she's got lotion on her hands. Oh. So the sticky, and the sticky's really good. It's, it falls off every, like, every once in a while, but I can usually get around it. That, it's hard to do when people are just watching live and you can't divert their direction at all, like people watching live. Normally, it's a good trick. I failed you folks. Oh, we're live? Yeah, we're on now. Well, it's a good thing I didn't say anything <laughs> bad. <laughs> hey, you're a real idiot, David. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the Puma. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be going through Puma 28 RKQS uh, 2021 model. Um, basically, in terms of the camper, uh, we're going to be, it's a uh, RK, so rear kitchen, QS, queen slide. Um, and so in this particular unit, though, um, the queen bed is stationary, so there's no slide there. So it'll be queen bed and then the slide in up here in this okay. area, okay? Uh, exterior is aluminum on the Puma. Uh, you got a friction hinge door, LED light strip, uh, obviously up it's top. It's a Puminum. Awnings. What's that? A Puminum. Aluminum, Puminum. The heat's really getting to me. It's hot out here. I'm not making any sense. You need a Puma to give you some more a, water. <laughs> probably so. A Puminum, that's kind of funny. Is it, or am I just, I'm, I'm hot. Delusional. Yeah. Oh, now we got Tyler chiming in, that chiming in. Yeah, he just said it. a Puma Matata. <laughs> wow, he's hot too. We need some air in this place. Um, uh, to go, in, <laughs> Paige said to make it super quick, so I'm like trying to drag it on as long as possible because <laughs> it's so hot out here. Uh, but uh, just a few other things uh, out here. Uh, we're gonna have two exterior speakers. You got a light on one, speaker on the other, and then outside um, that back back there. That can either be a storage compartment or uh -huh. outside kitchen, uh, okay. depending on what option you option. go with. Options are important, obviously, uh, when we go to that. But that's essentially outside the camper. You got pass through storage. You get options for the uh, electric stabilizer jacks. Um, pretty cut and dry on the outside of the Pumas. Uh, inside's where the magic really happens. So uh, we'll step in there. I can feel the magic happening right now. <laughs> I'm not talking about the air. That's what I mean. Oh, that's the I can the feel. Magic. The, yeah, that's the magic happening. Wow. Is the inside air conditioner? Is this one very, very roomy. Yeah, it is. So we got a super slide over here. Um, the reason it's going to feel so roomy is because they actually shrink the countertops over here. Yeah. So where normally you would have a camper where the countertops would still come out to here. Uh -huh. um, so you could still touch the other wall in terms of that side. But the uh, shrink and shrunk. 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 I think shrank is the correct. <laughs> the shranken. See, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> the shrunk <laughs> cabinets will essentially give you a little bit more room on the inside of here. Yeah. Um, in terms of inside... Uh, TV would go up top here. Um, we got storage on both sides. Uh, we also have the um, fireplace, inside outside speakers, Bluetooth connection, all that good uh, stuff, AM, FM radio. Uh, also, some other things. You got your oven, three burner cooktop, microwave, storage across the entire top of this. So, the entirety, there's storage going all the way through. There's no walls between the two. So, you're actually able to. Even back uh, there, is that reach, storage back yeah, there? Yeah, so uh, storage back okay. here. Actually goes around the corner again, can reach through, no worries on that side either. Um, so storage up top, storage down below, and then you got your big pantry. Nice. All right. In terms of your refrigerator, again, 11 cubic foot, uh, 12 volt refrigerator. Um, it's cooling now as we speak, freezing everybody out. Um, so nice little features in there. 
Um, Puma's new interior that you were looking at here, well, I guess it's not new anymore, but the interior they're going with with the 2021, 2020, 2022 models, uh, you're going to have white, black accents, um, and then in terms of uh, this is the four-person uh, table and chairs. Um, you do have the option to go to Boot Dinette if you want it. Um, again, options, 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 especially on Puma. They have a ton of options, so just make sure you're right on those guys. Um, we've got the uh, pull-down blinds. Um, these are the roller shades. Now, this interior fabric, you're going to notice it is fabric. Okay, so this is the slate interior color option. They do have granite uh, or cafe latte. Um, basically, those guys are going to be that fake leather, faux leather, whatever you want to call it. Uh -huh. But nonetheless, the slate is a gray color. The other one's going to be kind of like a dark brown color. This is going to be leather, or this is going to be cloth. The other one's going to be leather. Um, right now, it's got two recliners. You do have the option to go theater seating with the uh, cup holder in the middle. Okay. And then we have a trifold sofa right here, so that'll actually fold out into a full queen-size bed, so you're sleeping four in this guy. Awesome. All right. Swinging into the bathroom. Let you check that out. All right. There you go. There's the bathroom. A nice sliding doors in here. Tri, trifold. You call it not trifold. Tri. Ah, oh, tri slide. It's right tri -slide. there. Tri slide. Tri slide. Sink. You got your medicine cabinet. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna step up into the shower so you see how much room you have. But I'm not gonna tell you how tall hey, I am. Hey, how because tall are you, Dave? Not, no, I'm not even saying it because people are getting frustrated hearing me say it. Hey, Dave's six I'm, foot tall, guys. I'm in case anyone's <laughs> wondering. <laughs> uh, but yeah, lots of room in here. This is, yeah, there's a lot of room in here. Like it's wide enough that you're not feeling, you know, compressed in here. In case you're six foot tall. Yes. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. My wife says that about me all the time. Ew. What are you ooing about? What's that? Who are you ooing about? This, you ruined in my secret of how oh. tall I was. Oh. Oh, it feels good in here, too. You're six foot tall. <sighs> So the reason that it's gonna feel extra special good in here is because it does have a vent directly to this area. You're gonna notice that there's one door so you don't have a ton of air getting out of it or anything like that. Uh, queen bed up front, you have two different um, platforms on each side. 110 and USB charging ports on that side. Uh, 110 outlets on this side. Um, and then storage across the bottom and, or across the side and across the top. TV back right here. Uh -huh. Now on this particular unit, it is 50 amp service so we can't have another AC directly for right here it's a straight dump so it'll dump it directly out of the uh, air conditioner unit uh, whereas the other one is vented uh, throughout the entire coach. And it feels I mean it feels good in here no definitely when this door was closed it felt like it got nice and cool in here yeah so. it definitely does There's I no do doubt. like a cold I like to sleep in a cold absolutely. cold room absolutely so, we, so we just bought a brand new home and uh, at our previous home we had to actually have two air conditioners in the place one for upstairs one for downstairs yeah. so that way it could cool evenly now we have like it's geothermal. Uh -huh. I, I wasn't too familiar with it. It was just it was in the house when we bought it, right? right. And uh, that, dude, I kid you not, that thing keeps it cool. Like, really? We don't have any gas bill. Oh, nice. Yeah. So wow. in, the, in the summer or in the winter, it like heats everything, and then the uh, in the uh, summer, it cools everything down based on what the Earth's core temperature is. I was like, dang. I need to look into that. Uh, Amazing. That's <laughs> uh, so what I said. I was like, man, this is cool. Wow. Not knowing anything about it before. This is cool, but... literally and figuratively. Oh, you're right. on that pun rhyme now. Yeah. Walk outside here to this this RV that's covered in a puminum. <laughs> oh, the jokes come back once I step back out in the heat. We had somebody just bought a Geo Pro from us, just got their Geo Pro from us, uh, Jennifer, and she loves it. And uh, G uh, Jennifer, it's great to hear that you are loving your Geo Pro. I hope your experience here was amazing. I'm sure it was because great great folks here she bought it from i think dalton was her guy yeah absolutely yeah, yeah so. absolutely uh, what if folks want you to be their guy huh? who do they how do they call or how, what number do they call to talk to you today the dealership yeah <laughs> ah, he's he's adorable <laughs> folks no if you guys want any questions that i can answer personally guys number is 937-843-2074 i'm a team leader here at the dealership so if you call in you'll either get me or someone else on the team on that number uh if we don't answer obviously leave us a message we're Big sale day today, so we're taking phone calls left and right here today, even if it's just questions. I mean, I know a lot about these campers. I do a lot of webinars for the dealership here um, and things like that, just teaching people how to buy campers, if not just from me, but from everybody, you know. So um, I'm here for you guys if you guys have questions, uh, whether we're buying or not. That's why I'm here. So uh, use me if you can, and we'll rock and roll from there. So I appreciate awesome. it. And All right. Well, we'll thank you, happen. Are you Are you heading back in there now? I'm out. All right. Go sell some RVs. I'm going to throw to a testimonial people talking about RVW. Hey guys, Tim Richardson here, hanging out with Charlie. 
You came all the way from where? From Oregon <laughs> and, and California. Nice. <laughs> So all the way to RV wholesalers to buy a brand new Rockwood. Look at that beauty. A all mini the way lake. to Lakeview, Ohio, um, from from the West Coast nice. uh, to do to, to purchase our uh, our mini light Rockwood mini light, and uh, we had never seen it. It's a brand new model, and I'm really really happy. What I'm really happy with is is RV wholesalers really. Coming from another side of the country, I wasn't sure. Uh, I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> yeah, this is all me. I didn't know what he was going to say. <laughs> this is all good. me. I was really kind of nervous uh, about coming here and nervous, excited at the same time. But uh, they've done a great job here. A lot of times on YouTube, you don't get to True. hear from buyer experience and the whole process. Working with Tim Castle, the salesperson, mm, yeah. has yeah. been really wonderful. Uh, even in the time of COVID where everything has been either delayed or they've been really busy, overwhelmed, um, I'm happy with the process. It's really worked out well. I love the trailer. It's beautiful. It's perfect for my own personal needs um, and, and really can't say enough as to the process here. And uh, driving into Lakeview, Ohio, if you haven't been here, you, you kind of drive in, you wonder, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, it's so green. But it's a small town. It's really small town, and, and here is this RV wholesalers is located here, and you wonder where are they? You, <laughs> you drive down this little That's street, funny. Main Street. <laughs> yeah. It's like, is there really a, a a great dealership here? And there is. There is. They they've really got the the systems down, and it works really well. And he hasn't paid me to say all of this. <laughs> he really hasn't. So were you, were you expecting like uh, paid parking lots and? Uh, Marble floors and all that. Like, no, obviously not happening here, right? Uh, no, you know what's really great? I've traveled the world. I've gone from uh, really poor and inexpensive hotels to really the best hotels in the world. Travel of first class and, and not so first class. But coming here, the, uh, the whole um, setup here is amazing. The floors you could, you could lay down on as they go through your... Uh, inspection. That is yeah, your walkthrough. The, the yeah. walkthrough. Yep. Forgive me, I couldn't find the word. But as you go through the walkthrough, it's so clean and spotless. Chance here was just perfect. Runs you through all the equipment. Nice. Um, because, again, technology on the new trailers has been uh, escalated and accelerated to a point where you, you get a little nervous as to being able to understand the whole system. But they make it easy, and you get Good. there. Yeah, you have to do some reading, but you get there, and you, you will understand the process. No, that's so, awesome. That, that, is, good that is a good experience. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. No, have a great camping uh, experience. Yeah, going back out. home. We're going yeah. back home now all the way to the West Coast. Going to take our, our time driving back. That's this awesome. is a little bit easier for us. Yeah, no, we appreciate you. Glad you're part of the RVW family now. And, okay. Uh, all right. Happy camping. Very good. We'll see you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's give something away right now. This is a cool little giveaway package. We've got a picnic combo pack which is a very nice uh, like uh, tablecloth for picnic tables with clips that hold it in place. We've got two of these telescoping forks so that you can roast your marshmallows. This is much better than trying to roast like this. Your hands are gonna hurt if you don't telescope this. Remember to telescope it. And this cool thing right here, a camp cooker, which is where you put like a piece of bread in there, put some stuff on top, uh, campy pies is what we call them. And then a piece of bread on top, you close it and just hold it in the fire. And it kind of toasts the bread. Look, you can see a little, they have a little picture of it there, I think. Yeah, you see that? It's kind of cool. Uh, they fill it with cherry, and we've had these before. You fill it with cherry, uh, cherry filling. We, we, can, do we have that video we'll show eventually? Okay, we'll show the video eventually of how we made a whole bunch at once. It was something to say the least. Uh, fifth person to text the word WIN to this number, 833-717-0327, 833-717-0327. Fifth person wins this picnic combo pack so that you're set and ready to go. You get all your uh, bad eaten out of the way, s'mores and fruit-filled, sweet fruit-filled pies. Uh, what, I, what else? I mean, you could, we, we made like ham sandwiches in these, right, Tim? Yeah, pizzas, little pizza pocket things. So these things are very cool. You'll have to see, you'll have to see ours. 
you know what? Let us know what your favorite thing is. My brother-in-law makes a, what do you call it? Cowboy bean soup. I don't know why he calls it cowboy bean soup because it's almost like a chili. There's pieces of like sliced up sausage in it and like hamburger and it's spicy and it's amazing. He makes it over a campfire. What's your favorite thing to make around the campfire? Let me know. We want to know. Put it in the chat there. Uh, do we have our fifth person yet? It's hot in here and flies are flying around. Hope you guys are having a great time. Hope you're air conditioned to wherever you are. I'm kind of stalling right now while we get our fifth person, our winner. Lindsay Livingston, you are our fifth person to text the word when to get this and this and this. Congratulations, Lindsay Livingston. Enjoy those. We will get those sent out to you. Uh, we have your information because you registered. Boom, get registered at virtualrvshow.com. Get the schedule on there so you know what's coming up. Uh, coming up right now is that big old fifth wheel right there. I'm going to hit it right now. Let's go check it out. Hey, hey. What's up, man? How you doing? Cool. You know. You doing? Keeping it real. Yeah. How are things going in there? Selling lots? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. We, we are selling quite a bit today. Nice. Uh, I just uh, got off the phone with the gentleman, got his new Rockwood on order. Love uh, it. Oh, Mr. Uh, uh, Michael Whitestone. Okay. So, um, you know, he's, he's gonna... watching. Was he watching today at all? Do you know? Well, well I, 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 to you. I see. I told him in order in order to really fulfill the whole experience. Because see, he thinks I'm an actor. Okay. You know, he thinks I'm an actor because he sees all my walkthroughs and yeah. stuff like that. So he, he thinks. So that... he bought from somebody famous. He, he I, I he didn't use those words. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I I think he. Uh, used more of a colorful vocabulary because he's a fellow Navy vet. Oh, okay. But, okay. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd give him a shout out. Thank <laughs> you right, for so your business. You Enjoy your Rockwood when you get it. Yeah. That's awesome. Somebody could be in this Redwood eventually, right? Yeah. So let's show them their RV. Yep. This one is the 4001 LK. Um, the color that you see it in, there's a few different full body paint options that you can do is on a Redwood. Paint? Yes, this is actually ah, so paint. so sharp. Um, so yeah. this is called the Beach Glass. So it's the blue and black. Uh, full body paint. There's uh, the Sahara. There's uh, just black and white. The gold and white. There's mm -hmm. another color too. Uh, really, you know, to kind of tune in the customization that you can do on your new redwood. Uh, really makes it one of a kind. Awesome. Um, as you see, so it's got a um, high gloss finish with that. Mm -hmm. None of this is graphics on here. This right. is all hand laid. That's right. Yeah, uh, tape it. lines and yeah. paint. Yeah. It's, so, and they even, oh, you know, nice. did the um, water heater cover uh, matching. You know, usually you see them full body paint, so you leave it black right, or right. white, you know, but they actually followed the scheme along with it. So there's really no detail overlooked on this yeah. trailer. Um, two big slides over here. The one in the rear is for the massive rear kitchen that we're gonna see here in just a second. Uh, frameless windows. Um, really big awnings so you're not really losing a lot of real estate because of the um, because of the slides yeah. well and one thing when we get in there remind me Tina wants to see the slides in uh, Tina's down in Alabama wants to see what it looks like inside with the slides in. we've done that with one other today so uh, folks are liking liking to see what it looks like with it close okay we'll do that when we get in there after um, walk through maybe yeah on on this one I and you know a lot of it when people are traveling down the road and they're they're just kind of traveling along and they stop for the night, uh -huh. you know, sometimes they're in an area where they can't really open it up all the way. So they kind of want to see how this trailer looks with the, right. with the slides closed to see how functional it is yeah. when it's not fully set up. So we'll take a look uh, at it. So we'll, we'll take a run at it. Awesome. I, I don't, I, 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 I'm pretty sure you're able to get to the front room with okay. the slides closed on this one. Um, and it might be a little bit of a tight squeeze to get to the back, but I think you can. Cool. Yeah, we'll take a look. Yeah, let's go ahead and head right. side. Oh, oh man. We're going to have to make this happen fast. Yeah. This one does not have the air conditioner on. No, it, it is not. I, I was reading the comments in there before I came out, uh -huh. and uh, I can see why it's running ahead of schedule now because it's, uh, <laughs> even though it feels like 90 out there, yeah. it's like 109 right in here. It's hard to breathe uh, in here. So, because it is a hot day and it sits outside. Yeah. So, uh, let's get right to it. Okay. Uh, middle living area right here. So, whenever the slides do come in, um, you know, right here where our 
camera person is standing, mm -hmm. that, that hallway will be blocked off. So right. you're not going to be able to get back there uh, when this is all closed up. But opposing slides opening up for a lot of space. Right. And, um, you know, your, uh, your dinette here with your freestanding chairs, recliners, all your nice vibrating massagers, mm -hmm. power recline, heat, all that cool stuff. We've seen a couple today with the TV actually in. It looks so good with the TV in. Yeah. So uh, this is something that we do. This this unit does actually have a TV, mm -hmm. but, you know, um, a, as a part of what we do on our lot, this is actually to prevent uh, things that nobody wants to talk about, right. like theft. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we actually do remove the TVs out of every single unit. So, uh, you know, people that had their unit here, that they, it just arrived, you, they can have peace of mind knowing that as that that is quite literally the very first thing that is done. Uh, a couple of folks go out there, they pull the TVs out, okay. and they go get locked back in our in our parts uh, parts warehouse. Awesome, it's good yep. to know. Ooh, should we take a look back here? Oh Holy yeah! Holy moly, it's warm. You know, is the uh, oven on and open. Uh, I think so. I mean, the light's on. Lights are on. Um, but um, I don't know. I mean, it's 12-volt refrigerator. You could probably stick your head in there oh, yeah. and feel it getting colder. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. It, yeah. You know, for a big 12-volt refrigerator like that, or it's a, it's actually a residential 110 refrigerator. It's ran off inverter power. Uh, these things actually do cool down very fast, um, like on a hot day like today. Yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of folks are like, well you know can't get a run while you're going down the road well if you if you have your inverter on yeah you know it will it right. will stay cold you know you can cool it down before you go um you know everything's going to be nice and chilled ready to go right. nice windows as you see window. it says insulated windows so on a redwood what's standard is dual pane windows all the way around that's i, I believe that's standard feature okay so um that's nice high-end touch solid countertops stainless steel uh, full-size residential stove and oven uh, and range yep Love yep it. that's hard to find and microwave over here with more counter space yep. huge microwave more counter space for your coffee bar and lots of storage lots of storage yeah redwoods are very popular with full-time uh rvers so okay. you know and in, in, in fact there's actually an option on a redwood that's called the full timer package. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, it's full timer, full timer package. Uh -huh. the, these things are, you know, you can take them across country, right. or you can just get take a site permanently up. and and just stay in it. I mean, I, I would love to live in something like yeah, this, this full time. Nice. It's in missing fact, a it's garage, got a, a bathroom and a half. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so here's a half bath. Yep. So in the half bath, you're going to have more than enough space for uh, for leg room to do your paperwork. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's got a medicine cabinet. It's got your, uh, uh, stand up cupboard there to your, uh, just in front of you there, uh, floating sink, you know, all kinds of really cool features in there. Very cool. Uh, really big half bath too. A lot of half baths in an RV are really small. A little bit of storage there. Yeah. Little here. coat closet control panel is nice and sealed away in there. There's a little bit of air coming through there. Yeah. Oh, wow, that does feel righteous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, start, should we start in the back here? Yeah. Back. I'll, I'll, uh, her way forward. I'll let him uh, pass by me here. Big old walk-in closet back here with extra chairs. Yeah. For that table extension out there. Yep, so it'll come with extra chairs. You have your washer and dryer prep up right there. Here. Sorry that we're talking a little bit fast in here. It is uh, <laughs> It is. It is very hot. Uh, you want to zoom in on David's forehead there. That It'll oh, tell you. You see, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. I'm warm. Um, like, big shower. Uh, this thing is just short of giving you a light show for your shower parties and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, of course, a, a ton parties. of shower party. I don't know. Shower rave. You know, for the folks I, that like to sing in the shower. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I thought you were having people over. He's av he's avoiding <laughs> that because he's a, he's a shower singer. He doesn't want to admit I, it. I will sing in the shower. Yeah. I am awful, though. Uh, I dig those sinks. Yep. Yeah. Dual like sinks. One, just big one piece. It's not a uh, that sink is not separated from the countertop. It's kind of cool. Yep. Um, there'd be an entertainment center right here. Right. Nice dresser set and cupboards. And um, one of the really cool features about a redwood is that this bed is actually adjustable. Yeah, As you see, it, it is up in the up position, 
but it does lay flat so if one person sleeps a little louder than the other you know <laughs> you just bring it up and that'll nip that in the bud real yeah. fast yep yep all right let's uh let's close those slides and get out of here yeah Whew. so sit right here in the control panel yep should we show i'll stand right here <coughs> uh see that's the good thing is it's 100 degrees out here but after being in here for a while it feels like it's 70 out here yeah so um i don't know if you uh should, should we show them how to use the slides on this yeah, thing sure. so if you want to bring the camera around here um, so this is your in command uh, control panel for a redwood. Uh, it's super easy to use. It, everything is very well labeled. So we're going to check out slides. Bed slide, of course, that's going to go up there. So we're going to hold in and she can watch the slide coming in up there. Right. And of course, uh, I can't wait for one touch functions. That would be so cool. Yeah. But it, for safety, probably they don't do that oh, okay. and probably won't do that. Um, so, but she, uh, really wanted to see the slides out here. So as you see, the first slide to come in is the kitchen slide. And that's fairly well going to block that off. Right. And then holding the same button, this side of the room comes in most of the way. And then this side is going to start coming in. Right, and then everything kind of seals up there. Now, as you see, as I said before, this particular layout will close all the way up to where it's rather unusable while it is closed up. Now, as I said, you can use the bedroom and things like that um, fairly easily while you're um, while it's closed up. But the rest of the unit, um, it's gonna. I would say it'd be rather difficult with this layout. Yeah. But there is a lot of layouts out there that are fully usable. Well, not fully usable, but mostly usable while it's closed right. up, yeah. So what's the price point on this? Have we talked about that? Uh, price point on this is going to be about 98.3. Okay. Um, something like this on well-qualified credit. You can probably find yourself on a 20-year term. Um, you know, maybe around 625 a month. Awesome. Uh, so, I mean, when somebody's considering living full time in something, which these cater to, not specifically, but they do cater to a lot of full timers, 625, I mean, that's, it really ain't a whole lot. I mean, if you add in the lot rent on top of that, in right. most cases, you're going to be living in this full time for sometimes substantially less than renting a house. Right, absolutely. All right, well, very cool. Uh, we had somebody just curious what what Redwood model did the did your did your Navy buddy want? Uh, he he did not actually get a Redwood. He got Rockwood. Oh, not right. I'm sorry, Rockwood. This one. Uh, it was a 2608 BS. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So there you go. Yep. People are like, did he get the one that I want? With the Am stone. I gonna be in line after yeah, the stone yeah. interior, the Newport ash cabinetry. Nice. It's uh, he's he's gonna love it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the cool thing is, people ordered today. They're getting 2022s. Yeah. Yeah. At awesome. a, at 2021 pricing. You hear that? That's important to know. Because we we just this is that time of the year where they just stopped building 2021s. Okay. And completely. So now it is going to be dedicated 2022. So there there's a small frame of time here. I'd say maybe the next week that you're actually going to be paying 2021 pricing. On 2022s. Ooh, another reason so to jump in right now. It, it, it would it's be good a good know. idea because yeah. you know when new annual pricing increases and stuff like that, so they they do jump uh, a little bit. Yeah. You know, but why not save as much as possible? It's good. Love it. All right, uh, we're gonna throw to something that's very important to us here at RVWs. Check this out. <laughs> Hey guys, again, we really appreciate you hanging out with us today. If you've watched the show in the past, you know that for a lot of us here at RVW and the Virtual RV Show, uh, faith is a big part of who we are. Uh, and I want to talk to you about that. I understand that also in the chat, every once in a while when we talk about our faith, it offends some people. I, I apologize that we're offending you with just talking about our faith. I wish it didn't, um, only because being offended is awful. I try to not get offended by anything, but um, 
I do, I do. I just want to share with you my faith. And you can tune me out if you want. I, I don't care. I wish you wouldn't, but I, I, that's, that's cool. I get that completely. Um, with my faith, I know a lot of times, especially in media, you see people like the, the right-wing Christian, and it just it gets a bad name because I believe that a lot of times people aren't doing it right. Uh, for a lot of people, their relationship with Christ is more about just being right and telling you what's right and wrong. And for me, it's not about that. It's about this relationship and getting through life with, um, with this peace that uh, I'm going to be all right in the end. I don't know how else to put it. I, I, my life, I feel, is better because of my relationship with Christ. Uh, I've been through some rough times. My wife has lost family members that she's told me before. She's like, I don't understand how people could get through life without that relationship with Christ. Um, so it's, 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 it's more than just more than just uh, like what, what comes next, although that's a, big, that's a big point, but it's also about like right now in the moment living a life that can be abundant and full and joyful. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. If you haven't started that relationship with Christ or, or you're, you're considering it, I can only say that for me, it's, it's a huge part of who I am and what I do every day. And I, I fail from time to time. I drop the ball. I do stupid stuff. But man, I serve a God that I believe loves me wholeheartedly and died on a cross for me so that I could spend eternity with him. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, if you haven't prayed that prayer and you're like, I need that peace, David, that peace that you seem to be experiencing, uh, I can walk you through a prayer right now that would begin that relationship with Christ. And if you mean it from the bottom of your heart, I believe your life starts to change immediately. I also think that if you're out there and you're like, I, I need something different in my life. I'm searching for something. I've got this hole in my heart that I need filled, um, but I got to get my life right first. I got to stop doing this and this and this. Don't, don't think that way, man. Christ wants that relationship with you just as you are. And if there's stuff that he needs to help you with to get out of your life, he can help you do that. So if you're at the point in your life right now where you're like, I need to pray this prayer. I need this relationship. Just repeat this prayer with me. It's super simple, and uh, I honestly believe your life will change after that. So it's just a simple saying, God, uh, I don't know exactly everything about you, but I know that I need you in my life. I recognize that I'm a sinner. I was born into sin. We all sin, uh, but I want you to forgive me of those sins. Help me with those. Help me get better and, and avoid those. But I invite you right now to live in my life and... Uh, Take control of it and lead me in the way that you know I should be led. God, I, uh, I surrender my life to you. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I believe you did that. I believe you rose three days later. Uh, take control of my life, God. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. It's a, it's a salvation prayer. It says, hey, I know I sin. We all sin. If you say you don't, you're probably a liar, which would be a sin. Um, <laughs> so, uh, guys... If, if you prayed that prayer and, and you want to talk to somebody, feel free to chat us up or email the folks at RV Wholesalers. They would love to send you information. Uh, but if you prayed that prayer, the next thing to do is just find a, a church, a Bible teaching church, and get involved. Get in a, a small group or something like that. But guys, I promise you, it will change your life. Hey guys, if you're watching and you're thinking, I've got a specific RV that I want. I, I don't want to sit through the motor coaches and all this stuff. There's, there's one I want. I'll tell you what you can do. You know, virtualrvshow.com slash schedule, or just go there and click on schedule, and you will see a schedule of what we're going show today uh, on the virtual RV show so that you have an idea of when you need to be back in front of your computer. You can keep the computer on all day, and maybe you'll see something else that you like that you didn't know you were going to like. But if you need to know specifically when certain RVs are going to happen, go to virtualrvshow.com slash schedule and get all the information right there. You know, one of the best parts about doing these shows live is like knowing that you're out there watching. Because I'm talking to a camera with, I don't know, 10 people running around here. But to see like people chatting, like responding to what we're saying, it's, it's pretty cool. So we want you guys to keep chatting, ask questions talk about whatever we want to hear from you we will either answer online in the chat or we'll do our best to answer live here i will answer in, in front of the camera sometime soon we may be able to do like a q a where we just answer a bunch of questions at once and just get one of the guys much smarter than i am when it comes to rvs 
uh, out here to answer all your questions. So do not hesitate to chat. If we don't answer right away, we will do our best to answer. If by the end of the day you haven't had your question answered, maybe we missed it or didn't get, have time to get to it, we apologize. You can get hold of the folks here at RVW. Uh, and they would love to answer your question by either calling or shooting out an email. We'll have all that information up for you to get hold of them. So, All right, guys, so I've been doing this virtual RV show for a little over a year now, learning more and more about RVs, but there's something that's always not bothered me, but kind of, I'm like, do people not notice this? Can we not fix this? Let me show you something. Can, let's get down here very low. Look at this. This has always kind of bothered me, where there's always like a little step up in the slide, and I just assumed it's just something that had to be. Well, the folks at Rockwood uh, and the 2022 fifth wheels have got this figured out. Watch this. This isn't open all the way. When it opens all the way, look what happens. This is huge. Look at that. Completely level now. You don't have a little step up where you're tripping into the couch or into the chair or bumping your head on this up here. You can stand up with me now. Uh, at completely level. Look how good that looks. It looks like an extension now as opposed to like an added room, if that makes any sense. On top of that, on top of the now level floor, literally on top of it, is a new hybrid carpet. Stain resistant, water resistant, pet friendly. Look, you can pet it and he doesn't even care. I think that's what that means. I don't understand that completely. But uh, yeah, so exciting things happening at, happening at Rockwood. This is just absolutely brilliant. The, the level, the carpet that's gonna last forever. Ooh, Rockwood doing it upright. All right, we're outside a Geo Pro, a Rockwood Geo Pro. I don't, have we seen a Geo Pro toy hauler yet? Have we shown these? I don't know if you have, but I, I, I did a, a whole YouTube uh, walkthrough review for, the, for this uh, okay. model before uh, on our website. And it's, and a lot of people are like, made a Geo Pro toy hauler? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. As I was walking up this way, I saw through the window here, that I could see out back. I'm like, there's no yeah. way this is a toy hauler. And, and it's a toy hauler. And, and believe it or not, it's um, it, it's everything to love about a Geo Pro. Uh -huh. Everything. Okay. But, you know, they, they never, I, I don't know what it was about them. You know, it's, uh, when, when you see one, you know you're looking at a rare find because you don't see a lot of them everywhere. Right. Uh, because nobody really knows that they make them. Yeah. You know, so when people think toy hauler, they're thinking like, you know, something big like the Redwood or something even just bigger than this, period. Yeah. You know, a lot of people won't think you can fit stuff in here, but yeah, you right. can. I mean, you can fit you can fit a pretty big quad, like a full-size quad in there. Yeah, I, I snuck around and peeked in the back. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah. crazy. Um, right. But yeah, as I said, everything uh, that, that you know to love about Rockwood Geo Pro, mm -hmm. it has it. You know, it's got your uh, frameless windows, outside speakers, it has your... Uh, off-road tires and uh, lift package yeah um, you know and it has your other safety features like toy haulers have like vapor vents huge awning you know that's a rockwood thing right. you know big awnings um, solid steps easy quick lock and latch uh, toy hauler door uh, so everything stows up real quick you don't have to muss and fuss around with anything yeah. uh, but um, let's go ahead and hop All inside right. So, as I said, there's a ton of space in here. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you fold up these two uh, lounges right here, I mean, you have a fair amount of space in here. Like, for example, like, you know, if, if I wanted to get my road glide in here, you know, my, my big road glide, I can yeah. fit that in here, and I still have room for stuff on the sides of my bike. Right. Or if I wanted to fit a big 4x4... Four four, um, trail quad you know i can do that because it, it's huge in here and these fold up pretty tight to the wall they, they do fold okay. up fairly tight to the wall um they also uh do fold over um to to make the to make a sleeping area right actually i think they actually jackknife yeah. down uh to make this whole area a sleeping area okay great you know um and that would yeah. be a good size bed that's at least a queen right yeah, it would be at least a queen. Okay. Uh, the table is movable, so you can take it in. You leave it in here. You can take it outside. A lot of storage counter uh, cabinets up top here, or you can have uh, little tubs to put under here. Great. Uh, Ten cubic foot 
uh, 12 volt refrigerator that's ran off inverter uh, that's uh, charged the batteries from the solar panel on the roof. Um, you know, you got your GoPower solar controller right here with the USB port, so you can actually um, you can actually data log your um, solar inputs and outputs and oh, things wow. like that. So people that really are, you know, like really hardcore about going solar, mm -hmm. like this, this is set up for you to data log it and it is ready to expand from the factory. So that's okay. a huge, huge upgrade Great. right there. Cool thing about this one is it is available right now. This one, yes, this exact one that we're standing in is actually available on our lot right this second. Okay. Um, you know, and talking money on something like this, you're about 26, seven. Um, okay. You know, I, I, I know that it's gonna be a proverbial bloodbath in the sales room now that I said that because yeah. <laughs> it's a, one, uh -huh. it, it's an available Geo Pro right. in the United States. Okay. That's the first thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> the second thing is just like, man, you know, I could, uh, you know, I could, I could be coming to pick this thing up in just a short amount of time from from now. Right. You know, like with scheduling and things like that. Something that is in stock. You know, you could, you could typically um, account for about three and a half weeks logistics time wow. to get you scheduled and things okay. like that. Your travel time. Um, yeah, so I mean, awesome. if this is something that you want, I, I would uh, I would now. highly consider calling now. It is a Rockwood Geo Pro that is available in the United States, and it's probably one of very, very few that are <laughs> available in the country right. right now. So let's take a look here behind the camera. Yeah, so um, you uh, get a nice little galley area. The bathroom door is kind of blocking off the cooktop and range, but you get... Uh, nice uh, ventilation fan up top uh, nice l-shaped countertop with uh, your pop-up power post over there vinyl roller shades you get your uh, um, microwave here but there is an option for a convection microwave okay. uh, that you can get on the rockwood geo pro um, and then going into the bathroom you know on a trailer this size when you're wanting to have all that garage space it's awesome that they don't have a wet bath. This is a nice dry bath mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, people that don't know what a wet bath is, it's where the shower and the toilet share the same spot. Uh, so this is not a wet bath, this is a dry bath and a small trailer, that's a huge plus. That's awesome. Oh yeah. And it's available, at least it was up until well, it, it, you know, five it, minutes it, ago. When, when, it, when, I, when I walked out here from the sales room, it was available. Okay. Um, it might not be now, but right. uh, you never know. If this yeah, something that, out. if something here that's uh, needing to be scratched for you, I I would really recommend calling <laughs> right away. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, I definitely. Love I love it. Hey, uh, do you know if there's an outside TV mount on this thing? Uh, no, not no. on this okay. one. There is not an out outside TV mount, but you do have your uh, twin 110 outlets okay. right here. Um, and you know there there isn't really a spot out here for a TV mount. That's not saying you can't have them. Um, I've seen people do really clever like mounts that go on top of their tire uh -huh. that like have like a little post on it and they can right. okay. set up a TV on Let's it. It's creative. pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's a lot of cool things you yeah. can do if you don't have a TV mount out here. Very cool. Uh, yeah, Tim just mentioned YouTube. Go to YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials on there. YouTube. Uh, there's other Facebook groups out there with a lot of campers just like you and I uh, out there sharing their tips and yeah. their tricks. Love it. Yeah. Love it. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, again, it's a, it's a Rockwood Geo Pro. You know it's high quality. And again, it was available up until a couple minutes ago. It may <laughs> still be available. You need to call right now to find out. What do we got going on, Tim? I know you, you told me. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to check in with Texas and find out what's going on down there. The Texas we have down in uh, Dodd, uh, Dodd, Dodd City. City. I was yeah. in Fort Dodd. It's Dodd Fort City. Fort Dodd. <laughs> we have uh, Dustin down there. I want to check in with him. And then uh, we also, in northeast Ohio right now, we have a new mm -hmm. RVW yeah, dealership. Yeah, up, up in Mansfield. Yeah, we'll have to check in with them sometime. Probably not today. They're busy working. Uh, so is Dustin, but he's used to us checking in. So let's check in <laughs> with Dustin right now down in Texas. 
you know, we're, uh, we're saving people tons of money. We're doing the service network down here. You know, we also put in this location right here in Dodge City, Texas. So we're right in the Metroplex's backyard, you know, on top of, you know, we're fixing to unroll the Lone Star package that David Darnell's talked about some. So, man, there's lots of big things coming on here in Texas. Um, we've done, you know, several good things. We, we got a big following already here in Texas of people just learning that we're here, you know, and we got tons more coming. So just stay posted with us here. You know, you can call me directly at 903-200-8452. Look forward to hearing you from you folks here in Texas. New for 2022, I'm excited to uh, unveil this one to you. It's this, the USMA West Point. Let me just show you some of the features on this. Number one, if you're a Star Trek fan, you're going to love this, you nerd. Uh, first of all, if you look at the front, not very, not very aerodynamic. Aerodynamic, what we're learning, is a thing of the past. 2020, 2021, that, enough of that. Aerodynamics doesn't doesn't affect that much. It's much cooler to have a front end like this so that if there are deer running out in front of you, you don't have to worry about the deer. The deer will, the deer won't be a problem. Uh, and then look at this door. How many times have you thought, I need a door that just looks awful. This is it. Uh, and then the, the windows nowadays. We want windows that, uh, here's the problem. We've gotten soft. As technology has gotten better and, and more impressive, we've gotten soft with, as people. So we, need, we don't need automatic windows. We need windows that you have to unhinge and open with your hands. Remember this? You remember roll down? And then we went from roll down to just this? Come on, stop being soft. This will get you back to where you need to be. Uh, and then if you look inside, because it is so new and we, we're not supposed to be unveiling these brand new 2022s yet, we're not allowed to go inside. But as you look in there, I don't know if you see that lighting. The lighting, enough with the lights actually built into the thing. You want to move lights around. What if you don't want a light right there? What if you want a light here? You can move that over here. That's thinking. That's listening to, listening to the customers. The, uh, oh, if you look up there, I believe there might be what we call an eight track. Again, modern is retro. So uh, a lot of us have eight tracks sitting around, whether it's the village people or the Almond Brothers. And you're like, I want to listen to my eight tracks while I'm running around the country. Well, this 2022 model has you covered. So uh, let's talk about all the great things. You're going to be working more, like opening windows, manually opening windows. Uh, you got eight tracks, so you can listen to those eight tracks that you still have at the house that you don't think play anymore. And then you've got a uh, reflective, a little bit of reflective something or other on the door there. And then the double the handle it. slash towel bar. Yeah, yeah, that, that's... Good point. I'm glad you pointed that out. Sometimes when, you, when you're opening a door, you're like, this is just a handle? What a waste of space. This one opens the door, but also allows you to hang towels from it, uh, maybe dry, uh, lay spaghetti over it. Or, um, again, I've talked before about if you have a monkey, a little monkey can do chin-ups there and keep your monkey healthy and in shape. 2022, the USMA, West Point, get hold of us if you want this model.
wanna see your brown skin shimmer in the sun for the first time. I gotta be the one who knows just what to do to you. Swift and listen if you want a trailer Swift shirt let me tell you how to get one you can go to a YouTube video uh, like a virtual RV video on YouTube or an RV wholesalers video on YouTube and down below it's got merchandise you can click on the trailer Swift buy the shirt buy a poster a trailer Swift poster how cool is that very exclusive because a lot of people don't know who they are if they haven't watched uh, the virtual RV show you have no idea who trailer Swift are we do because we're yeah. super cool yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what's coming up this hour we're gonna walk through a triumph super C that's right over there we're gonna walk through a Winnebago micro mini and then we're gonna walk through this and we're gonna do that right now this Heritage Glen Hyperlite should we do it? Yeah, let's All do right. it. Um, 25 RBHL. Um, point out a few things. We're going to hit the exterior. Um, you're going to sleep about three people in this coach, too. So, yeah. perfect couples coach if you're paying attention. Just a yeah. husband and wife, maybe one kid or something like that. Perfect coach for yeah. it. So, awesome. Um, outside always starts with your guys' TV mounts. You can bring the TV there from the inside, hang it right up out there. Um, cable hookups, 110 outlets to plug the TV in the power. Two exterior speakers and the, the whole awning, like on most models, is going to be completely lighted up, guys. Right. That way, you don't have to worry about lighting in the middle of the night. Um, what is that little leash there for your dog? You know, a little puppy or something. You tie up right there, and then yep. kind of the the big thing on the the Heritage Glen series, you guys are going to find out magnet enclosures. Those black little clips. You don't have to worry about breaking off. That's nice. a huge thing. And then your guys' exterior camp kitchen. It's going to be like a, a black stone, cold roll steel cooking surface. Um, Those things are fun to cook on. They are. They're super yeah. nice. Breakfast in the morning, steaks, burgers, whatever you guys want to do. And then a, a nice little small mini fridge there. That's going to be your guys' LP quick connect hose that hooks up to the grill. And then your outdoor spray port. 
hook right up in there underneath that. You guys can spray out big pots, pans, anything like that, dog feet, it's perfect. whatever you guys want to do. So and This is pointing out, I kind of like that. Something in my eye. Uh, the leash is under, I don't know, most of them may be, I don't know, but mm -hmm. I just realized the leash hookup is right underneath the awning. Yeah. To keep your dog, your pet shaded. Yeah, and right yeah. next to the spray port if he oh, has yeah. to get, you know, positioned where you have to spray his feet off or something. Yeah, that's so good. that's a big thing. That's good thinking. Um, what else here? Well, head on inside. Yeah, then. let's go inside. Yeah. See if the air conditioner is on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, air conditioner. Yeah, it's nice and cool in this one. I almost died in one day because it was so hot. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm glad that you could be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yes, we'll kind of start back here. Uh, big thing here, guys, you're going to have the theater seating. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be complete with USB charging ports there in the center of it. Um, those are going to recline. And then the, the perfect TV viewing position. Yeah. You yep. don't have to turn your head or anything. I mean, you're right in front of the TV. That's I'm huge. You. you know, I don't know if it's just because... I'm in here working all day, standing up, walking through these. But I come in here and I see a, a, a lounge like mm -hmm. across from TV like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that would be so awesome right now just to sit in that chair and watch TV for the rest <laughs> of the day. I'd be out in minutes, if that. But, yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Fireplace, indoor speaker system, and then all of your guys' controls for black tank, awning, slide outs, everything are going to be on that one control system. Um, what else we got here? Big fridge. That's big fridge. Good size also, fridge. Also, there's big, before we forget about this. Yeah, pantry. Yeah. Huge walk-in pantry. That's one thing I, I did want to hit on here. Yeah, lots of room in this pantry. Uh, while we were outside, somebody, I think Tom, noticed mm -hmm. that the, there's a big distance between the wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the reason for that? Distribute weight while you're okay. traveling down the road. I assume. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead, find I, out from somebody who actually knows. Yeah, that keeps weight distributed between both axles. If they okay. were close together, it'd be like having a single axle and wouldn't be worth having to gotcha. tandem on there. So. Gotcha. Yep. All right, so there you go, Tom. Thanks for asking that question. Other people were probably wondering too. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, sorry. Let's uh, yeah. Um, hit on the dinette here a little bit. That will drop down here, guys. Um, that'll drop completely down. These cushions will go on top. Um, another lounge for the TV for maybe a small child. Yeah. Somebody staying the night, and then you could sleep an extra person if you had to. Awesome. Um, a cool thing Heritage Glen does, you guys will have storage in the whole entire bottom of the, the okay. booth. So that's a, a big thing here. A lot of certain sizes of storage containers will fit in there to keep stuff organized. So Great. Um, nice little kitchen. I like the backdrop. I like the color of the black backdrop. Yes, big kitchen and big fridge, too. That's going to be one of the big 11 cubic feet 12-volt refrigerators. I mean, that's, that's good size. I mean, mm -hmm. you can pretty much put anything you want in there. People are used to the normal RV style propane fridge. That's three cubic foot bigger, so. Perfect. Uh, skylight over the kitchen. Don't see that a whole lot. Uh-uh, that's kind of nice. So. Yeah. That's always nice. Um, nice L-shaped kitchen, countertop extension. extension that's going to pop up just like that. And, and decent amount of storage in all these. Waste basket holder. Um, this is going to be more storage too. A lot of people also want to see that because they think it's part of the oven. Yeah. That's going to be a nice big storage area for your guys' cooking utensils, whatnot, pots, pans. Great. Back here. Oh, more air. The air feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> good. His and hers size wardrobes here. Mm hmm. I like that they have space. We've seen one earlier today that had some space back there to kind of hide stuff. Exactly. You know, your sleep pap or whatever you need to put back there. Yep, CPAP, phones, charging ports right there for your devices. It's, Good not, blocking, it's not blocking the front, so you have to move it to get exactly. into here. Yeah. Good size storage up there, and you guys always do forget about it. You guys will have a bunch yeah. of storage underneath your bed, too. Yep. Awesome. Um, TV backer, guys, where you put like a swivel out mount for a TV, cable hookup, and once an outlet to plug TV in. Great. Um, what uh, what size vehicle would pull this? It's going to be a half ton. Uh, okay. You're lo looking at about 6,000 pounds dry. Okay. So that's going to be big SUV, like a Yukon Tahoe kind of thing, all the way to a half ton. Gotcha. So. Perfect. Uh, big bathroom. Yes, it is. Probably one of the biggest bathrooms I've been in today. Yeah, it for the size of camper it is, it's giant. Um, you guys are also going to see the skylight over the tub. Tall guys, I mean, that's an extra, what, three, four inches yeah, of headroom. absolutely. So, huge thing. Um, what else over here? Tons of storage in here, and those go all the way back to this wall. Mm -hmm. So that's super deep storage. Yeah. Fit a lot of stuff in there. Toilet the, paper roll. I know that a lot of people want the toilet <laughs> paper roll. Another cool little wardrobe thing here that you guys can hang stuff up in. 
Lots of counter space too for a, a bathroom. Lots of counter RV. space, and then the t uh, the uh, toilet position huge uh -huh. too. You guys don't have to have your leg hanging out of the door. It's not crooked or up against the wall. It's right. perfect position for that. So it's good. And if you if you do it right, you can take care of business. And if you get your angle just right, watch TV. Yeah, especially a big sports game. You yeah. guys don't want to miss, especially those you Buckeyes. Yeah. So it can be awkward for people sitting out here, but <laughs> you don't want to miss your sport. Couples coach, right? Yeah, Couples that's coach. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what's price point on this? Uh, price point, guys, coming in about thirty thousand six hundred forty dollars. A lot of RV. It's a lot for that, of for for that great of a price. Yeah, and then on like a monthly payment, you're talking two hundred thirty bucks. So. Wow. I mean, that's, that's crazy. pennies to the dollar and what can get you per month. And it so. just looks cool standing here and looking back that way with that door open. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I get the colors. It looks open. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very cool. Yeah, the Heritage Glen does like to try to kind of dominate that modern market, so to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't. It fits my generation. It fits your generation. Right. I mean, that's. I think they're awesome. Our generation is so. probably the same. We're about the same age, probably. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe on maturity yeah. level or something. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. I'm probably a generation behind you on maturity level. My wife would tell you I'm definitely behind you on maturity level. All right, so uh, good, good stuff. Yeah. I'm going to check in with Mitch to talk about sway control. We talked about what toes is. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to him about sway control and what that's all about. Yeah. So uh, let's go talk to Mitch. Awesome. Hey, look who I got with me. Mitch. The man who knows all, especially about towing stuff, <laughs> like sway bars and that kind of control stuff. We've got two great sponsors, sponsors here. Sponsors. Sometimes I say sponsors. That's how I, <laughs> that's how I pronounce it. You can't laugh at me. That's rude. Um, Blue Ox and Equalizer, both great, both uh, comparable or comparable. Let us know in, in, in the chat if it's comparable or comparable. See, what's funny is that it's spelled the same way, so no matter what they say, we won't. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, so tell us why it's important to have a sway bar or, or just that kind of control, that safety, that extra safety. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, like, most people are, are used to, like, you know, you've got a flatbed trailer. Mm -hmm. There's no sidewalls, right? right? So you don't really catch much wind on those. Yeah. Well, on any type of travel trailer, whether it be an 18-foot up to a 43-foot, right? right? When you have sidewalls, you're going to catch sway side to side from wind, mm -hmm. um, from going by, you know, on interstate, going by other vehicles. So what an equalizer uh, sway bar hitch does, Blue Ox and Equalizer, they both um, are two great brands, mm -hmm. um, both basically do the same thing. They've got four-point sway control. So what, what happens is it catches sway from side to side and front to back. Okay. So you're catching all four points of sway. Um, also, they have weight distribution. So when you hook up your trailer, to your vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's like that. Well, this will allow it to ride level. It distributes the weight off the tongue to the rear of the coach, so everything run, rides level properly and you're not tongue heavy. Okay. So it just, it keeps the trailer from, like when you're going down the road, if something starts swaying, that's, that's gonna be a major accident. It's gonna be terrifying, gonna yeah. You're not gonna be comfortable pulling the unit and it's not safe. You know, that's that's the best thing about the, about the hitches. And I, and to my personal opinion, I've been here 16 and a half years. I mean, that's, it's a must have. Okay. You know, just, so. What's what's like a, how much are they? I mean, is there? You know, you know, right around, you know, six, six to 600. I mean, I would say anywhere from 600 to 750 bucks, okay. depending on what weight ranges you okay. need. So pretty affordable. And that's all installed yeah. from us. So oh, I mean, we, we okay. do, we have a great pricing on, on that. And. Um, we do thousands every year, so our, our trained technicians can make sure everything's properly done mm -hmm. if you're picking up here. So, yeah. so that amount, 650 to 750 whatever you said, is a f really good price to ensure the safety, which at best could keep you from having an accident, mm -hmm. at least save you from having an accident in your pants as you're driving <laughs> and you realize that's moving around back there. So that, that may be way too much information. Uh, what about like towing? Like, how can people find out? Like, all right, I've got this vehicle. How much can I tow? What's the best way to figure that all out? Well, um, the easiest way is is you can go onto our site where we'll have a link to where you'll be able to look those weights up and everything. Okay. Um, you can reach out to us. Um, you can call me directly. Call your salesperson directly. Uh, we we can look that up. Help guide you with that. I mean, a lot of times you'll know. 
um, you know, or a lot of times you've got a good idea what you are, but mm -hmm. we can just confirm that and help okay. that and go to, you know, and you can look that up on our site or call us and we can right. help assist you. With and that. I know Tim put together a website, towingcalculator.org, towingcalculator.org. He's gone through how many, how many vehicles are on there, Tim? 190,000 190, different makes and models. I, <laughs> I was going to say, he's got like 300 different makes and models on there. It's 190,000. That's crazy. That's 12 years of work. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, it goes back 12 years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it took me 12 years. I was 12 when I started it. And finally, it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's, I'm carrying on the conversations in my ear. Uh, so if you, if you have questions, you know your model and you're making model, you can go to towingcalculator.org. You can call the guys here, but they can make sure you're safely towing a, an RV that uh, fits into your, your tow range. Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. Anything else? Anything else? What about, uh, what about like, what, like besides, okay, so you got your, your RV is dry weight 8,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. What? What do you need to consider it when you're when you're looking at like how much is it gonna weigh after you have stuff in it? Is there? Great question. Um, so how I was taught 16 years ago, rule of thumb is um, on if you can pull, let's say you can pull 8,000, uh -huh. right? You need to try to keep your dry weight at 7,000 or less. Right? Okay. Give or take a couple hundred pounds there, I'm you're fine. Now that's on a traditional regular regular unit. Now if you have a toy hauler, that's a different case because you're gonna have a lot of weight in there. A toy hauler, you're gonna have you know a side by side, a bike. Those are all a lot heavier. That's mm -hmm. those are gonna weigh a lot more than what your uh, normal capacity of okay. supplies and you know luggage right. that you're bringing. So, okay. um, but rule of thumb, if you sign a toy hauler, keep it at a thousand or less. I've never had somebody maxed out. I've never had someone called, yelled, and mad at me because I had them maxed out by doing it that way. So okay. that's how I avoid that. Cool. <laughs> it may be a little bit of overkill, but I'd rather be a little bit of overkill and their safety be, be, safe. be more important than you know having an accident or having to, to max them out on a tow vehicle and get a new, mm -hmm. new vehicle. So. Awesome. So I got a little tip for you uh, when it comes to your fire extinguisher. These things are obviously a must in these, but over time, not even over time, like when I say over time, maybe every few months, as you're driving down the road, this is bouncing around, what's inside here may settle to the bottom of that. So it's nice every once in a while to turn this thing over and take maybe a rubber mallet and just kind of hit the top of this just to keep things loose in here, shake it up a little bit, but just uh, stay on top of that. Make sure that what's inside there, when you pull this, pull this and squeeze this, what you need comes out. So uh, yeah, just keep things, a little bit of that every once in a while, shake it up and it's good to go. Maybe if you do that every time, right before you go on a trip, it can save uh, a lot of damage. So there you go. All right, so before we get into this, Joe had a question. Yeah. What was Joe's question? Uh, it's something about uh, towing a half ton towable fifth wheel with a half ton truck. Um, that can be done. There are many models that do that. A okay. huge thing that, that kills the half ton in that market would be your pin weight. Okay. Uh, the tongue weight, the pin weight of that, that king pin on that fifth wheel pushing in the bed of your truck, that's where you're going to have problems. All and right. you also hit on payload. That's a huge another question about how much you can put in the trailer and, and all that good stuff. Towing, any of our towing calculators, I believe Tim's had even created like a website. Yeah, to what is that out. website, Tim? Yeah. He's going to tell me here. Towingcalculator.org. We, we did just talk about it? Yep. Okay. Huge. Awesome. Pl plug it in, plug your vehicle in, plug the camper you want, and see if you can get done or not. Okay. So. Great. Perfect. All right. Now, you don't need a tow vehicle for this. No, this is the tow vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> this is a beast. <laughs> yeah. This thing can tow something, though, right? I mean, I, just off the top of my head, I believe it's about 10,000 pounds of okay. towing capacity in the Super wow. C. So okay. that's a, a huge deal. Small vehicle, boat, razor, side by side anything you guys want yeah. to so and just look i mean just look how i mean that's a manly manly super c <laughs> yes it is well, international that chassis that's yeah. huge too um big ordeal on it six seven cummins motor on it paired with an allison and know anything about tranny and engine combos about the best you can get out there to tell you the truth watch so. out watch how magical this thing is look at me i'm a nerd now watch how manly i look when i get in here <laughs> look at the difference Oh, wow. He means business, guys. 
Can you see the difference? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is awesome. This thing is nice. <laughs> a huge thing on that, people get intimidated just by looking at the size um, nice. on the Internet, seeing it. When you get behind the cockpit, you still feel like you're in a, a truck. Right. So once you get, aside from the fact that it's a giant vehicle, uh -huh. you still have a nice little cozy cockpit. And I, I mentioned before, now, this is a little different, obviously, but I've mentioned on the show before that for a while there, in between jobs, uh, I worked for FedEx. I drove for FedEx. I drove mm -hmm. one of their bigger box trucks, mm -hmm. which I had never driven anything bigger than a smaller pickup truck before that. Yeah. And it took no time at all yep. to be able to zip around in that thing. And that was before the backing cameras. I mean, backing yeah. cameras may have been around, but we didn't have any. Or the side cameras. Yep. So much easier nowadays. But it really, don't let that freak you out. Exactly. It's not tough to drive one yeah. of these big vehicles, especially if you're, if you're careful and, you know, you look at your surroundings. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hit on a few things here on the outside, guys. Um, giant awning. I mean, almost the whole length of the, the coach. A uh, huge ordeal, too, if you guys have a bunch of people and yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. And uh, Tim's mentioning, like, every every exit, you have spots where you can fix diesel engines now with with uh, semis all over the place. Uh -huh. You know, so it's, it's just n nothing to be worried about this. this yeah. Thing. One thing, too, the, the rim size, guys, that's a 22.5. That's what every semi truck in the country has. Oh, wow. Every tire shop will have those tires in stock. They're going to have those Al Alcoa rims in stock. So for anywhere, so it's yeah. an awesome thing. I mean, that opens up doors of every exit ramp in the country to yeah. be serviced. So. <laughs> Love it. That's great. <laughs> uh, big outdoor storage too. I think there's open. Open there. two double batteries here. That's yeah. going to be easy propane fill too, guys. Um, it's going to hook right up there. Don't have to worry about taking the whole tank out. Pull up alongside a propane fill, and they can hook everything right up there. So. Okay. Great. Are you, assuming the storage then is back here. Here uh, and here, maybe. Yeah, let's just see here. Good amount of storage there, too. Storage here, About the yep. same size compartment back there. Yeah, there you go. Good amount. Yeah. I'm excited to get inside and see it. I know I have before, but it's just <laughs> these things are nice. They are super nice. 110 outlet, too, if you want to plug in anything on the outside of the coach. Yeah. So All right. we'll head on inside. Go take a look. We got a big giveaway coming up. They want me to remind you of that, so that's coming up very soon. But, okay. But awesome. uh, this is, yeah, this is, this is just sweet. <laughs> Love it. Cockpit again, guys. Um, super nice and cozy. Where don't feel like you're driving a big truck, just like what we talked about. Mm -hmm. That big giant touchscreen there is going to be have the Apple CarPlay. It's going to have Android CarPlay. And then that's also going to be where the backup camera shows. Yeah. And then your guys' side view cameras, too, yeah. when you're, like, merging or anything like that. Right. Um, another big thing, you guys do have the whole bunk system up here. They do that bunk that folds up over there so you guys can kind of reach in, grab stuff. That way you're not, you know, scrambling above trying to get a hold of something. You guys' TV will be over there, too, yeah. for your guys' bunk passengers. So you can so. spin that around here so you can watch out here or leave it in there and watch while you're in bed. Exactly. That will completely swing out and move it however which way you want to. So Great. Big thing there. Um, soft, toucher, uh, soft touch driver and passenger seats. Yeah. So mm -hmm. very nice and comfy there. Um, going to have a couch. That's going to fold out there. That's going to pull right out to a bed. Okay. It's going to fold completely in a jackknife, fold flat. You guys can sleep people there because it sleeps about six to seven. I would say you got there, you got here, there. there's a breakdown. Yeah, about two people up here, depending uh -huh. on the size, and, and then two people there in the bedroom if you guys yeah. really want to. So, wow. Um, one thing Nexus does not shy away from is their, their cabinetry is I mean, superb. Solid wood, very nice closures. That way nothing pops up uh -huh. while you guys are traveling, and a, and a bunch of it, too. So, yeah, it's nice. Um, kitchen here, guys. Look at that counter space with that cover down. And solid Pure surface, grief. too. Huge thing. Yeah. So um, I'd like the sink cover. That way it adds more to the sink. That way you guys have even more cabinet space. Stainless steel, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Huge ordeal. Um, that's going to be like a little, little charging station here. 110 plug, two USB plugs, too. Like the access, or the accent lighting underneath here. Mm -hmm. Looks great. And a bunch of storage, too. I mean, storage yeah. everywhere. They do not shy away from the storage here, guys. Three burner cooktop. And then one huge thing, too, is going to be your guys' residential size microwave. Normally on a decent coach or a travel trailer, I mean, you're used to barely being able to put a dinner plate in there. Okay. I mean, that's residential. That's, that's giant. So, And that's also going to be convection. 
Okay. So that will act like an oven. Yeah. Convection microwaves are amazing. They are. What they do. They yeah. are. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, what else we got here? The bathroom here? Yeah. There's a the bathroom. That's good size. Very good size. Um, let's get in here. I mean, you got the, the curved good size. Uh, top of the shower. Yeah, I'm only 5'8", and I'm not even, not even close to the roof. Yeah. Plus, you guys have the uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> you guys have the skylight. I mean, that's three to four inches right there, too, uh -huh. for the tall guys. So tons of storage in the bathroom, too, complete with underneath the vanity storage here and your guys' medicine cabinet. Above the toilet, even. And along with two big wood ribs over there. Yeah. So. Got your TV back here in the bedroom. Yeah, TV will be back there in the bedroom too. That will come standard. And then a, a cool little thing about what Nexus does, you guys have automatic lighting when you guys open and close the doors for your wardrobe. Great. So that's cool. His and her side. So they will both be matching. Tons, of, I mean, storage everywhere. Lots of storage. I mean, you can. <laughs> up here, down here. Yep. Next Let's to the bed. Here. Probably bed underneath. Maybe. That does not lift okay. up. Okay. That does not lift up. Okay. So, great. Two nightstands that open up too. So, huge. Plenty of room to store stuff. Giant refrigerator. Yeah. All right. So, uh, this one, you, you're not having to buy a, a tow vehicle, mm -hmm. but you got one attached to it. So, yeah. the price can be a little higher. What are you talking about on this one? About 157000 Okay. Is what it's coming in. Uh, payment wise, uh, you're talking about a thousand five bucks okay you put that in perspective of buying a vehicle nowadays just because you can stretch an rv loan out more uh -huh. sixty thousand dollar vehicle is a thousand bucks right, and you're right. getting you know hundred plus thousand dollar coach for a thousand bucks a month so yeah huge it it's really nice is. and it feels it just feels you feel quality in here you do yeah. um nexus again all steel construction i mean oh. it, nothing molds rots anything so okay. they are built very very well so right Perfect. All right. Well, thank you, sir. I'm yeah. going to go talk with some folks about uh, trade-in or buying used or all that kind of stuff. So okay. uh, let's go find out. Let's, let's awesome. go learn a little bit. And then I'm going to give something away, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Big, big giveaway. So I'm getting a lot of questions, uh, people asking, like, should we trade in or sell? Uh, and I will tell you this, that first of all, if you know the, the trade-in value of your RV, great. If you don't, you can go to NADA, N-A-D-A dot com and get the, like, the blue book value of it there. But um, yeah, you could bring it in and trade it in, but I'll tell you what, and even the guys here, they, they mention this, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Listen, if you sell it yourself, you're probably going to make a lot more money, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, let's say your let's say your RV is ten thousand dollars worth ten thousand dollars. If you bring it into a dealership, they're gonna offer you eight because they want to make some money on it. So I, I, I'm just throwing numbers out there. These aren't exact numbers, but um, if you can sell it on your own, you're gonna keep that money that the dealer would have made. And right now, it's so easy to sell this stuff. From what I'm hearing, uh, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, <clears throat> RVDealer.com. You can go to all these places and put your RV on and make money. People are looking for RVs right now, so you probably wouldn't have a tough time selling your own RV. And then you take that money and you bring it to the dealer and you buy the RV or you put it in a bank and then uh, get an RV for yourself, a brand new RV. And there's a good chance, I've heard stories, like people are, people are selling their used RVs for just as much as they're getting new RVs for. So it's kind of a weird time right now with the supply and demand, uh, but it's definitely the best time to sell on your own if you can do that. You just make that happen. Um, and then how to list. How do you list? You, you go to, uh, that's a good question, Tim. Face, yeah, I mentioned that. Tim, you, were, you were probably writing the note as I mentioned that. So Tim wanted me to tell you, this is live television, folks. Tim wanted me to tell you how to list. So I'm going to tell you again, since some, some of you probably weren't even paying attention, much like Tim. Facebook Marketplace, RVDealer.com, uh, RVTrader.com. Maybe that's why you want to, <laughs> how to how to list correctly this time, David. Uh, RVTrader.com. So, uh, and then, of course, eBay. You just put a sign out front in your house, uh, of your house, and, and sell the RV there. So... All right, let's give something away. I'm giving away this. What is this? This is a voucher. This one has been printed upside down. We'll get a new one printed for you. Uh, if I can read it upside, you know what? I'll just turn it over. This is a $500 gift voucher. 
uh, for use towards the delivery fee of any ordered RV or may be applied to reduce the purchase price of any ordered RV. So you can save yourself $500 right now. We're going to do a call in for this bad boy at 937 649 5970. Caller number two. So, unless it's, yeah, unless it's my mom calling in again. If my mom calls in again, she gets to keep this. Uh, we're waiting for the phone to ring up. We're on a bit of delay here, waiting for the phone. Everybody's like, I'm not going to call first. I'm going to let somebody else call. Right now, there's nobody on the phone. <laughs> Nobody's calling yet. There, oh, we got our first person. Now, that person may hang up because they know I just said our person. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna answer the first one and say, sorry, you're caller number one. Hello, I'm sorry, you're caller number one. We're looking for caller number two. Hung up on me. Okay, and then, hello? Hey, who's this? This is Mike. Mike, guess what? You just won $500 off a delivery yeah. or an RV. Yeah. How sweet is that? Yeah. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, caller number two, you nailed it. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, well, oh, congratulations. Thanks. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Florida. Oh, nice. I mean, it's hot up here. What's the temperature down in Florida right now? I'm looking. I'm looking. It is 96 degrees outside 96. right now. 96. You got us by, I think, maybe five yep. degrees. What part of Florida? Well, it's 96 because the storm's rolling through. Earlier, about an hour ago, it was 114. So. Good night. That's awful. Yeah. What yeah, part of Florida? Well, that's uh, North Florida, Jacksonville area. Okay, very cool. I've been to Jacksonville. Jacksonville, I came in uh, one point at one point. I can't remember the time of year, but it was nice. It was it's pretty nice. And he told me like your winter is like a week long, where it gets down to like yeah, we, forty. Yeah we, yeah, we, yeah, we get like three or four days of winter, and then we're good. <laughs> oh, that sounds that just sounds <laughs> awful, Mike. <laughs> well, see, like you were talking about, or like there's some. Um, you know, get get have an RBW dealership down here. Come that, on. I know. <laughs> I would it. love to. I would love to get down there. I want to. We still haven't been out like physically to the one in Texas yet. But we. Got, I want to oh, put well, one yeah, in yeah. Vegas. I want to put one in Nashville. That's just. So, these are go. my dreams. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's <laughs> your dreams. Yeah, dream big. All right. Well, Mike, congratulations. I'm going to hand you off to Tim. He'll get your information from you. Uh, again, congratulations. Use this $500 and save yourself some money. I shall. Thank All right, you. man. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Uh huh. All right. Bye bye. All right. Congratulations, Mike. For more than 70 years, the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch has made towing a trailer safer and put the fun back into towing. Four things make the Equalizer Hitch better than any other Sway Control Hitch on the market. First, a four-point integrated Sway Control system that keeps you and your family safer in hazardous towing conditions, like poor weather, winding roads, and passing semi-trucks. Second, an excellent weight distribution system, which provides better steering and braking control while reducing wear on your tow vehicle. Third, the equalizer hitch is easy to adjust and to use. Hitching and unhitching take seconds and can be done from any angle, eliminating the stress and frustration associated with other hitch systems. Four, Quality construction, made in the USA from the best American steel, with a lifetime warranty. The Equalizer Hitch's integrated four-point sway control combines these things to create the best performing sway control hitch on the road. Its performance and safety are so good that it has been voted the number one sway control hitch in America, year after year, by thousands of trailer owners all over the country. Visit EqualizerHitch.com to find a dealer near you and ask for the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch to get the best protection for your journey. All right, let me tell... <laughs> Sometimes I work so hard and I'm underappreciated and I, you can... You can tell, like, when I stumble on my words, that's what it is. I'm just working so hard. 
I don't know if anybody's around here to hear me whining right now. Anyways, uh, let's talk about PDIs and what that means exactly. It's a pre-delivery inspection. So in other words, before you get your RV, the folks at the RV dealer are going to walk through the RV, make sure everything works okay. Again, it's something that makes total sense. Like um, if, if you buy an RV, they're going to bring it from the manufacturer to the dealer. There's a chance that something's come loose or maybe, maybe just something they missed at the manufacturer. You know, human error. Uh, they're going to check that. They're going to check that for you, make sure it's in top quality condition before you get it. Here at RVW, it's a 180 checkpoint uh, PDI. They're going to check 180 different things before they give you your RV. That's before you even do your walkthrough. Uh, again, they just want to make sure you're getting a quality, a quality RV. Uh, there are some places that will charge you for that. Again, these that falls under like the hidden fees. You pay, you think you're paying twenty thousand dollars for the RV, and then you find out later that they've added a bunch of stuff. Twelve hundred dollars for a PDI. You should not get charged for a PDI. Number one, because that's you just shouldn't. Number two, because the manufacturer is paying the dealers to walk through and do like their last like quality inspection. They get a little money for that. If they're getting money for that, plus they're asking you for money, that's a little sleazy. I'm going to be honest with you. That is a little sleazy. You should not have to pay for that. Uh, I, I get that the manufacturer is paying the, the dealer to do that for them. That's, that's cool. That's cool to the manufacturers. Good. You shouldn't have to pay for that. You should be getting a quality product. You shouldn't have to buy something and, th and then say, hey, can you check it to make sure what I'm buying from you is in good condition? Don't do that. Don't pay for that. Again, if you sign on the dotted dot line for... X amount of dollars, make sure they put in writing, the dealer puts in writing, that that's what you're paying for. That's, the, that's not a penny more, not a penny more outside, out the door. Uh, they, they're not going to add stuff, PDI fees or walkthrough fees or tire fees. You don't want that. But uh, the PDI, it's a good thing. It happens. It should happen at every place. You shouldn't have to pay for it. Hey, you want to hear something super cool? Mike, that just won the $500 off, will be using that as $500 off his delivery because that's the Mike that ordered earlier uh, from uh, Eric. Yeah, uh, I can remember who I was talking to. So he just ordered today a, G, a, a Rockwood. I know it was a Rockwood, and he's going to get $500 off. I think that's cool. Mike, thank you for your service in the Navy. Here with Micah, we're going to walk through the uh, Winnebago Mica Mini. <laughs> you hear that? I, again, it's hot out here and the jokes aren't going to be great because I'm not, I'm not feeling well. Let's talk about it. You want to? Yeah, so All we right. got a Winnebago Micro Mini, uh, 2306 BHS, a um, little over 25 feet long, 4,500 pounds. Um, so definitely half ton towable. A lot of SUVs can tow this thing. Okay. Um, and it sleeps a good amount of people. I love these big old tires. Oh, yeah, the off road tires yeah. here. Yeah. A little bit of a lift on it. It gives you a little bit more ground clearance. Right. Um, yeah. It's great. Uh, anything else out here besides obviously the awning and the lights and the speakers that feel like are on every of them? Yeah. Every of them? <laughs> I'm telling you, we just need air conditioning in this big room. Yeah. Uh, so, I know it's on in there. I yeah. can feel it when I walk past yeah. the door. So this one has the Comfort Tech package and the Explore package. So that's going to give you a little bit higher quality insulation. Uh, gives you a little bit more lift. So if you're traveling off-road, doing some cold weather camping, um, you're gonna be gonna be protected. Um, gonna be a little more insulated a little bit. Cool, awesome. Say we uh, get inside with the air conditioners. Yeah, we'll like point as we go inside. Look, there's storage up there. <clears throat> All right, oh yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> Way better in here. Yeah. So yeah, this is the interior of the 2306. Um, you got the Murphy bed, the front Murphy bed here mm -hmm. um, with the jackknife sofa. Um, so this guy, it just, it just folds down real easy, one arm, yeah. don't take a whole lot, and the bed folds down on top of that. I like that it's like you don't have latches up here because right. of the shock system. Yep, yep, it's got so the it struts there. There you go. And there you go, bed's made. <laughs> Fantastic. And then to uh, go from bedroom to living room, you push yep. that up. Yep, bedroom to living room like that. Give this a little, little bit of a pull here. Nice. Now it's up. You got all sorts of storage on the side. Uh -huh. Like even the storage, like the storage underneath there is great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, got the little countertop extension. Yep. On the kitchen. Perfect. A more prep. Let's see if I can 
Daggone it, I do this all the time. Oh, you just gotta push up on it. <laughs> and I like the shelf behind the behind the uh, couch. Yes. It's just a spot for decorations. Or decorations. You can store stuff back there. Yeah. Succulents, those are big right now. Yeah, yep. Succulents are real big, so, you know, got a little spot for storage, plants, whatever you want. Yeah. Um, and then your your spot to slide your table in here. Yep, yeah. yep. You got your table there. That way you have a little dining dining area. Um, you know, couples camp camper. Mm -hmm. um, with kids. A couples with, camper with, with kids because with, of the bunkhouse in the back. We're, yeah. we're storage, you know. Right. right. Um, so, yeah, you got, the, uh, you got the two bunks back here. Um, a lot of people use that for storage, even as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, then you got your TV, your entertainment center, I guess you would call it here. DVDs, yep. things like that. Um, I like the, I like the, uh, the way the cabinets look. Yeah, this is very cool, very hip. Yeah, nice. you got the the larger 12 volt fridge in this guy. Um, so it's gonna run right off your seven pin, okay. and uh, off the solar panel up top here. Um. I know that probably sounds terrible on the bike, but I don't care. It's blowing hard enough that it's making it hard to breathe. It feels so good. So, yeah, we got, obviously the AC's on it works, it cools, it's hot out here today, but it still feels really good in here. Have we mentioned that the microwave is a convection oven? The microwave is convection because there is no oven in this guy. Um, so that's going to help, you know, if you want to bake three something, burner. you can do it in here. Um, three burner, uh, gas range top with the, the uh, cover on the back here. That way it acts as almost a backsplash. Yep. Um, so you got that there. Um, like I said, your bunks, little cargo netting here for under storage. Um, you do have a door back there. So if you wanted to put in some larger items, you actually have a utility door on the back side. Yep, great. And then I know this is your favorite. There it is. The shower. Ba uh, corner bathroom, or corner shower, <laughs> I mean. Clear. You don't see the clear like this very often. It's almost like a pod. I can't open it. There we go. I'll get inside again to show you. I haven't mentioned for a while how tall I am. I am six foot tall. So if you're taller than me, right now I'm into the skylight, I feel like. But uh, again, lots of room in here, plenty of room. Soundproof. Uh, it is a soundproof shower, so you can't hear me if I if I shut the We'll just leave it open because I may have just broken it. <laughs> but you know what? The PDI, they'll fix that before uh, you get it. <laughs> I probably didn't break it. I'm probably just not smart enough to shut it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it's got awkward in here. Uh, what else we got? Anything uh, else we need to talk about? I think that's pretty much it. It's a smaller unit. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, SUV yeah. can pull this thing. Small, you know, Honda right. uh, truck or, you know, Toyota. I just noticed we've got a little bit of privacy with the curtain here. A little bit of privacy, privacy. here. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, great, it's great small unit, lightweight and what's, affordable. What's what is the price on this? So the price on this guy twenty eight thousand six oh eight. So okay. if you have a thirty thirty thousand dollar budget, you're well within that. Nice. And I feel like with thirty thousand dollars, you're getting plenty of RV. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. I dig this a lot. Yeah, yeah. Real awesome. nice quality unit. All right. Well, thank you for walking us through. Yeah. We are going to talk about. Uh, uh, schedule. So here's the deal. Right now, I think we're like 25 minutes ahead of schedule. So if you go to virtualrvshow.com, we just walked through the Winnebago Micro Mini. You find out where we are there and then see what's coming up over the next couple hours. Uh, and then uh, we're going to walk through. We're going to walk through. Are you walking through something else with me I'm later? Not. No. I don't know. Somebody is. Somebody's definitely walking <laughs> through something with me later. But we're going to talk about insurance now. We got a video for that, Tim? Oh, okay. Let's talk about it. Do you know about the insurance? I do. All right. You want to help me talk about it? Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is it. Yeah. There you go. You just read it and f fill in your own questions <laughs> or answer your own questions. <laughs> the RV Insurance Group. It's something fairly new. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay. So tell me a little bit about it. Yeah. So they use, it's a, a group that we use here. Um, they've used 200 different providers. So you kind of see a few down here that we, uh -huh. that they go through. Um, basically what you do is you give this number a call. If you need RV insurance, they can bundle you in a bunch of different, you know, house, car, everything. Right. Um, kind of bundle that in, save you a lot of money. Um, I think Eric, uh, you've seen him a few mm -hmm. times on Can here. Um, he actually went through RV group insurance, um, okay. saved him a bunch of money. 
So if you know you're not sure if your insurance group can do it, right? And and insure your RV, then they will. So let me ask you: if somebody doesn't have their RV yet, yep, would you still could you still call this number and see like what kind of maybe they could save you on everything that you do have insured? Yeah. Or do you have to have the yeah. RV to? Yeah. So you can you can give them a call. Um, they can give you quotes for for what you currently have. Okay. And then even if you said, hey, what about a 2022-2306 BHS, Winnebago Micro Mini? Um, they can give you a quote on that, and uh, it wouldn't be exact, but it would give you a, a close, a rough idea, idea of what okay. it would be. Awesome. So yeah, it's just saving you time, saving you money, uh, saving you a lot of pain of going through the process of getting insurance, and paying this insurance, paying this insurance, you bundle it together. How great is that? Again, RVW, just thinking about their family, and that's you if you're buying from RVW. Thank you, Micah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, I'm going to throw it to Trailer Swift again because they are awesome, and you know it. Oh, hey, guys. Excuse me just a second. I need to grab this. <sighs> Tune in my air guitar because we're getting ready for some music. Get your air guitar. Put it on. Mine sounds good. Man, look, look how cool I look. I know what I'm doing as far as, like, air guitar, like, I can't play guitar, but if I could, I'd be awesome. I'd be super cool at it. Not quite as cool as the guys in Trailer Swift, but I would be pretty cool. Let's check in with them right now. Nothing left to do but fall in each other's arms. I could have said I love you, could have wrote you a line or two. Baby, all I know to do is speak right from the heart. If you'll be my soft and sweet, happy and strong and steady. You'll be my glass of wine, happy and shot of whiskey. You'll be my sunny day, happy and shady tree. You'll be my honeysuckle. 
guys. Tim Richardson hanging out with David McCreary in Elkhart, the capital of RV world. Yeah. This has been kind of fun. It has. I brought him along because he has to do the dirty work. Like, he's the guy that sneaks in. Uh, and gets, <laughs> gets shots of the 2022 <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Because I don't care. You can yell at so, me all you want. We I wanted to bring funny. you this 2022 footage so that we can uh, give you a little sneak peek. So yeah. Go One thing they're adding is yeah. the sound of crickets. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but I'm going to find me a cricket and I'm going to kill it. <laughs> And then eat it. That's how mad I am about that. Cr- I'll go find the cricket and then I'll go look at the 2022. All right, let's go, guys. Hey, guys, if you're watching us on Facebook right now, first of all, thank you. We really appreciate it. Seriously, I, David McCreary, just a guy that is helping around here at the Virtual RV Show, appreciate you watching, taking time to watch today. Uh, but if you could do me a favor, I know it's you're already watching for me, which I love, but if you can do me a super simple favor, just hit that like button right down there. I'm not even sure where it is. I change it up all the time, I think. Hit that like button. Uh, it just it gives us numbers. It makes us uh, know that people are watching, but it also will uh, keep you updated on what's going on with Facebook and the RV wholesalers and the virtual RV show. Standing outside, probably my favorite RV that we've ever walked through. Mm. This thing is a beast. It's awesome. It's original. It's got all kinds of storage. It's got all kinds of stuff we'll talk about in a minute, but it's the Columbus River Ranch. It's sweet. It's amazing. Yeah, this floor plan is a 390 RL. Uh, I don't think there's anything like this on the market whatsoever. You know what? Real fast, I forgot I was supposed to talk about the other two that we're going to do this hour. We've got a Rockwood Ultralight and a Catalina Summit 7 Series coming up after this one. So, there you go. Sorry. Totally cut you off. You're good. Go That's ahead. That's all right. But what I was saying is there's nothing else like this. They consider this having a basement almost because yeah. if you really, we're going to take a look from front to, to back, there is like a full-size basement store. I don't know what you, you'd call it a, I don't know, below a basement attic. Works. It's a basement. It's, yeah, yeah, basement works. But it's crazy. that's kind of where I want to start is okay. up here by the storage areas on this. All right. Uh, I mean, it starts from here and you got all this front storage passed through all the way through. Uh, you can get in and out of here really easy. It's got the composite floors, so it's not going to rot out. That's also on the side walls built in as well. So you can keep things down here year round, you know, yeah. winter clothes. You can live in this thing all year round, and travel any any climates you want. It goes back in here in. quite a bit, back yeah. this way even. So this, yeah. is the, this is the front of it. There's a little divider in the middle, not much, but I'll show you here in a second. But that's hiding the uh, air conditioner. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So this does come with generator prep and generator on board if you if you choose to, uh, with a nice docking station for you with the solar power outside as well to add on to if you ever wanted to add like the outside panel mm -hmm. solar pa power, uh, you're able to do that on this one. I love their awnings. The awning, as you can see, covers the whole coach, yeah. even over the slides. I'm talking from the front to the rear, so you're not even though you have a slide out on the front, you're not losing any awning because it's coming out back over there yeah uh, but as you can see coming up through here here's when i say downsized basement area if you come back here and just take a look i mean you can t definitely see all the way throughout the back of the coach i mean it's crazy it's maximized storage i've never seen anything like it there's a lot of space in here oh also man that go it would make a nice man cave if you ever got in trouble yeah yeah, yeah we I'm would be you. cool we would yeah. at least have somewhere to stay out of the element right <laughs> So that's kind of why this is my favorite, because uh -huh. so I cause know you're myself. always in trouble. I'm getting in trouble, <laughs> so at least I got a plan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, back here is really nice. I like that you have a rear entrance as well. Sometimes you need to get back there to get things out yeah. or whatever. Not to uh, climb over stuff, or pull stuff out. The seamless windows are a nice touch on these. You don't have the stains coming down from some of the rubber seals, which makes it nice. When you have a nice camper like this on a fifth wheel model of this type of luxury. Uh, they go above and beyond to put yeah. some of the nicer features on there, like the seamless windows. You know what? I'm well. going to climb up here and sure. show why this vehicle is uh, original. Yeah. So the thing, I mentioned the air conditioner down below. Normally, you would have to cut this thing off about here, right? Correct. Because on top of it is where you put your air conditioning unit. So you'd, you'd cut all this off and you'd lose all that space just because you have an air conditioner up there. Uh, now they've taken the air conditioner off the top so they could raise this to the height of what the air conditioner would be, move the air conditioner underneath, and now you have all this space above you for living space and headroom. It's, it's just a brilliant, brilliant idea. 
Yeah, I love it. I love this thing. We're not even inside it yet. Yep, you do have your receiver in the back, so if you needed to utilize that, they do make sure that you're capable to do that as well. Outside the entertainment speakers on both ends and in the middle, so you got surround sound type yep. sound. Did you see there's uh, a speaker down here too? I believe so, yeah. In the front, behind here, hiding. Uh, no. Nope. No. Okay, yep. they didn't put one up here. All right. Ton so of plenty, space on here. Space. Uh, some important factors that I would like to say. Uh, heated utility convenience center, which you can control everything in one area. You're talking about the air conditioner. That's why I wanted to talk about that. They have a nice heating system that you control manually, really easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not having to worry about that as well. Uh, they also have the six-point hydraulic leveling system on here. They have the more ride suspension, 4,000 pounds. The TST tire monitoring system. Vacuum bonded walls with the Asdell backing, which is a big hit nowadays as well. Gives you long, uh, dur durable outside finish. Helps with the oxidizing and, and a lot of key features that people are always concerned about with the elements over time. Yeah. So that's something that people are looking for nowadays as well. Three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood on the floors as well. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and come up in here because it's got the coolest interest. Me and you was talking about yeah. that. What was you saying? I said seven steps. It's actually eight. Look, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight steps to get up into this. Yeah, it's cool. Normally with a, a fifth wheel, it's two levels. Yeah. This isn't, this is just one very, very long RV. It is, it's cool, but it sits up a little bit. So you're up off the ground, I like yeah. that. You can actually get a nice view. So if you got places that have these really outstanding views like some people are liking, you got the up side of it where you're not going to be able to not get in somewhere right. you got a clearance that it's not going to be a problem i love this too like the windows here like right. imagine being in here and just looking i mean being this high and looking out as opposed to you know down another four or five feet well that's what i like about it's this cool. is look at all the natural lighting in here that they utilize i mean we had all the shades down but just look and I like that they're tinted so you're not going to get baked out. Right. There's a ton of natural lighting in here. People really look for that on some of these because if you're spending a lot of time in these, which most people are on some type of coach like this, mm -hmm. you want to see natural lighting just like your house because that's about what you're getting out of this yeah. for some people. No, they go above and beyond the JBL system like with the nice little subwoofer action. Nice. Nice, nice like middle piece there. You don't see that anywhere right. else. That's cool. I get a cool look at that. That's one of my favorite setups that they have in these new fifth wheels here with the River Ranch. Have we ever turned on? I don't know. No, uh, <laughs> go ahead. I know you love music. Yeah, let me You're see. You're gonna love this thing. If, if you wanna. It jams, dude. I don't wanna <laughs> take too much time. Let me see if I can hook up to this. Yeah. All uh, right, we haven't tried it yet, so it may take a second. So it's sweet. If we should. Uh, nice space in here, though, for entertainment storage for whatever things that you need that you bring. And their fireplace is made by Furion. It's the best on the market. I love it. Got the different colors you can change on there, so that's pretty cool as well. I don't know which one I'm, I'm connected to. Oh, I'm still on radio. I'll yeah. let you figure that out. All right, you're going to show them around. The, I'll yep, see if the I Allure can furniture. Going. This one has this? the electric seats and everything. So you just push the button, and it comes out. Nice neon lighting so you can see at night. Very comfortable and very durable. It's not like a sticky type feel, but it... It's durable to be able to wipe off with a wet wipe or rags so that you're not always having to steam clean it or whatever it is that you have. Be good for pets if you had them. It ain't going to be easy to wipe the hair off and stuff. Um, I really like the type of furniture they put in here. It's, it's an upgraded furniture. They go and get some of the nicer features. Like if you look at this, it's got the nice architectural wood design. They take time to, to kind of put character into some of their different features that they offer. If you're going to go big you might as well go big and that's what columbus river ranch has done i like that they have the outed outlets here for your crock pots or whatever it is that you need to utilize they have it in both corners so you have plenty of outlets to use um, ton of storage space slam you can slam these and it's got the resistant slam huge huge oven with the full four top gas burner Plenty of space in the cupboards up here as well. And the nice fit and trim finish that that utilizes second to none. Solid surface countertops. I like that they have this 
so that you can use this has been a popular feature on a lot of these different coaches that people like to talk about that's been something that's kind of standard feature in a lot of things nowadays refrigerator oh, they didn't. They didn't music all right how good is this Okay, I'll turn it down. Full size. Trailer Swift would like this. Yeah. They'd be jamming. Full size. <laughs> yes, they would. Yeah, that's You're neat. right. That's nice, right? It's awesome. I know. That sounds good. It sounds just as good outside, too. So, full size refrigerator. So, you're never going to have to go to the grocery store besides maybe one or two times in a month. Hardly. Uh -huh. Just to right. It's plenty and then, of room in there. Oh, yeah. And then your double drawer freezer. So you can actually live in this thing. Full size pantry. If you want to take a look on both sides, they're shelving. One control system right here. Easy access for when you come in if you need to turn on your lights and everything. Uh, this controls all your fans, your max air fans ventilation. So it's all remote control. So you don't have to try to reach up there and get it. Everything's about convenience and when you're looking at the river ranch. That's what is so awesome about it. They go above and beyond about yeah. thinking about things that you might not be thinking about to make your, your time in your camper a little com more comfortable. Right. That's a cool feature. Yeah, you super got important, kids I or, think. or dogs, you can kind of block this off. I know people wonder about that, but that's what I'm saying. They think about things. Yeah. The engineering that they have, very smart to have a railing here. If you're going to have a cool design and something different, right. make it safe. And We're they have. so high up that if you fall, that's going to be a long fall. People are going to have enough time to gather as you're falling <laughs> and watch you fall. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is brilliant. This is pretty cool for a vent uh, window over here. This is nice to get some extra cross wind uh -huh. across right here. here. So that's a nice little feature. Huge natural lighting, like I said, throughout here. You don't see stuff like this in the hallways a lot right. either. I mean, you've been in a lot of these, and this is a big one. So you get a lot of fresh air. Right here, you're not always going to have to run the air conditioners on a big coach like this on a right. nice breezy day. I love that we've got a hallway, like a literal hallway. The bathroom ain't really nice though. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of. I mean, I don't know. Kind of a dive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that. you show the bathroom a little bit. All right, so you got. You've been in a lot of them. Dual, yeah, dual vanity or double vanity. You've got a big old shower, plenty of room in here. If you uh, feel like taking a very long shower. You got time to sit down and rest in here uh, or read a book. The book's probably going to get soggy, but if you want to sit down and read, you can do that in the shower. Uh, but uh, of course, you got your, is that, I don't know if that's porcelain. I believe yep. that might be porcelain, a porcelain toilet, so it's uh, super nice. Lots of storage underneath. You got drawers here. Uh, just, uh, just plenty of I room. I like the, the, the faucet. The faucet is awesome. That's cool. Yeah, so the water can come down from in there. And then you have. Uh, some storage back here and up here, a little counter back here behind the door. We had somebody asking about how long this unit is. Martha is asking. Um, 42 foot. 42 foot. foot. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty much living in the entire 42 feet. Oh, there's space everywhere. Yeah, I this mean, is a lot of... If you're looking for, like, movie. something that has a home feel, mm -hmm. separate rooms right. spread out, you're not on top of each other, this is it. This is absolutely... I mean, you can't ask for anything more yeah. than what's in here. I mean, look at the nice ceiling fan uh -huh. features that they have in here. You got a fireplace in your bedroom. This TV comes up and down, remote control, which Very is nice for in case you don't want to watch that. You got a nice view. You have a window in the morning on both ends. Um, if you don't want to go to the laundry mat, you can do it right Boom. here. Boom. There it is. Boom, pow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but they have a nice closet as well. Uh -huh. And this thing is cool. I don't, is there, where's the light? There it is. The light, if you want to show them in there, and it opens from both ends and in the middle. But they got the nice shoe rack in there if you need that for the ladies. Yeah. They, they send the, like that shoe rack in there. Storage Overhead above. storage compartments, yeah. So there's space up here, ton of storage space up there. It goes way back in there on all of these. So, like I said, they got the nice feature so that it doesn't smash your hands. It's got the slam latch, Great. which is cool. Yeah. Very nice Love design. It. So something like this is going right around $77,000. Okay. Uh, you could probably get a payment right around four ninety eight. So under $500 a month, you could have something a like home. this. I mean, it is a home. Yeah. I would live in this right now. Right. And be happy that yeah. I am. Yep. 
So there's nothing I don't think I don't like about it. This at is all. nice. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. All right. So uh, coming up, we've got some 2022s from Rockwood, sneak peeks, and we're going to walk through a Rockwood 2022. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, so we still got lots of stuff coming up, but uh, thank you for walking us through this. Sure. Appreciate it. Always I'm appreciate you, you having this one me out. Start. Yeah, so. this is great. I'll let you get back to work because I know you're selling RVs. Uh, and uh, we're going to check in with our sponsors. The Virtual RV Show would like to thank our sponsors. Dish Outdoors, TV as flexible as your travel plans. Blue Ox, control trailer sway with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. Equalizer, the best protection for your journey. And RV Wholesalers, your home for the nation's premier RV service. Thank you to all of our sponsors. All right, if you're watching on YouTube right now, uh, I asked earlier if you're watching on Facebook to do me a favor. If you're watching on YouTube, I want you to do me a favor. But this is a favor that like kind of gives back to you, especially if you're looking for RVs. Just subscribe to the RVW YouTube channel. Uh, the reason I want you to do that is because we've got so much more than just the virtual RV show. First of all, if you want to see the virtual RV show later, it'll be on YouTube. You go to it and you watch it. Zip ahead, zip back, whatever you want to do. Find out what you want to see. Uh, but there's so much more going on with RVW's YouTube channel. We've got webinars through the week on usually Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We would do webinars that uh, we will play on YouTube. You can watch them on YouTube. And then we also have like random through the week, we have walkthroughs. Uh, if we get a new RV in, we'll walk through it. I may not be there. It may just be something they get in. You get one of the sales folks walking through there and showing you the new RV. So if you're in the market to buy an RV, this is a perfect way to keep up to date on everything RV. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. All right, that should do it. Big day. Finally got an RV big enough for me and my wife and her shoes and stuff and clothes and our granddaughter. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let's go hook this bad boy up. Probably should have gotten the. Probably should have gotten the equalizer. This is uh. I don't know, I don't know this. Put that on there, maybe. This thing. Uh, I should do it. It's at the uh, road. Wait, the stairs. Yeah. Uh, the Today we're going to find out what's new for 22 in the Flagstaff and Rockwood. Four models actually. And just so you know, I'm literally at the factory in Millersburg, Indiana. Nobody else is doing this right now. First we've got upgraded bedding. We've got a brand new headboard. I love that. And I don't know if they've mentioned this or not or if it's just something they've done. I don't know if I've ever, I don't, this rounded thing right here as I walked in is really cool. Just a little bonus. I, maybe it's in others. I just think that's cool the way that's rounded off there and not square like that. The 12 volt solar ready refrigerator is now standard in all models. Love that. Rockwood is also adding new colors in the cabinetry and the flooring. It's just very cool. And this is not necessarily new, but it's something I always really dig. <laughs> it's just the TV that's hidden and coming up out of the, the uh, counter. How cool is that? Fast forward it so make it won't go this fast. How James Bond is that? Come on now. So there's new graphics on these, and obviously they don't want you to see them yet. They've got them covered up. I wish I could show you. 
unless they forgot to cover it. <laughs> Let's look at this. I really dig this. This little circle thing, I know, it's, you're like, okay, it's just a gra that's that's kind of cool looking. That's kind of sweet, especially after the past year, seeing basically the same kind of designs on a lot of these things. I dig that. Another added feature, heated tanks to extend the seasonal uh, use of these RVs. Again, Rockwood just listening to you, giving you what you want. This has always kind of bothered me, where there's always like a little step up in the slide, and I just assumed it's just something that had to be. Well, the folks at Rockwood uh, and the 2022 fifth wheels have got this figured out. Watch this. This isn't open all the way. When it opens all the way, look what happens. This is huge. Look at that. Completely level now. You don't have a little step up where you're tripping into the couch or into the chair or bumping your head on this up here. You can stand up with me now. Uh, and completely level. Look how good that looks. It looks like an extension now as opposed to like an added room, if that makes any sense. On top of that, on top of the now level floor, literally on top of it, is a new hybrid carpet. Stain resistant, water resistant, pet friendly. Look, you can pet it and he doesn't even care. I think that's what that means. I don't understand that completely. But uh, yeah, so exciting things happening at, happening at Rockwood. This is just absolutely brilliant. The, the level, the carpet that's gonna last forever. Ooh, Rockwood doing it upright. You know what's crazy that even in the midst of this high demand that RV manufacturers are going through right now, they're still able to make these changes, these changes that you've asked for. That says a lot about Rockwood and their commitment to making you happy and keeping you in their RVs. Rockwood is doing amazing things, amazing upgrades and changes all for you, but now I'm off to talk to some of the bigwigs and ask them some of the tough questions. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm standing outside the Rockwood Ultralight. This is the 2720 IK. IK stands for Island Kitchen. Spoiler alert, there's an Island Kitchen inside. They ruin it for you before you even get inside. Not ruin it, but they ruin the, the surprise of, oh, hey, there's an Island Kitchen in here. I uh, got a couple slide outs in this thing. One, two for sure, maybe one up front. I think maybe just two. Uh, but you got the two awnings. Nice that you got an awning here to come out, and then they've got the awning on the slide out so you're not losing any space underneath the, uh, the thing. And I just found out mentally, not from Tim showing me, that there are three slide outs on this bad boy. Uh, you got the nice steps. Uh, I think, I believe there are some new water ports on these things on the outside, which is great. Uh, we can find out more information, or you get more information when you talk to the uh, salesman that you talk to, or sales lady that you talk to. And I totally forgot to mention, this is the 2022 model. <laughs> you don't have this yet, but you could. Uh, also, look at these, uh, the tires. I, I don't know, the, the wheels look different to me, but this has got the uh, automatic tire pressure gauge system alert thing. There's a technical word for it, technical name, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go inside and take a look what's going on in here. Very, very roomy in here. I know that some of these will have new uh, colors, new cabinetry. You get your 12-volt refrigerator, standard now. Uh, plenty of room right here. I don't know if how many of you, like, if you, if you ever get involved, like, in breakdance fights. Plenty of room for a breakdance fight right here. Love that. This, obviously, the, the table is already down to make the bed, which looks like this these off of here you make yourself a little bed there you go somebody can sleep there or eat there if you take the table and lift it up or you can eat in bed people do that i do that uh very roomy of course the island kitchen kind of gave that away earlier lots of counter space here you got counter space here if you need more counter space and you're not watching tv at the time you put the tv down and you get your counter space very cool but the tv of course right across from the little uh, seating area here. I'm sure this, I shouldn't say I'm sure, this probably breaks down into something. Who needs it to break down? You can sleep right there on the couch just like that. Uh, lots of space for storage. You have storage here, storage above there, plenty of storage. I don't know if we can show this back here. This you can keep, uh, oh look, bonus. That's where you keep your hot dogs or silverware. Totally up to you. Uh, let's see what's going on back here. Yeah, of course, you got storage underneath the sink. Lots of storage under there. Very nice. Let's take a look at the bathroom, see what's going on back here. So the bathroom, you got a corner shower with the shower miser on it. That way you're not wasting water. Water before you get in here is just being uh, recycled. 
that's a smart thing. This is a very nice big cabinet. Yeah, so you're back there. You can just trust me. That's a big cabinet. There's lots of room for lots of towels in there. Might be bigger than the one in one in like our main bathroom at the house. That's that's very nice. A sink. It looks like a kind of a deep counter, which is always kind of nice. You've always got plenty of stuff to put back here. Place for that. Uh, you got your toilet, of course. You need that in the bathroom. Always uh, come standard now. Toilet in the bathroom. Standard in all models. I think it's been that way forever. And then a separate door to get into the bedroom. We'll go in there. Again, new for 2022. You've got upgraded bedding, a new headboard back here. Uh, that's new. You've seen them before, though. The lights, the reading lights above there. You've got the windows for a cross breeze. I love that I'm at the very front, and I'm still standing completely. It's plenty of room up here. Nice uh, space here. Nice big... Big uh, cabinets for more storage, more, uh, you, get, you hang your clothes up there. Gotta love that. And then, of course, the bed is on a slide out. You got your TV backer. You need a TV in the bedroom, at least I do. So, uh, again, Rockwood is doing amazing things in 2022, but they're also keeping a lot of the stuff that's been amazing forever from Rockwood. Get yourself in one of these. Call us right now. <laughs> It's time for another giveaway. Like it said right there across the thing, we're gonna give away another one of these park passes from uh, the America, Passport America. Man, I gotta learn this stuff a little better. Uh, so it will be our first caller. Our first caller will win this Passport America. It's a pass that gets you 50% off, like 1,400 campgrounds across the country. The first person to call, waiting for the delay, the first person to call, oh, I should probably tell you the number, 937-649-5970. You guys are screaming at your TV or your monitor. Show us the number. There it is, 937-649-5970. I've got the caller. Let's find out who it is. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? This is Sherry. Sherry, you just won the Passport America. Awesome. Congratulations. So you get to get into like 1,400 campgrounds at 50% uh, off. Do you think you can do all 1,400 this year? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be tough. No. It's, that's, uh, that yeah, would be, it'll be tough. quite a few. All right. Well, you get to do as many as you want in that 1,400. And like I said, 50% off. Where, where are you calling from, Sherry? Oh. Um, calling from Florida. Florida. We had somebody calling from Florida earlier. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. I'm going to hand the phone to Tim, and uh, I'm going to show a video of what it was that you won. So congratulations. Thanks okay, for watching. Thank Enjoy that pass. All righty. Bye-bye. So check it out. Here's what Sherry just won. So what a great gift is that? That's fantastic. If you're an RVer, that is the perfect gift. 50% off? That's amazing. Let's do it again. First caller. I'm doing it again right now. Tim's saying no, no, no. I don't even care what Tim says. We're doing it again. First caller at the number on your screen right now. Oh, that would have been awesome. Sit 937-649-5970. Uh, thanks again to the folks at Passport America, 937-649-5970. If you were just yelling at me, saying, I never win anything, you got another chance right now. Another caller will win the Passport America, and they're on the phone right now. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? This is Marion Silva. Marion, is that right? Yes. Marion, you just won the Passport America. Oh. Wonderful. How awesome is that? Where are you calling from? I'm great. I'm calling from California. California, clear across the country. What day is it yes. there? You guys are in a different time zone. It's the same day, though, right? It's 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 2 p.m. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, congratulations. Do you know what the Passport America is? Did you see what it is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's 
it's a great it's a great deal. Fifty percent off fourteen hundred RV parks. So uh, congratulations! I'm going to hand the phone off to Tim. He's going to get your information from you and uh, enjoy that pass. Thank you so much. Uh, Look forward to waiting for our camper. It's still being built. So really? We're for it. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, what what kind we're did you get? We're driving from California to Ohio to go get it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, hopefully I'm around when you get by. I'd love to meet you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. All right. I'm going to hand you off to Tim. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Cool thing is she's waiting for her RV to be built. Uh, whatever She's buying it from us. So whatever the price was when she bought it, is the price she's gonna pay when she gets it. There won't be that price increase that a lot of a lot of dealerships are adding like a price bump because prices of the RVs are going up. So in other words, if you buy an RV uh, one month and the price is $15,000 and three months later when they actually deliver the RV that you asked for is $3,000 more, you're paying that extra $3,000, not at RVW. So, uh, congratulations, Miriam, on number one, your park pass that you just won. And number two, congratulations on getting a new RV that will be done as soon as possible. We want to get that to you. Uh, we've got other stuff coming up. I'm not sure what it is because Tim's taking information. We're just going to get to it right now, and uh, we'll find out together. <laughs> All right, here's a pretty cool thing. When you buy an RV from RV wholesalers, they give you like a starter kit. So uh, let's take a look to see what's inside. Some toilet paper, a couple starter rolls. And they give you these wheel chocks. They come in here so that your trailer doesn't roll away. They give you a hose. I've talked about this in one of the videos and why it's important to get a hose like this and not just a garden hose. They give you a bio pouch. No idea what that is. And a sewer hose. Luke. Luke. Listen to this. Luke, I am your father. Hope this one wasn't used. Oh, but here's the cool thing. All right. So you guys know me. I'm your friend. I'm David. I'm your friend. Uh, so let's get very real for a second. Sometimes in a trailer, there's times when you have to use the restroom and you need a little privacy. And by privacy, you can, you can hear things throughout the trailer if you're in the bathroom and maybe things aren't going well. Uh, so what you can do is get yourself one of these. This is a luggable loo. Open it up here. And it just goes on top of a bucket like this. That way, nobody will hear you and you can just take care of business far from anybody. Check this out. So I've heard, every once in a while, I will hear somebody say, hey, I can find the same RV someplace else a little cheaper. Maybe, but let me tell you what's probably happening. That RV dealer is going to make their money back. They're going to make them back through hidden fees. Hidden fees are anything, any fee that they don't tell you about when you buy your RV. Your RV is selling for $20,000. You think, okay, I'm going to get the RV for that price. But then when you go to pick it up, there's another $3,000 tacked on, and it says in the, in the paperwork, uh, tire fee, PDI fee, coming in and on a Monday to pick up your RV fee. They'll make stuff up to get money from you. 
don't don't get hit with hidden fees. Like you can pay whatever fee you feel comfortable paying, but don't let them surprise you with that, with that hidden fee. It's an awful, awful thing. If you buy from RV wholesalers, you get two, two fees, dock and title fee and the destination fee. That is a fee to get the RV from uh, uh, Elkhart, Indiana to here. It's like $300. And then your dock and title fee, which every state has to do, is like $295 or something. So you're going to pay $600 and some in fees on top of whatever the RV costs. But that is it. So we tell you guys all the time, if you have to buy an RV from someplace else, we totally get that. But when you sit down and, and they say this is the price, have them put in writing that's the price you're going to pay out the door. Don't let them surprise you with a hidden fee later on because you'll lose your $1,000 deposit. If you want an RV, they have you put down $1,000 to, to kind of save that RV. And then if you leave and, and back out of the air, they are, I can't talk. I'm so excited. It makes me so angry. If you leave and uh, back out of the deal, they're going to keep that that thousand dollars. But um, yeah, don't don't get don't get caught with the hidden fees. That that's just a terrible terrible feeling. Thinking you're buying an RV for this price, you go to pick it up and it's another three thousand dollars. That happens. I'll give you an example. It happens a lot with tickets, like concert tickets. I love going to shows, and there's plenty of times when you see the price. Oh, the tickets are 30 bucks. And then you go to buy like two tickets and it's like $95. You're like 30 times two is 60. What's this 95? Well, there's the, the arena fee. There's the ticket master fee. There's the whatever fee. And then you end up paying so much more. So know in advance exactly how much you're paying out the door. Have them sign. This is your price and don't get, don't get busted. <laughs> Alrighty, here today we're going over the Coachman Catalina Summit Series 7. That's the 184 BHS travel trailer we got here today. Um, you're going to have a Murphy bed up front, dinette there on the slide, um, two double over bunks there in the rear of the coach. Um, you're going to be coming in here at a dry weight of 4,200 pounds, um, GVWR 5,500. So any mid-size SUV owner, smaller truck owners, perfect coach there for you. I'm um, also going to have a, a big outdoor kitchen on it, um, awning, fully lit awning there, and uh, that's about it. Hi, it's Nathan Anderson over here at RV Wholesalers. I'm going to be showing you the 184 BHS Catalina Summit Series 7. I'm going to start over here at the nose of the coach, going to hit on a few things. Um, giant pass-through storage underneath here, and kind of one little thing that separates it. It's going to be fully enclosed on the pass-through storage. Some models, you're going to have an, a gap here to where your bed will fall into, anything like that. This saves fumes getting sealed off. You can store whatever in there, and it's not going to come through the, the nose of the camper while you guys are sleeping and be able to smell it. Um, walk over here. Going to hit propane tanks, easy to, to reach. You're not going to have a cover or anything. It's just going to pop right off. And then I will hit real quick. You guys do have a uh, power tongue jack. Um, older couples, younger people, um, resale value is a huge thing. People don't want to crank on them no more. You guys can simply just press a button and, and run it up and down. All right, guys, here on the, the back of the coach here, I'm going to hit on the, the rear kitchen here for a little bit. Um, complete there with a, a leash link. If you guys are cooking with pets or whatnot, it's going to be a nice little D-ring there to attach your dog leash to. Uh, big cabinet here, storage for whatever you guys want, cooking utensils, supplies, condiments, whatnot. Um, you're going to have a, a water hose there that's going to connect in your water port, be able to spray out bigger pots and pans that don't fit in the sink. Um, also going to have your guys' LP Quick Connect line. Um, that's going to hook there at the bottom there on your LP Quick Connect up to your guys' uh, griddle over here. Also, going to have a bottle opener. Um, got the griddle pulled out for you guys. That's going to be like a, a cold roll um, steel cooking surface equivalent to like a Blackstone. Um, a lot of people are familiar with those. And then I will come over here, guys, and show you guys the mini fridge. Perfect place. Grilling accessories, drinks, whatever you guys need for your camping trip. All right, back at the camper now, guys. Um, backup camera prep made for the Furion. We have them in the parts store. A complete plug and play observation camera so it's going to stay on 24-7 just not when you guys are backing up. That way you can be a little defensive, see if someone's running up on you or anything crazy like that. Spare tire, um, complete with the cover. Keep it from uh, the sun cracking your tires and aging them super quick so we'll have that cover on for you guys. Um, all of your water heater to light, um, override, everything will be, all your water heater controls will be in the rear of this. 
This is where your blue spray port hose will be. It's going to connect to that. That's going to be your fresh water fitting. Spray out pots, pans, dog leash right there. Um, you guys can spray off your, your dog, muddy dog, before it goes in the camper for the night. Alrighty, here on the other side of the, the coach here, you're going to find city water connection, where you guys will obviously hook up your, your water there. Black tank flush, kind of a big thing on a lot of units. It's going to be simply just a female connection for a garden hose. Uh, it's going to spray out that black tank and keep it all nice and clean and smell free. Of course, it's going to be your guys' uh, plug in there for the, the camper shore power, all of your black tank dumps, everything like that. And then, of course, over here, you guys will have your uh, cable and satellite hookup along with a bumper end that pops out so you guys can store your sewage hose. Alrighty guys, inside the coach now, um, of course at the, the tongue of that you're going to find a Murphy bed. Um, that's going to be complete with storage completely underneath it. That's separate from the pass-through storage, so you guys can throw stuff in there without it contaminating anything there in the pass-through. Um, a little theater seat kind of option here. It's going to fold down the, the cup holders. That's going to be nice when you guys are kind of relaxing, watching TV. Um, storage above, I will hit on that. And then of course you guys do have the mushroom lights. So you can you know, click which one that you guys want to come on with the lights. Over here at the control section side of things here, guys, I'm going to find your guys' radio. You will be able to address, uh, adjust which zones. That, those speakers, the two exterior speakers, or you can do all three. Um, both zones play inside and outside, of course, on that with Bluetooth. Uh, you're going to find all of your controls here for the awning, um, the water heater, all of your interior, exterior lights. And then the cool thing, you guys can just press these little buttons and see how full your guys' tanks are. Um, slide out room here is going to be in and out here on that switch. And that's really about it. To the kitchen side of things over here, guys, um, we'll first hit on the sink cover. Um, putting the sink cover when you guys are not using the sink is going to add for a lot more counter space. Also, you guys are going to have a range there complete with your LED light strip along with a uh, working vent fan here. Suburban gas um, top grill. You're going to have a two cook burner here. Microwave will be underneath, and what you guys see right there will be your guys' furnace. I'm also going to have your 12-volt fridge over here. Over here on the dinette side of things here, guys, you guys are going to have a, a full-size dinette, really good size here for this size of coach. And this is, table is also going to drop down, hold flat on these pedestals here. These couch cushions uh, move on top of it, and of course you guys have another bed. Um, over here, I will hit on the TV backer, uh, complete with your guys' cable uh, connections here with your 110 plug. TV backer is essentially going to be a, you know, a big stud for you guys to put any kind of TV mount you want on it. I prefer one of the ones that pull out and swivel. That way you guys can see it from the Murphy bed and from here if you guys are kind of just laying around. Here on the bunk side of things here, guys, double over double bunks. Uh, these are pretty long. I believe they're going to be fit a 6'2 person uh, sleeping long ways on it. So if you guys are tall, you're going to be able to utilize it. Complete with the mushroom lights here, control if you guys want to come on with the main lights. Um, 110 outlets over here so you guys can charge your phones and accessories. And then I will hit underneath here in your guys' storage underneath. Um, that's big enough for like storage container, shoes, whatever you guys want. Alrighty here guys, stepping into the uh, bathroom here on this coach. You guys are going to see there a, a toilet placement. It's going to be big. You guys don't have to open the door to swing your legs out. Perfect placement for bigger people. Medicine cabinet complete there with your sink. Medicine cabinet does open and is pretty deep storage. Swinging over here to the shower here, guys. Um, we'll hit on it's pretty decently tall for you taller guys. You don't have to worry about hitting your head on it. Again, guys, my name is Nathan Anderson. I do appreciate your time here today to be able to watch this 184 BHS Catalina Summit Series 7. Um, I do have a team over here. It's Team Anderson. Um, we can be found on extension 172. That'll ring directly to me, or my team's line is 937-649-5823. Hey guys, Tim Richardson hanging out with Adam and Lauren Powers. They are here to pick up their brand new Rockwood Rue, finally. I'm sure yeah, you're excited. Very, excited. very excited. So, tell me, like, why a Rockwood Rue, why RBW, like, how did this all happen? Sure. Um, well, we, we had a pop-up that had a little bit of damage, so we, by the time we were going to replace it, it was better for us to buy a brand new one. My wife and I kind of started looking at different layouts and we decided we didn't want to go with like a traditional camper. We wanted something that's a hybrid that forces us outside but still be big enough if it rained or the elements were bad that we could have our twins and our dogs and us in there. So we decided on the Rockwood Groove 233S and we ordered it from you guys just because of, you know, we were shopping around, 
um, we, we went to one dealership down by us and they had really high pressure sales tactics and just very aggressive atmosphere. And so I wasn't happy with that. Um, I happened to find you guys on Google. Okay. And then, um, but I started, I called around and I was talking to Jared and um, it was just very easy to do everything. And then afterwards, the customer service was amazing. So we were touched up with throughout the whole process when we were expecting our camper. You know, we were walked through today. It was very, it was a rush, but was, they wanted to make sure we knew everything. So yeah, very, very happy. Out. Oh yeah, yeah we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to go. I uh, see so you got your truck ready. You got yep. the equalizer hitch. Good choice. Uh, that's a wise, wise thing to go with. I appreciate taking the time to learn about that. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah. I actually been down to the uh, Rockwood plants uh, probably two, three times in the last few months, and uh, really have been impressed with their quality. So very good choice. Thank you. What What do you guys? Okay, so you got pets. You're camping with pets. You're like, tell me some dream places. Like, you want to use this RV and take it everywhere. 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 Okay. <laughs> I think our big dream is, and I'm sure a lot of people say this, is to go out to the Grand Canyon. Nice. Um, one of our dogs is it's a GSP, so I'm a pretty avid upland hunter. So I would like to take it out to like Iowa and go public land hunting with oh, cool. the GSP and stuff. But that means I have to leave for at home. I want to go to Charleston. That's where I want to go. Charleston. Charleston. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, awesome. Congratulations on your new you. RV. Thanks for taking time to share with all of our friends at the Virtual RV Show and on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Have fun. Happy Thank camping. You. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you. because he got camping swirled by hidden fees. I did. Join our live webinar to find five tips on ways not to get camping swirled.
He's not moving. Duncan. Okay. Wow. All right. Coming up this hour. You can hear me? Okay, I'll just keep talking. It's dark. Oh, somebody just turned the lights back on. We've got a Wildwood FSX. We've got a Puma Park model. And listen to this. We've got a Cherokee Gray Wolf. You haven't seen this yet. It's brand new to the RVW family. Excited for you to see it. It's 2022. Super hip. Super cool looking inside. I love this thing. So that's all coming up this hour. We've got a new location. Let me tell you real quick why we got the new Cherokees. We had a new location. RVW bought a dealership in Northeast Ohio. And because we got that dealership, we can now carry the Cherokee product again. One of the best selling uh, tra travel trailers out there right now. And just absolutely sharp. It's just the only way I can express. It's just sharp. We went to the manufacturer. We took tours with the product representative or the uh, uh, one of the main guys up there. And uh, we'll find out what to do. So real quick, we've got people asking about like, how do you get service nationwide? Like we had somebody call earlier, super excited for her. She won one of the prizes. She had, she bought an RV from RVW, but she lives in California. So they're coming out here to pick it up when it's ready. When she takes it back to California, let's say something happens three years down the road where it needs repaired. What does she do? Is she on her own? Not when you buy from RVW. We have the nationwide service network. And what this is, is 20, it's, 2,000 some, 2,900 uh, uh, like service centers around the country that if you break down or something happens in, in Montana and you need help right away, you call the concierge here at RVW and they will get somebody to you as quickly as possible, somebody near you wherever you are. Like I said, 2,900 service centers, maintenance centers around the country so you're taken care of. We have, what's that, Tim? Oh, some are mobile. Yeah, some are mobile where they can come to you, some you take it to there, but, but uh, you're taken care of. Your trailer is never gonna break down in your driveway. You know, it's, it's, you're not gonna notice until you get somewhere. And what a terrible feeling that would be to have your RV, you're ready to go for the week, you pull in and something starts leaking. RVW has your back. Again, they sell the RVs and they also give you peace of mind when you become part of the RVW family. So just something they offer. Great, great people to buy from around here. Hopefully you're watching and learning that, hey, this is the place to buy from. Now, if you're thinking, I, I can't buy right now because I don't wanna buy until RVs are available for me to buy that day. Let me tell you, I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a while. Right now, a lot of people are just buying and waiting for their RV a few months, hopefully just a few months, to get their RV. Today is the day to buy, especially here at RVW, because one, uh, you lock in a price today. Number two, you're getting a 2022, and here's the deal. If it does take, let's say it takes six months. Let's just throw a terrible number out there. Let's say it's six months before you get it. You're gonna get it before next, uh, next camping season, right? This, this, this camping season is close to being done right now. We're in late summer. It's probably a couple more months, but if you buy now, chances are you're going to have your RV ready to go for next camping season. What a great feeling that would be. $1,000 deposit, you get your name on the list, they start building your RV, and then uh, you, you get it. So, you know, if you have to this year, if you have to rent, rent this year if you really want to go out. Get a cabin, you go out, enjoy family, make those memories. It just may not be in an RV this year, but that's, it's like that across the country. And again, if you buy now, you get today's prices. That could be huge with the way prices are going up with these RVs. So you can either buy now and get your RV, hopefully before next, most likely before ne next camping season and pay today's prices, or good golly, there's lots of flies around here. Or you uh, hold off, hope like maybe RVs are all of a sudden in stock next year when, when the season starts, which they, may not be because people are buying and those RVs are being built and then they got to build stock for the dealerships. So you, you either wait and pay those prices then and maybe not get an RV then and just get put on the list then or buy now, get put on the list, get the RV by next camping season. I'm just trying to help you out. I want you guys in an RV as soon as possible and that might be the way to do it, ordering today. So uh, coming up again, we have a Wildwood that we're, we walk through at the, with a rep at the, at the dealership. Uh, lots of changes. Rockwood, here's something I want to talk about real quick. 
uh, uh, Wildwood, for example, didn't do a lot of changes for 2022, and I'll tell you why. Because of what's going on. Like they're focusing on let's get the product built and and just get try to get caught up and get these out. Again, quality is not being not being skimped on. There's still quality RVs, but they're thinking they're, in their mind they're like, okay, there's no reason to add more stuff. Let's just get these built, which I understand. We did go to Rockwood. Rockwood had made a couple changes. Nothing huge, nothing crazy and mind blowing, but they did make a couple cool changes that you'll find out about a bit later. But uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, the Wildwood is the uh, the 2022 that you will get. 20, it's the 2021, I'm sorry, but it's a lot like the 2022 that you would get if you ordered today. Uh, are we ready to get into the RVs? All right, let's get into, I believe, the wild, Wildwood right now. Yep, All right, here we go, the Wildwood FSX. <laughs> I'm hanging out in Wakarusa, Indiana with Nick. Nick, what, what is your title again? So I'm a sales manager here at Forest River, and okay. I run the uh, Wildwood product line. So you know all about these things. I do, yeah. So yep. You're the guy to talk to if we want to talk about this Platinum Wildwood FSX. For sure, yeah. You want yep. to do it then? Yeah, so okay. we're, what we're standing in front of is called a 270 RTK. 270 RTK means it's approximately 27 feet of living space, okay. and then it's a uh, rear toy hauler with an outside kitchen, so the RTK. So awesome. yeah, we can take a look. This one was new in March of this year, uh, March of 21. So we did this kind of right after COVID. And really the big thing that came out of this product design was people with side-by-sides, side like UTVs, want a travel trailer, like with all the features of a travel trailer, mm -hmm. but they want to be able to store their side-by-side -side inside. Yeah. So that's what we did, and you'll see that as we go through it. Okay. One of the number one requested items on a toy hauler is always an outside kitchen. People are in and out, and they want to have this feature. Yeah. Usually available in bunk houses. We figured out a really cool way to do that um, up here in the front, in the pass-through storage area. You get a, a griddle, an LP griddle. You get a 110 refrigerator, some USB outlets, and then an additional bit of storage here. Awesome. So easy to put away, close your door, and then ready to use the next time you come back. Great. Um, what else is out here that we're going to talk about? Obviously, the, you get your awning. The whole campsite. This is the biggest awning we can buy. This is a 21-foot awning. Uh, they don't make a 23 or 20. Okay. This is it. This yeah, is as big as we get. So we can put the biggest awning we could on it for you, give you as much campsite space again as possible. You'll see it's dotted with windows all the way down the side. And uh, again, trying to let a bunch of natural light into these things. That's a new feature over the last year to two years that we've all tried to implement is natural okay. light. One other cool thing on the back, if you want to step back here, this is a new generation of patio system. So when you're not using this as a ramp to get your toys in and out, right, you lift it up, connect these two cables, and this patio system swings out and contains the area. This Love one's that. really nice from Lipper. This is a new series they just did for us. Uh, in the old ones, you would see maybe a gap between the door uh -huh. and your uh, storage area. You could have dogs or small children that might be able to squeeze in and out. Now okay. you can't. That's really tight and contained. Another nice feature on the back of this new system, you can see this has like an integrated gate. So if you're going to put, they call them like, um, like a, one of those solid steps right here. It's going to mm -hmm. clip onto the back. If you want to be able to come and go through two areas of your camper, you can do that now. Okay. That was never possible. Now is that an option system. to get those steps or is it that is. something you buy in a parts department? Yep, yep, whether you buy it through RV wholesalers okay. or uh, directly, there'd be a bunch of options to get okay. that. And easy, like no install, just kind of clips nice. on and off. But nice new feature this is one of my favorite things about rvs is this like yeah. outdoor patio added living space right yeah absolutely. 27 feet well then you get another eight feet here just uh -huh. by extending the outdoor area Love so it. yeah nice nice new feature we've implemented so here we are in the main living area of this 270 rtk there's no slide in this unit it's very light uh, just over 5,000 pounds so you look at you know what can i tow this with uh -huh. a lot of half ton trucks can tow this as long as you haven't got a yeah, and uh, usually those, <laughs> those side by sides are 1,200, 1,500 pounds, something like that. Okay. And this is a really unique, if we want to start with this area, you see all your tie downs for your toy. Imagine yeah. your toys are going to come all the way in here. You're going to have a 14 foot garage. And something really neat that we did in here is you're going to have more uh, width, which is always the constraining portion mm -hmm. of a toy hauler. How wide can I go? Right. This fits the Razor 1000, which is number one selling side by side for a okay. couple years in a row. That's never been done in like an eight wide series. So we've got 72 inches of clearance here between uh -huh. our cabinets, our shortest spot. And then we actually raised the ceiling on this series of trailer. So it's up to 84 inches now versus wow. 78. Okay. And all those like minute changes were driven by product feedback from people that have bought side by sides which outsold motorcycles for the first time ever uh, wow. this past year. So huh. you see where the market is going, and now we're trying to build trailers around what people are buying and yeah. putting in them. Okay. So. I love this. And I love that you've got the, the like the table set in here. 
because it shows off like so many times we come in the back of a uh, toy hauler yeah. and we see this all cleared out just so we can show the space. Sure. It's nice to see this here, like what it can be once you get convertible the, the space, toy right? Out. This yeah. thing has to do so many things. It has to carry your toy to wherever you're going. Then you uh -huh. unload that. Okay, now we want seating. Great, you've yeah. got seating. You know, as you take these away. Um, you're going to be left with basically two bunks. You pull these away. Yep. That's a sleeping area. And something that's really cool that we're working on, I'd say it during this video because you're going to show it uh, shortly, we've got windows up top, which don't really make sense unless you know where we're going. We're going to be able to offer uh, additional sleeping above. So okay. if you talk about having like a quad or a three bunk unit, yeah. uh, this unit can do that. And that's something we're driving for on our toy that's haulers. Awesome. Kids area, privacy, close it off, and then have mom and dad up front or guys area, whatever yeah. you want to do. Great. Yeah. I love that you get the screen back there so you can close that off, keep bugs out at night, but still have the outdoor. 100% customer driven. So one thing that we, when we talk to people that have owned our trailers and say, love the magnetic screen, doesn't break, can take it on and off. Wish I had some privacy. Today you can see us, we're sweating. It's, it's warm extremely in hot. It's warm in this If one. we had the AC running, be cold inside, we close that off and now we're containing our, our AC. So that, these little like features, um, thank God for Facebook and groups like that where we can watch and interact with customers yeah. and really like refine things as people That's great. I've feedback. mentioned that before that you guys yeah. really listen to the customers to hear you Huge say. Huge benefit. Yeah. That's, Huge benefit. It's got to help you out. It's going to make your job easier. Instead we still, of trying to guess what people want. It would be through RV shows and interactions like yeah. that. And now we've got so many avenues to collect that info. So yeah, that's it's, great. It's great to have. That's great. Should we head up front? Sure. All right. So you got a, in this one, you've got a, a mid bath. Again, you're seeing the extra. How tall are you, David? Yeah, I'm six foot. Six foot. So six with, two with the, I guess the hair is a little flat to that. Yeah. But you've got a skylight above that for extra tall guys. And again, we're in an extra tall travel trailer, which I right. would classify 84 inches, a ton of headspace. So Lots taller guys are going to love this. Good storage, right? For especially for a mid bath non slide unit. Yep. And then as we come up to the front, the last piece of the puzzle here is the, the front bedroom. And then up here, again, tons of storage up and over the bed. We've actually got you a walk-in closet That's here, nice. which you can show as well. Full storage below. You've got your outside kitchen over there. Then you've even got these cool kind of bins here at the edge with a shoe nook below that. So you've got your shoes to line up and then garments and everything here. Again, if you want totes for uh, extra clothes, you can put those down in yeah. there as well. So, again, trying to maximize the space you've got in here. Nice. Yeah. We, we move. I guess the kitchen, we didn't talk much about the kitchen yet, but it's... It's a kitchen. And again, it's, we're doing as much nice. as we can in these small spaces. To have a corner kitchen, that's a really nice design. You end up with a lot of storage below, tons of storage up above, and then we give you uh, the same 12-volt reefer that you'll see in a lot of the Wildwood product. We mm -hmm. use that here as well. Okay. Um, overhead storage as well. Yeah. One nice thing we noted uh, post-COVID post -COVID, is all the campsites are filling up, right? It's, it's really tough to get a spot this year. You've heard yeah. that. So we started equipping a lot of our units, and this 270 is standard with a 190-watt solar panel on the okay. roof right from us from the factory. Standard. Standard. That's awesome. And then you've got two battery trays in the front, so you can have two Group 27 batteries. That will power most of this unit mm -hmm. um, you know, for a regular user in, in perpetuity. Now, if you use a lot of the lights and uh, right. water pumps and stuff excessively, you'll start to drain those batteries. But that's a really big solar panel. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to start doing more of that. I think extended camping and places that don't have hookups is, is really something to focus on. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you see yourself in this? If you're looking for a toy hauler, this may be the way to go. It's nice in here. And I love the fact that it's not necessarily like a separate garage room. You just you just have everything here. It's open. Of course, you've heard me talk before about the, the patio out back. Uh, if you're interested, you got to get a hold of us today. Lock in this price today at RVW. All right, guys. We're kind of in the Area 51 section of the RV world. This is a concept model. 2023, 20, 2024. I'm going to show you how cool this is. Come around here. Some of the things, just two of the things you're looking forward to adding to your RV is that sometimes you're driving down the road and you want to cook at the same time. So you just reach over here, you fry up a little bacon, and you got bacon while you're driving. They call it bacon driving. So uh, that's just one thing to look at. And then this, sometimes, sometimes your neighbors want toast. You have an old timey toaster in your window. People come along and roll down the window and toast. That's, your That's for your neighbors more than you, but man, how popular will you be next year when this concept becomes reality with toast in the window and cooking bacon while you're driving down the road? So we had a question earlier from uh, Susie. She, she was wondering, what happens if I break down in my RV mm -hmm. when I'm somewhere across the country, not near my hometown? Like, I don't know anybody around there. No, right. I don't have a, my garage. My, my well, and you're not can. taking the RV to the grocery store down the road. Yeah. You're taking it to cross country. So that's when it's going to, that's yeah. when things are going to It's happen. not going to break down in your driveway. It's going to break down when you're somewhere else. Right. What happens? That is a very good question. So uh, the answer is simple. 
the nationwide service guarantee that RV wholesalers has for you has 2,900, over 2,900 vetted um, uh, shops that will take care of your RV no matter where you are in the 50 states. We've got you taken care of. Uh, there's a concierge number that you t pull out your phone and call. We'll call one for this this here. Sure. We'll Try pretend there was uh, leaking or something. And uh, Simple as this. You just pull yep. your phone. Dial. Dial the number. And let them know, hey, I am here and I need your help. You may need to give them a little more information than that. But uh, people will show up. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> you you really think goodbye, I, that's yeah, if you really think I was talking to somebody, you're crazy. But whoa, look what just happened. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. That may have been because he That's was fast. sitting at the top of the hill up here waiting for us. But you get the idea. No matter where you are in the country, RV Wholesalers has you taken care of. They know that they don't want you, or they know that you don't want your vacation ruined. So the best way to do that is make sure you're taken care of no matter where you are in the country. Look at this guy. Come on, I'll show you He's the league. Get out. How you doing? Good He's going to fix the RV. How you doing? Hey, dude. Let, let, me show you, let me show you inside. Something. We'll show you the leak. All right, you done in there? Actually, yeah. Excellent. It's easy fix. Anytime. Here, here's my card. Thank you. you Thank you very much. Problems, let me know. Thanks. And just like that, fix that's it right it. up. That's it. That's the nationwide service network. Over 2,900 service centers and mobile repair specialists across the country to take care of you, to give you peace of mind so that when you're out with your RV, no matter where you are in the country, you're close to somebody who can get you taken care of and get you back on the road. Your vacation isn't going to be ruined. That's for you from the folks at RV Wholesalers. Peace of mind. Check it out. Go to RVWholesalers.com. Get more information or just stick around here. We'll talk more about it later today. <laughs> Playing a little air surge protector. Uh, I'm going to give away this surge protector right now. It's 30 amp, 120 volt surge protector. This will protect the stuff in your RV. You need one of these. If you don't win this today, if you go to uh, rvwholesalers.com slash parts, you can check out their parts department. They've got an amazing parts department. All kinds of stuff available. Uh, this is important because you could lose a lot of stuff in your RV if you don't have this protector. Um, a lot of times the campground power might be a little shoddy, maybe, depending on where you are. This will absolutely protect you. Uh, I've, I've lost a couple things in like thunderstorms at my house that weren't surge protected. I'm trying to remember what, I think it was a TV. Just absolutely devastated me because I lost the TV just because it wasn't on a surge protector. So get yourself one of these. We're gonna do the third person to text the word win to 833-717-0327. I say the third person because that means you're rushing right now to do that real quick. That's funny for me. 833-717-0327. We'll find out who the winner is here in just a second. Again, if you don't have yourself one of these and you need one, rvwholesalers.com slash parts. Their parts department has everything. Do you have that catalog over there, Tim? Let me show you this catalog that they have. This RV wholesalers catalog. Look at this thing, just filled with stuff. It's crazy how much stuff they have in this catalog. You can find it at rvwholesalers.com slash parts, but uh, they will get you taken care of. We should have our winner here anytime now of the pur purge, purge protector. That means if the government is starting to go around and, and hurt people, this will protect you. Reference to the purge movies. Again, it's hot in here and the jokes are awful. Surge protector. Tim, we're still waiting. All right, coming up, we've got the Puma Park Model coming up. If you're new to RVing, a Park Model is an RV that you don't really drive around. It's kind of shaped like this. You don't really drive it around much because it's not very aerodynamic. You drive it to a park and then you pretty much just leave it there. It's got a glass, this is a lot like one. It's got a glass sliding door. Doesn't have a big steps because people will buy these and then build a deck on it. So, and they become their, their homes in these, in these uh, uh, RV parks. Got it yet? Dennis Jones. Dennis Jones. Dennis Jones, congratulations. 30 amp, 120 volt surge protector is yours. We will get this sent out to you. It's the exact one that I'm playing guitar on right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, he probably wants it autographed. Oh. <laughs> Not by me, by somebody famous. Uh, so we'll get that sent out to you, Dennis. Congratulations. Let's get to that park model right now.
Park model. Park model. Park model. Meaning, you take this and you park it somewhere. Yeah, maybe move it once. Yeah. Maybe a year. It's not very aerodynamic in the front. No, it is not. They have these set up on it so that you can just close them up and build a deck because you're going to leave it in one yeah, place. Yeah, normally people do build decks around these, which, uh, you know, people are always wondering, like, man, why is, like, why is the door so high? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, most people with these, they, they'll build a patio I've right seen up on these. Like, they'll wrap it around the whole slide out. When we stayed at Jellystone, yeah. there were some people that you could tell moved in for that weekend, and there were some that they had, like, a whole landscape out here, patios mm -hmm. and and like uh, the fake grass, and it was just awesome looking. But you can tell oh, yeah. that RV wasn't moving very often. No, no, and you know, and, other, and some things that you can come to expect, like you know, what all comes as a park model, because some people don't even know of these of these things even existing. Right. So it's like you know, yeah, you get nice things like you do at home, like sliding doors. Uh, you get uh, nice big slide rooms. You get a lot of features that you don't really get. Mm -hmm. And um, and other and other kinds of like fifth wheels or travel trailers, you know, you get kind of upgraded features because this thing isn't really designed to be driv driven around a lot. Right. Like for example, it's on leaf spring suspension, where most trailers are torsion axle suspension because they're on the road a lot more. Okay. They need that smooth as smooth of a ride as possible. Right. Where these aren't going to move around a lot, so they. They, they put leaf spring suspension under them so they can reallocate to put more inside. Okay. So speaking of inside, there's a whole lot more to talk about in there than there is out here. Let's go. Yeah, so these are what, what people buy in the, like northern states, buy and send them in the southern states and head down yep. there for a few months. That's right. Yeah. So um, as I said, you get, it, it, they're, they're not really a whole lot to look at out there. There's not a lot of features outside. Right. But as I said, you come inside, there is a lot. I mean, you get uh, your nice solid countertops. I like this. You this get your nice uh, bar stools. You get stainless steel, name brand appliances, full-size residential uh, stove oh, yeah. with four burners. That's, that's, that, that's the same size as what you get in your home. Um, you know, there's a panoramic view up here. Oh, of course, nice. the shades are down, but... You know, for a front kitchen layout, this is possibly one of my most favorite front kitchens because you get all the counter space uh -huh. plus a view. Yeah. Look at that beautiful view of a parking lot and the freeway. That is, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the highway. Yep. We got some mountains out there. Do you see them? Yes. Yeah. Those are those gravel mountains. You mean? Those are... just mountains. Their mountains are just really far away. Yeah. 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 We're very very far away. <laughs> At least 30 miles. Right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, freestanding table and chairs, mm -hmm. uh, nice fits and finishes everywhere. You get a lot of storage space, uh, like cabinet, uh, cupboard space, um, huge living area. I saw that. Um, yeah, for a front kitchen layout, this is actually very big for a, uh, for, for a park model. Um, so you have enough room for, you know, your... Uh, I believe up to a 50-inch TV. Yeah, that's a big TV. You got your Thomas Paine recliner furniture. Oh, yeah. um, right Super there. comfortable. Holy yep. moly. Yeah. This is, is a new material. This is the new material that they're using uh, on there. It's not like that vinyl feel. Right. It, it's like a nice soft material. Wow. It's very comfortable. I haven't sat in one of these yet. This is nice. Yeah. Very, very yeah. comfortable. I'll actually be talking to a couple, my, my mom and dad's next door neighbor. I, I think they're actually watching right now. I, um, I had asked them to call me, and they're, they're looking at putting a unit out uh, uh -huh. on their property out in Colorado. And, um, you know, and I'm, I, I think I want to talk to them about a park model. Right. Just uh, because, I, I, from what I'm gathering, it might be out there for some time. Okay. And I mean, look at what you get. Yeah. I mean, this is this is perfect for just getting away to something nice. You have plenty of windows for your views. Uh huh. Uh, especially out in Colorado, man. Right. You know, you get those views. Yeah. So. Um, I like that big old window right there. Oh too. yeah, big tall windows. As I said, this thing is not in shortage of windows. So even when you have all the windows up, you can keep the slow rise. I thought this is. 
raising up really slow. It's literally called slow rise. Yep. The the slow rise. Yep. Yeah, that's so um, window. yep, and you can actually kind of kick those windows open okay. for ventilation. Um, nice big bathroom with automated night lights. Um, nice quarter, uh, 28 inch uh -huh. uh, by 32 inch shower. Um, LED lighting everywhere. You got your foot pump toilet. Nice, uh, decent sized bathroom for this layout. Yeah, it's awesome. Very nice. So we got here and into the bedroom. <clears throat> now moving in, where the magic happens. <laughs> king size bed. Uh huh. Right. Not a lot of park models get king size beds. Okay. Which blows my mind. I don't know why. Right. You know why? Why don't most? You know what? Manufacturers, if you're listening, your park yeah, models a challenge. Need, every single one of them need king beds. Boom. I'll, I'll petition it. But king size bed, Puma thinks about it, right? They want uh -huh. you to be comfortable. You got your uh, bedside uh, shelving, so you can put your phone, your water, your uh, your book, whatever, right there next to you. You got your nice big wardrobes to the side of the bed here. Um, you know where you can hang up everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know you can you have another little shelf right here. Everything's easy access, like your fuse panel. Yep. And the dresser down here at the end for the yep, bed. You get your little uh, chest of drawers right here at the end of the bed, right under a window, and you even get um, nice. You even get your uh, space for your stackable washer and dryer. And if it's park model, meaning you're going to be in it quite a bit. Yeah, you need and, that. and in the Puma, uh, the Puma, I, I there's a whole lot of reasons why I love Puma. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I mean, you, the way you can build them out is like a la carte. Nice. I mean, there's so many options between that'll separate a fully loaded right. from a base model. Okay. And like your stackable washer and dryer, that's actually an option that you can get from Puma built right in wow. from the factory. That's awesome. Yeah, so there's there, there's a whole lot to love about Puma. Um, I'm always going to love Puma. I mean, they've been doing it since like 1968. Oh, wow. You know, so they, they know a thing or two because they've seen a thing or two. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, very cool. Yeah, this is nice. I could I could stay in this for a few months, six months out of the year straight. Not, not going to lie, this this even. is bigger than my house. Yeah? Uh, I, I think square footage, this is actually getting very close to being bigger than my house. Wow. But then again, my garage is bigger than my house. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, yeah. this, a um, lot of, it, it's very wide open. I mean, I'm, I, I love front kitchens. Mm -hmm. I love Puma. If I was to be getting one, this is, this is it. This is it right be here. the one. Yep. All right. And somebody can get it today. Maybe at least order it today and have it by next. This spring. one, I believe, is actually available. There you go. Um, Somebody's got to jump on You got one. me thinking about it before, like, what's available? And I have to go through the mental registry. Right. You know? Right. Well, <laughs> so. Dave said that they've, you've got, like, 60 available on the lot, 60 RVs on the lot, where normally you would have 600. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, I know we would typically have several hundred. Yeah. Here on the lot, but um, you know, there's there there ain't a lot out there right now. Right. But right. you know, we Just actually get ordered. we actually do have something out there yeah. compared to some dealers. Awesome. Uh, get them ordered. Number yeah. one, lock in the price. Today's price. That's right. Have it by next spring, if not the fall, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you won't be kicking yourself later. Yeah, that's they right. They gotta call and talk to you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's get back out here where the the breeze is coming through. <laughs> I can save you some money right now. I can save you some money with a really good secret. This is something I wish I would have known. Uh, like a couple years ago, we bought our newest car, and I wish I would have known it there. Dealers, whether it's an RV dealer or a car dealership or a boat dealership, they get kickback or they get like a commission from the bank that they end up getting your loan through. And this makes total sense. When they when I found out that here at RVW, I thought. That makes total sense. Why would I have not, not have known that beforehand? So what it is, is if you buy from a dealership and they say, okay, I'm going to make sure you can get uh, a loan, the dealership goes to a bank and says, hey, this guy wants to borrow some money. The bank is going to make money off of you because of the loan. They're going to make interest off of you. So that's how the bank makes their money. But the bank wants the dealership to come to them, so they give the dealership a little bit of money back, that kickback. 
I don't know, it could be $500, it could be $4,000, I don't know. But that is money that I, be I believe, if, they, if they're giving it to the dealer, the dealer should give it to you. And that's what they do here at RVW. When you see these low prices on the RV, that's because they've taken out that, what they call dealer reserve. So they know that if I go to X bank with your loan, they're going to give me $4,000. I'm going to go ahead and take that price, uh, that $4,000 off the price of the RV. So that's how you're seeing a lot of very low prices here at RVWs. They give you that money, and it should be your money anyways. They give that back to you. If you go into an RV dealer and uh, it's not RVW, which we understand, we can't sell you every RV in the country. If you go into an RV dealer, after you like negotiate the price, ask them, hey, what? I just thought of something. What about the dealer reserve that you get from the, from the bank? And there's a good chance that your salesperson may not know what you're talking about. Uh, he may know and pretend like he doesn't, but these banks give money back to the dealer. So you can ask them, I want some of that, I want some of that money. I know without a doubt that you're getting money from the bank for taking my loan to them. It only makes sense. I want at least some of that money. Let's talk. How much you can take off so don't let them keep that dealer reserve from you that should be your money that should be coming off the price of your rv so there you go i just saved you a thousand dollars so everybody should send me at least a hundred for more than 70 years the original equalizer sway control hitch has made towing a trailer safer and put the fun back into towing four things make the equalizer hitch better than any other sway control hitch on the market First, a four-point integrated sway control system that keeps you and your family safer in hazardous towing conditions, like poor weather, winding roads, and passing semi-trucks. Second, an excellent weight distribution system, which provides better steering and braking control while reducing wear on your tow vehicle. Third, the equalizer hitch is easy to adjust and to use. Hitching and unhitching take seconds and can be done from any angle, eliminating the stress and frustration associated with other hitch systems. Four, quality construction, made in the USA from the best American steel, with a lifetime warranty. The Equalizer Hitch's integrated four-point sway control combines these things to create the best performing sway control hitch on the road. Its performance and safety are so good that it has been voted the number one sway control hitch in America, year after year, by thousands of trailer owners all over the country. Visit EqualizerHitch.com to find a dealer near you and ask for the original Equalizer sway control hitch to get the best protection for your journey. I'm hanging out in Wakarusa. Wakarusa? Did I say that right? Yeah. Indiana? That's All right. right. Uh, I thought it was Elkhart. Am I near Elkhart? You're close. Okay. Yeah. All right. But wa Wakarusa. 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 Uh, this is George. Hey. George is with the Cherokee line. And so we've talked about like what's new for 2022. I will tell you that new for 22 for RVW uh, in the Northeast, the Northeast RVW is the Cherokee line, mm -hmm. which is. Uh, an extension of Forest River. Yes. Right? Uh, so tell me a little bit about the Cherokee line because, like I said, this is brand new for us to carry. Yes. Yeah. No, the Cherokee line is going to be uh, encompassing the Cherokees, the Gray Wolves, and the Wolf Pups. So different segments of the product um, going to be, um, you know, for different buyers, mm -hmm. um, whether that's for half ton towables, uh, minivan buyers, people that want, you know, larger units and that type yeah. of thing. So, okay. You know. I know that as I've done this show for the past year or so, as I'm driving down the freeway, I will see like wolf, like either gray wolf mm -hmm. or wolf pup. And I remember thinking, I've, I've never seen those at our dealer. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, it's it's something new for you guys. Um, we, you know, being the you know number one selling travel trailer brand out in the country, uh -huh. it's, uh, you know, we're exciting to pair up with yeah, you guys. Yeah, I'm stoked. So I mentioned you as George. Tell us who you are, though. Yeah, I'm uh, George Schmidt. I'm the manufacturer rep. I've been with uh, Cherokee for 23 years. Um, you know, I've seen the, the product grow into an incredible uh, product for the customers and for our dealers. So. Cool. Well, uh, being the manufacturing rep, you probably know all about this this uh, RV right here. Do you want to walk through it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. So okay. what do we got, uh, what well, we got going on? We're going to go ahead and we'll start out over on the front side. Okay. 
So one of the things that we're doing up front is going to be putting the power tongue jack on, you know, your 20 pound LP bottles. But what we got going on here is going to be uh, putting a, a 27 EV battery on here. And what that is, is going to spotlight and highlight our juice pack. So okay. it's going to have a 50 watt solar panel on there. Wow. So it's going to help uh, keep the battery charged and, uh, you know, keep things up and uh, running when people are maybe off grid Great. type of thing. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, you know, over here, we're going to have our power awnings, um, easy push button um, function. Then uh, our new oh, glass door. That's a sharp door. That is a sharp door. Yeah. So it's a tempered glass door. It's got the gray wolf badging on here. It's going to have the Cherokee badge and wolf uh -huh. uh, badging on there as well. Yeah, that's very sharp. I was just thinking before you shut that, because I hadn't seen the door, I yeah. was just thinking how much I like the color of this thing and that door fits perfect yeah ex exactly yeah. so then um you know one of the other highlights here are going to be our new stable steps okay so obviously easy to uh you know pull pull out from the door um it's going to be stable for people to go in and out of the camper as well on the, the door side here one of the highlights on a cherokee or gray wolf product are just the sizes of the windows that we put in here uh -huh. so great viewing from the inside and out and then we also do our outside TV bracket with our outside speakers. Um, they're backlit blue, and they also tie in with the blue lighting under the awning as well. So it just is a nice, subtle, inviting light here. Yeah. So people can sit here and a uh, nice night out. They can have movie right. night under the stars. This is very hip. Is that the is that yeah. a correct? I, I, mean, I would it's, say it's, it looks a little hip. It's modern and hip. I, yes. I dig it a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, I do too. The other thing that we do with all of our uh, Cherokee products is we're doing some sort of outside uh, kitchen out okay. here. So this particular one's going to have your outside refrigerator, you're going to have your ice maker, your outside uh, shower to fill up your ice maker, and then your RVQ quick connect down there as well so somebody can put a, a gas grill out here. Okay. Some of the other models are going to have an actual pull-out grill um, on there as well. So um, we're going to check off that box of people that are wanting to have some sort of area for yeah. an outside kitchen. I love that you got an ice maker in it. This is the first RV I've seen that has an ice maker in it. Oh, I mean, when you're camping, you always run out of ice. Yeah. So it's a perfect yeah. perfect feature to put on you, you can't go out and buy a big bag of ice because you've got the small, you don't want to take up space just right. for ice. That's brilliant. Yeah. What kind of, okay, here's a weird question. What kind of ice does it make? Is it making cubes? Is it making the, the crushed ice? Um, it's, it varies. Okay. Um, you know, because with the supply kind of chain issues, uh -huh. um, you know, we're having to, do, you know, substitute in some different ice makers gotcha. you know, from time to time. So okay. it's going to... I know that's a weird things. question. But it, it, it's a little <laughs> bit, you know, difficult to answer. Okay. So, yeah. okay. so it, could be, it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Either way, it's going to be frozen water that's going to keep your cold drink. Absolutely. Your cold Absolutely. drink? You drink cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the other things we're putting on here is going to be our black tank flush. It's, you know, anybody that's ever had a black tank flush appreciates the fact that it's on here. So each one of our campers are going to have that as well. So off to the side here, I wanted to get over here and show the uh, black aluminum wheels. It's got your easy lube axle, so it's easy for people to, you know, uh, grease the, the bearings on here. Okay. And then we also put the tire pressure gauge monitors right on Great. the valve stem. So it's an easy check of your uh -huh. tire pressure as you go down the road. If it's green, it means it's good. If it turns red, you need to add air awesome. to it. Awesome. Okay. So back here, um, you know, we add the, the leash latch. You know, everybody you know likes to take their animals yep. camping. Kids, you know, kids, unruly, <laughs> you know, pe people. So yeah. uh, they they got that back there as well. Okay. All right. So back here is probably one of the most usable, friendly uh, features is our cargo rack. Mm -hmm. So um, the cargo rack is going to hold up to over 200 pounds of uh, cargo capacity. Nice. So coolers, bikes, grills, kayaks, whatever somebody wants to throw on here, okay. instead of into the bed of the truck, they can put on the back yeah. of the camper. Let me tell you, well. I just, we just got one of these just for our SUV. Yeah. And how nice it is to have that extra space. Yeah, You absolutely. take it for granted. Like, there, we went on vacation not long ago and put everything in the back of our SUV and just lost so much space, got this, and got all our space back. Mm -hmm. So these things are, don't, don't underestimate how brilliant these things are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So while we go ahead, we'll pop on the inside. Okay. All right, so we'll pop on in here. <laughs> Again, it's just hip. This this dark, my wife would love this stuff. Her favorite color is black. She would dig this room. 
And that's one of the things that has been a success with the Cherokee product is, is the styling and the design. Uh -huh. You know, um, our designer stays in contact with the residential trends of the, you know, homes. Yeah. So right now, black is in. Black uh -huh. is hip. Um, so that's kind of where we went. And if you're camping, you want your, your you know, cabinets and things to be a little darker because, you know, you got tracking uh, dirt. Absolutely. You know, that type of stuff in and out. So it hides things better. Uh -huh. So one of the things that we do in here is we add you know, overhead cabinets over mm -hmm. our bed. So instead of having a shelf, we have cabinets um, to keep things in. Um, we also put a nice uh, you know, fitted sheet on here. Okay. Um, and, and you also have your pillow shams here just for a little extra uh, decor. Yeah. USB charging ports everywhere. Everybody has devices that need to be charged, so we throw charging ports everywhere in here. Never have too many. And uh, then we also have our TV bracket in the bedroom as well. Great. So lots of great features. I see even more storage uh, back here. here. I don't know if... Yeah. So more yeah. Uh, areas for, for goods and storages. Okay. Great. Um, big, huge windows, again, in yeah. the bedroom, and they open. So you have a lot of cross ventilation in the bedroom. Perfect. This is cool. No, I mean, it, it, this is... Um, you know, just like what we call our super kitchen. So uh -huh. there's a lot of awesome features in here. So you have your uh, really nice residential countertops. They're extra thick, so they're robust. They're not thin, cheap. They don't have tea molding and mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Uh, we have our farm style or apron sink, which is very popular in residential. Yeah. Uh, it's a single bowl, so you can actually get dishes and plates and, and uh, pots and pans in here right. with your pull-out faucet here. Um, we also add a couple extra outlets in the um, kitchen, so everybody has crocks, crock pots, okay. toasters, coffee makers, that type of thing. So Absolutely. we add extra outlets in the kitchen. We have our Cherokee sanitizer station, um, or you know your soap dispenser as well. Then we also have our uh, bamboo cutting board. Oh, that's nice. Which is great. That's magnetic and holds up against here. Oh, that's that's smart. That's good. Yeah. Um, so You've got and fruit then, loops. Then we got fruit loops. Can't go wrong with fruit loops. And we got spaghetti, spaghetti. for breakfast if you want, I guess. <laughs> for breakfast. I would do spaghetti for breakfast yeah. any time. So <laughs> like I said, you know, we have a tremendous amount of lighting in here. You have your glass covered cooktop. We have solid wood drawers in here as opposed to particle board, okay. uh, vinyl wrap drawers mm -hmm. indoors. So um, definitely high quality uh, materials that we're putting in here. Wow. So if we turn and look into the, uh, the slide out area, mm -hmm. so we're using these awesome zebra blinds. So you get a little bit of light or you can you know, <laughs> roll them up a little bit and it darkens everything out. So that's sweet. It's, it's a really nice high end feature that we're putting in here as well. Wow. Okay. All of our U-shaped dinettes, they're 12 inches bigger than most of our uh, I was say, I, I, I thought it felt, when I walked in, it looked yeah. like it was bigger than the others I've seen. Yeah, so it, it makes into a, a, you know, a bigger bed when mm -hmm. it's broken down in a bed position, or a family of five can fit comfortably in the dinette. Yeah. Then go ahead and pull out these drawers. Okay. So, okay, so keep going, keep wow. going, keep Good going. Good grief. So <laughs> what we have are a tremendous amount of storage up underneath our dinette. Yeah. So not only do we have one, but we have two. That... <laughs> it almost it almost seemed fake yeah. as I pulled that out. Like, where's this coming from? That's yeah. that's good. So wow. the other things we're putting in here are um, our fifteen thousand uh, BTU air conditioner. Everybody else uses thirteen five. So we're putting the bigger air conditioner in. Here. Okay. So it's going to cool this unit down. Um, mm -hmm. The customer doesn't have to you know um, upgrade to uh, the new one. It's just going nice. to come with its standard. We also have our subwoofer in here, so it's going to put out really great quality sound. That's great. We have our fireplace over here, uh -huh. so it can you know be act as a space heater or it could act as just a little bit of an ambiance. Wow! So just yeah, like I said, totally loaded with features and value for the customer. Uh -huh. Okay. The other big things that we put in all of our campers that we can is going to be our huge pantries. It's just not a cabinet door with a few shelves in it. It's an actual pantry. Mm -hmm. Put uh, a lot of food in there. Put a lot of food and, and goods in here. We're also going to put in a bigger refrigerator for the customer. Okay. It's an 11 cubic foot refrigerator, so it's 10% bigger than everybody else's refrigerator wow. out here. So it's a, it's a great Great refrigerator. Nice. Okay. In the kitchen, we also have some more skylights. Um, lets more natural light in here. It's going to come with the shade. So 
Great. You can block it out if it's too bright in here. And then the best selling, you know, um, trailer in the markets are bunk houses and, you know, the double beds are going to be a great feature. But what we do here is we put um, USB charging ports in the each one of the bunk okay. areas as well. We also put the top window in there. So it lets a lot of light in for the top bunk. A lot of people eliminate that, okay. um, that feature as well. So bathroom's got some great features as well. We put the uh, big 12 inch fantastic fan in the bathroom. It's gonna help circulate fresh air in this unit every two, three minutes. Awesome. Okay. Tub surround is gonna be included. Big sink, big medicine cabinet in here as well. So it's a very roomy, user-friendly uh, Again, the, the bathroom area. Colors are just sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we talk about this on uh, with, with other models. It's nice to have a door into this bathroom from Absolutely. the outside. So you're not tracking through if you need to get in. Uh, but yeah, that is that is very nice. Let me ask you a tough question that I'm not sure we've had answered before. Yeah. Maybe you can answer it. Why is there always a space above the doors on the bathrooms? It, it's more for a ventilation. Okay. Issue. That's what I that's yeah. what I thought. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it just I just nobody has ever really answered. <laughs> There's that space. Can you see that space? Can you see my fingers? Tyler. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that is a sharp. Sharp RV. I know I said it that is. over and over again, but it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling there's a lot of people who are like, whoa, hold on a second. I haven't seen these on your RV show yet. I want to jump into one of these. So uh, hopefully uh, things things start, uh, your, the phone starts ringing. Because if you want to get yourself in one of these, you need to call us right now. All right, guys, I want to talk to you real quick about the Buckeye Service Guarantee. If you live in Ohio, what an amazing deal this is. Uh, I've got a list back here just because there's so many things. I'm going to reference it. Uh, number one, if your RV is um, in for repair, you get a free loaner RV. Free loaner RV, they don't want your RV in here being repaired and you not being able to do your vacation. So if you buy from RVW, if you bring your RV in here and you're getting it repaired, you will get a free RV. You're not paying for it to go on your vacation while your RV is being serviced. Number two, three-day RV exchange. So in other words, if you buy an RV, you have three days to figure out like, you know what, this isn't for me, I need a bigger one, or I, I, I could probably get away with a smaller one. You bring it in and they will exchange the RV for you. Expedited service at the Ohio Lake location, uh, free delivery in Ohio, that's amazing. So there's no delivery fee anywhere in Ohio. 10% discount for all parts uh, or accessories at the Ohio uh, store here. Again, you can find that at that the uh, parts department, rvwholesalers.com slash parts to find out what they have at this shop where you'll get 10% off. Uh, there's a dedicated phone number for service assistance if you live in Ohio, and then discounted winterizations at our Ohio locations right here in Lakeside, Ohio, or Lakeview, Ohio. Lakeview? Lakeview. <laughs> all right, so the Buckeye Service Guarantee is amazing. You can find all this information plus like the uh, Buckeye Service Guarantee, the Network Service Guarantee. Uh, I'm sorry, the Nationwide Service Network or the Buckeye Service Guarantee. I get those two confused every once in a while. You can find all that information at rvwholesalers.com. They really do go over and above for their clients and for their clients, for their customers and their uh, what they call family. After you're in, after you buy from them, you become family and they take care of you. Amazing, amazing people here. We got Lori asking a question about park models. Uh, the question was, can you take it to two locations in a season? Absolutely you can. It's, it, it's just like any other as far as like, it's got wheels, it can get to where it's going, but it's not ideal to, to tow a lot because again, it's not very aerodynamic. You, for most of them have a big sliding glass door on the side. It's definitely made to take and stay, but you can take it to a couple different places in a year. I would just be very careful doing that. Uh, so there you go, Lori, that's your answer for that. Thank you for the question. We appreciate you asking these things. I'm going back to another RV after I talk to you about price protection. Uh, I think we actually might throw the band in there. We might even throw the band in there. So let's, let's get back into some information. All right, let, hey, let's talk real quick about price protecting, and let me tell you what that means. Right now, 
prices are going up on everything. It's normal. Inflation's been around forever, but prices are going up on RVs right now. Like monthly, we're getting price increases on RVs from the manufacturers. So, so what do you do? All right, well, when you buy an RV, you're going to pay that price no matter what the price is. Here's the thing, though. If at RV wholesalers, if you come in and you sign and say, hey, I want to buy this RV. It's going to take three months to get, but I want this RV, and it's $20,000. You sign the paperwork saying, I'm going to do it. You put your $1,000 down. You're going to pay that price that day. If the price of that RV goes up in the next three months, if it goes up 10%, 20%, you're still going to pay that price that you signed for that day. A lot of these dealers nowadays aren't price protecting like that. I think most, I think all except for RVW from what I know are not price protecting. So in other words, if you buy an RV from somebody else, $20,000 and three months later, it's gone up $3,000. You're going to pay $23,000 when you get your RV. They're not going to price protect you. It says it in their contract, a little writing that that's price is subject, subject to change with price increases. So something to think about. If you're in the market to buy an RV, there's a couple reasons not to force you in to do something right now that you're not ready for. But if you are ready to buy an RV, there's a couple reasons why you didn't need to jump on today. Number one, because uh, there's a good chance it needs to be ordered. Hopefully not, but there's a good chance it needs to be ordered. So you want to get it as soon as possible. So order it today. Number two, if you order it today from RV wholesalers, you're going to pay today's prices. No matter how much it goes up, you are price protected pay what it costs today, not three months from now when maybe you get your RV. I know you understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes I feel like I have to clarify myself too much, but that is it. That is it. Make sure your RV is price protected no matter where you buy it from. If you buy it from RV wholesalers, you know without a doubt it's going to be price protected. If you buy it from someplace else because we just haven't got your RV, make sure that when you sign that paperwork, you have them put in writing that the price you're paying that day, you're signing for that day, is the price you're going to pay. Make sure. Do not get taken advantage of three months down the road. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? Jamaica, off the Florida Keys. There's a place called Kokomo. That's where you want to go. Get away from it all. That is in the sand Tropical drink melting in your hand We'll be falling in love To the rhythm of a steel drum band Down in Kokomo, Jamaica Ooh, I wanna take it to Bermuda, Bahama Come on, pretty mama Key Largo, Montego To ride mystique, we'll put out to sea and we'll perfect our chemistry. And by and by, we'll defy a little bit of gravity. Afternoon delight, cocktails and moonlit nights. That dreamy look in your eyes Give me a tropical contact high Way down in Kokomo, Jamaica Ooh, I wanna take it to Bermuda, Bahama Come on, pretty mama Key Largo, Montego a glimpse Everybody knows a little place like Kokomo Now here you want to go and get away
So new to our Northeast Ohio location for RV wholesalers is the Cherokee line, the Gray Wolf, the uh, Wolf Pup, the Black Label, the, all that underneath the Cherokee line is brand new to the Northeast store there for RV wholesalers. But uh, the reason I bring that up is because I'm with George, who is the manufacturing rep for Cherokee mm -hmm. line. Uh, George, I want to ask you some questions. Yeah. We, we've toured these and I've shown these and they're awesome, but let's talk about stuff like quality, mm -hmm. for one. People are asking me about quality. Like, if, if you guys are behind because you're waiting for product to come in, are you trying to work faster and get them pumped out faster? Are you skimping out on quality? Can you reassure our viewers that quality is just as high if that, as, as ever, if not more? You know, I mean, one of the things in my 23 years with Cherokee has been um, the quality of our products. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, a, we have a workforce there that is a long time, you know, dedicated workforce. So we, we don't have a lot of turnover in our, our help there. Good They're here. good quality craftsmen out um, in uh, Topeka, Indiana. Um, so I would stack us up against, you know, the, the best of the quality out there. Awesome. There are things that we do in our campers that I think that we overbuild on our campers with extra studding in our floors and in our sidewall. Um, just things like that are going to be, um, you know, set us apart from other people. See, I think what people think is, like, let's take the, the extra studying, for example. Mm -hmm. Like, people may be thinking, all right, maybe they're skipping that now just to get these out faster, and none of that is happening. No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can know, coming into this, that you're going to get just the best quality from Cherokee as you ever have, whether you have to wait mm -hmm. on it for a while or it's in stock, uh, but never let quality, uh, the, the quality keep you right. away from buying a, a Cherokee line right. uh, RV. Good to hear. All right, let me tell you what's coming up this hour. We got the Windsport Class A Motorhome. That's coming up in just a couple seconds. An XLR Nitro Toy Hauler and a Wildwood Travel Trailer all coming up. We are about 45 minutes ahead in our schedule. Things are just flowing. Things, no issues so far. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud because now we probably end up an hour and a half behind. But as of now, we're ahead a little bit. Uh, the Nitro that's coming up is a fifth wheel, so it's a bigger toy hauler. We show, showed a little Geo Pro toy hauler earlier. We've got the Nitro toy hauler, big old thing coming up uh, this hour. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, do us a favor and just hit subscribe, that little button right there. All that does will let you know like when we do things through the month. We do a lot of stuff on YouTube. We do uh, uh, walkthroughs, we do webinars. This is all going on through the month, tips and tricks, that kind of stuff to keep you up to date on the best way to safely and smartly buy an RV or tips and tricks to what to do after you have an RV. Just, if you're in the RV world at all, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button down there and you will be alerted and updated. Uh, other than that, let's get into that motorhome. A lot of you waiting for this. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, Lane here with RV Wholesalers. We're going to be doing a walkthrough video here on the 21 Thor Windsport 31C Class A Motorhome. Um, we've got a lot of cool options going on with this unit, but this particular one is going to have two slides on it. Um, it's going to have a king bed in there, uh, as well as um, the large living room kitchen slide out as well. So a total of two slides on this guy. Um, in terms of some of the specs here, guys, the GVWR of the unit is 22,000 pounds. Exterior height is 12 foot 2 inches. Exterior length is 32 foot 10 inches. And exterior width with the slide shut is 8 foot 3 inches. Now for your capacities of your water tanks, you're looking at 50 gallons in your fresh water, 40 gallons in your black water, 40 gallons in your gray water, as well as a big armless awning. Uh, at the 18 foot range here. So um, that's going to be the wind sport that we're going to walk through here for you guys. Hey guys, as mentioned before, my name's Lane doing the walkthrough video on the 2021 wind sport 30, uh, 31C here on this particular unit. Okay. Um, as you can see, very aggressive front look to it. A lot of people are liking the wind sport look and um, you know, at the end of the day, guys, um, great camper. And I'll show you a little bit more of what's kind of going on here. On the outside of this coach, guys, you're going to notice that we do have a lot of storage down underneath, as well as in here, guys, going to be where your TV is. Again, we take the TVs out uh, every time the camper comes in here, so there's not going to be a TV in there right now, but this does have a, um, an exterior TV, so that way you guys can uh, view while you're outside. Now, that's all going to be under the big awning, okay? As said previously, this is an 18-foot awning. 
you're going to notice that it looks a little bit different. It doesn't have the arms that go up the side. These arms actually come out from the top, okay? So it is a, a newer technology, um, but at the end of the day, we've had great success with the wind sports and these arms that basically push out with the awning as it goes. Uh, but as, as previously stated, guys, plenty of storage underneath the entire uh, bottom side of the coach. Um, it goes all the way through, and then you are going to have the pass-through storage on the bottom side, okay? So cool features there. And then finally, guys, we're going to have this big fiberglass front or rear cap here. Very good looking. Looks awesome. Um, glimmers in the sun. And then also you're going to have that rear backup camera as well as your ladder. Now on the back side of this motorhome, guys, you are going to have a 5,000 pound hitch as well as the seven pin connector on the back side. Uh, the unit also comes with a generator, which is another cool feature um, that I'm sure we'll show you here soon. Okay, guys. All right, guys, now we're on the inside of the camper here. Okay, again, the Windsport uh, 31C. Uh, you're going to notice we got the bunk bed in the down position. That's operated either by your smartphone, um, which you can hook into, or you're going to have it in on your control panel. And we'll make sure that we get a video for you guys of it going up and down. But there's your control panel for operation of the top bunk here, okay? You will be looking. Um, you probably will find a ladder somewhere in here. If not, guys, you can always pick that up. Um, but nonetheless to get up top there, this one has the child safety tether on the, uh, on the top of it. Uh, again, that is an option. So make sure just like always your options are correct when you're looking at different campers that you're looking to purchase. Okay. Now, as you can see, even with this thing down, okay. Even with the bunk down guys, you still have plenty of room up in the cockpit area, um, for, uh, seating, driving, all that good stuff. Probably wouldn't advise somebody sleeping up here while driving, but again, Hey, it's your camper. Do what you want with it, okay? As you can see, guys, stepping into the cockpit here, guys, you are going to notice that it has a real nice desk off to the right-hand side here for the passenger. And then for the driver, you got that real nice LED big screen there. Um, so that way you guys are going to be comfortable while you guys are uh, driving there for you guys, okay? All right, guys, so looking a little bit farther into some of the features of the coach here, you're going to notice that you have the nice TV right beside the uh, booth dinette directly across from your um, from your try or your jackknife sofa there so cool features there we do have storage over top of the um over top of the sofa and you guys can see that as well as a really nice refrigerator this is the contour line refrigerator 12 volt refrigerator by the way um and that's going to be a 11 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator now into the kitchen area okay you're going to notice that we do have a residential style pull down faucet as well as storage up top here for extra storage very large microwave okay this is a residential style microwave uh, as well as your oven three burner cooktop with the glass cover uh, and storage underneath and a countertop extension on the side cool features right all right guys so now into a little bit of a bathroom area here uh, you're going to notice on this side here guys the door actually closes across okay so you have the door closing here and then the door closing on the back side too so this whole bathroom area is kind of combined as one all right on this side here, we're going to have the vanity uh, as well as the uh, room over top um, for extra storage and storage below. So going into the bathroom, guys, you're going to notice that we do have a lot of cool features in here. Um, some storage over top of your toilet as well as a towel rack, toilet paper rack, um, another sink in here for another vanity, um, storage on the left side for towels, and then the radius shower on the inside of it. It's got the glass doors that squeeze shut. Uh, as well as the skylight over top of that. And last but not least, guys, we do have the master bedroom, okay? Now, you do notice that we have a slide out here uh, with your bed up front, uh, as well as um, USB charging ports on each side of the coach uh, for a little spot for you to set your phone on. Um, you do have the TV in here with storage over top. Um, and then walking into the little bit of a wardrobe area, you are going to notice that there is a lot of cool features in here too, okay? So you do have your big mirror as well as drawers underneath, deep drawers, I might add, and then finally a hanging room uh, and a little bit of room on the other side as well. So again, a lot of cool features on the inside of this coach. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a beautiful coach, uh, the Windsport 31C. Again, if you have any questions or anything like that or didn't get to see something that you really wanted to or whatever it is, guys, always feel free to call us at the number below. Do us a huge favor, guys. Uh, we're building. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook page. Uh, we would love doing these videos. We'd love to keep doing them for you. Uh, and then also, guys, as obviously, if you have any questions, again, call the number below. Or if you need to talk to me personally, guys, give me a call here at 937-843-2074. We'd love to help you guys out. Look forward to talking to you soon, and thanks for watching.
All right, let's talk about quality. Uh, obviously, right now, a lot of RVs are needing to be ordered. If you're, if you're getting an RV today, there's a chance you're not going to get it for another month or two months or three months, however long. could be even longer than that. Uh, <laughs> what is this? What it, Tim's giving me direction. What, what are you? Oh, you're talking about could be even longer than that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to discourage somebody. It could be 17 years before you get your RV. Good news is, no, it won't. So, silver lining. It'll be a lot sooner than 17 years. Yeah, you can rent an RV. You can, you can save money buying today and rent, maybe if you have to rent two times before you get your RV, and still save money if you buy today, on, on, uh, you know, depending on the increase of the RV. So, anyways, let's go back to quality. You think that a lot of these manufacturers would be like, all right, look, we just got to get stuff done and out the door to fill these, fill these uh, orders. And that's not what ha what's happening. Tim and I have been up to see these manufacturers. Uh, first of all, very impressive, these guys working on this stuff. It's so cool to see like actual humans building these RVs. I think you get better quality control if you have a human looking at the product while he's building it. So uh, what we've noticed is that they're still paying attention to detail. A lot of times in the past, they wouldn't do runs of a certain floor plan. Like they do this, and if you see the, the video, it's like just an assembly line where this big RV is running down a line and you got different people working in different areas, you know, the walls and then the ceiling and then the cabinets and then I don't know if it's in that order. But anyways, uh, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll, they'll be like, okay, this, this RV here is uh, floor plan A. And then the next one behind is like, oh, this is floor plan C. And the one behind that is floor pan, plan B. And it's just, it's changing every time. But what they're doing now is they're doing full runs of floor plans, which helps them uh, focus on quality. Like, they know, like, this is supposed to be this way on this floor plan, and we're doing it this way for the next 10 RVs. Uh, that's, that's good news. That's good news. And the other thing that you know that, like, quality is staying up there is the fact that they are still a little behind. I know it, it stinks that, you know, RVs are on back order, but if they were skimping out on quality, there wouldn't be a back order, if that makes sense. They're like, let's just get these out as quick as possible. So they still want you to be happy with your RV. And when you get an RV, and we're learning this, when you get an RV and you take it down the road for the first time and it's bouncing around the road, screws are going to come loose and stuff like that. That's normal. That's not a quality issue. That's just driving an RV down the road. But I can guarantee you right now, from what we've seen, quality is still top notch at these RV dealers or RV manufacturers. So rest assured that you're still getting a quality RV, especially when you go with RVW because uh, we make sure we make sure that the manufacturer we're getting from care about their product. Time for giveaways. Boom, that's what I'm giving away. I'm giving away two of these, a set of two of these. Hey, but what is that? A water bottle? Yes, it is. Kinda. It's a water bottle that you can actually open up and pour a little bit of water in there. But it also serves as a cool little safe. Like uh, if you take this to the beach, you put your valuables in there. You can put liquid in here. This top comes off, obviously. Screw that on the bottom. Put your valuables in there, like Cheez-Its or Cheetos, if those are valuable to you, and then put this on top. And with fluid in there and a little bit in there, it looks like a full bottle. But what's really going on is you got all your exciting stuff in there. Keys, maybe whatever the contents of your wallet is. Maybe fit a couple credit cards in there. But very cool. Much more deceptive, deceptive than shoving it into the bottom of your shoe, which everybody knows about. Text to win this. Text the word win to 833-717-0327, number 12. Number 12, the 12th person to text the word win to 833-717-0327 wins this. That number right there, you win the two water bottles. While we're waiting for that, we have a question that comes in every once in a while. People are like, what if I have the money to pay cash? Just pay cash and take my RV and go. First of all, wow, how awesome would that be? Uh, that would be great. If you wanna do that, fine, but let me tell you something. If you do that, there's a good chance, or there you are, missing out on that dealer reserve. Now, earlier we talked about this secret, this financing secret. Uh, when, when you finance through like RV dealership, or an RV dealership, they go to a bank and say, hey, we need to borrow this much money. When the RV dealer goes to that bank, that bank gives the RV dealer a commission, anywhere from $1,000 up to probably $10,000, depending on how big the RV is. 
So it, it makes total sense that we do that. Like if this RV dealership is bringing the bank money, let us give you some money for, for bringing us in this interest that we're going to make off this. So if you pay cash, you miss out on that because you're not getting that, that business from that bank. They're not going to pay you to just pay for your RV outright. So here's what you do. All you have to do on one of these mortgages, uh, for lack of better words, is pay for 12 months. So I'm going to throw a number out there. Let's say your RV is $100,000. Let's say you buy $100,000 and you have the cash to pay for it, right? Well, if you, if you, have the, if you get the loan, they're going to give you that dealer reserve, so you save that money. So let's say your payment is $500 a month. What you do is you split up, uh, you, you find out what the payment is. Let's say the payment is $500. So you take $500 and you're going to pay it for the last 11 months. What you do on that first month is pay $94,500, right? Does it make sense? So you pay that big chunk. Now all you do for the next 11 months is pay that $500. There'll be a little simple interest on that, maybe 150, 200 bucks, but what you're getting back in that dealer reserve is so much more. On $100,000, it could be $8,000 you get back and get off. So there's that to go ahead and pay, if you get the money to do it, pay as much off up to the, uh, the 11 months, get all that paid off, and then just pay for the next 11 months. And then it's paid off in a year and you got that dealer reserve. Hopefully that made sense to you. If you have more questions, you can call the guys here at RV Wholesalers. They can walk that, walk you through that. But that's the best way to get the best deal if you want to pay cash or if you have the funds to pay cash. Let's find out who our winner is. The 12th caller, Kevin Joyner. Congratulations. You won two of these water bottle safes. My advice to you is make sure you don't throw this away. You don't want to have your hundreds and thousands of dollars in there and then throw this away because you think it's trash or leave it there on the beach or sitting on a picnic table somewhere. Keep this with you. Uh, but man, what a cool place to hide stuff. So congratulations, Kevin Joyner. We have more stuff to give away a little later. Right now, I'm gonna get into another RV. Uh, let's go. What? I, don't, I don't know how to get out of here. It's gotta be a way out of here. I don't know what's behind here. I mean, we, we came in a car, David. Yeah, but there's got to be a quicker way back to RVW. I don't, I don't know if it's behind these machines. It might be. Looks like there's a hatch right here. So find out! The Virtual RV Show would like to thank our sponsors. Dish Outdoors, TV as flexible as your travel plans. Blue Ox, control trailer sway with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. Equalizer, the best protection for your journey. And RV Wholesalers, your home for the nation's premier RV service. Thank you to all of our sponsors. All right, I'm hanging out with George, manufacturing rep at the Cherokee line from Forest River. This is new to the Northeast location of RV wholesalers. Super stoked about that. But George, I want to ask you about like time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's hard to say like how long it's going to take to get an RV because it changes. Right. But what would you tell people that that call in and maybe this isn't in stock, but they want it? They need to jump in and order it right now and get it get it uh, going for them, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it's not in stock, then go ahead and, and get it on order because you know we do put a priority on the retails. Okay. So. Um, you know, we have a lot of uh, demand and a lot of backlog and stuff like that, but um, the retail units are going to get a, a priority in the scheduling. So, um, you know, the longer they wait, um, you know, the further out they're going to be um, if they're going to wait for a unit to mm -hmm. arrive on the lot. So lock it in now. And I don't know if like a lot of people are just thinking like, I'm not going to order it now. I'm just going to wait till they're fully stocked again at RV wholesalers mm -hmm. or wherever they're getting their RV from. And that's just not going to happen until things change big time, I'm assuming. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, you know, the demand for RVs are at an all time high right now. And, uh, you know, RV manufacturers, you know, we're, we're you know, putting out um, more and more RVs, but, um, you know, demand is uh, right. uh, outstripping supply right now. Mm -hmm. And something for you guys to think of with RV wholesalers is that you can lock in your price today. So prices, you know, prices go up on everything, absolutely everything. You can lock in your price today. So if you want, this gray wolf rv right now and you call rv and put your thousand dollars down you get today's price if if 
you get your RV three months from now and it's gone up a couple thousand dollars, you're paying the price today. That's from RV wholesalers. That's another reason to jump in right now. Uh, but George, thanks for, uh, thanks for filling us in. We appreciate yeah. it. All right, hanging outside, another XLR Nitro with Eric going to walk us through this. Uh, it's a toy hauler. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get into that a little later. Yeah, yeah, toy hauler. Uh, office. Office. Trailer. Uh, uh, aquarium. Didn't somebody uh, have, like... A, I feel not not an aquarium, but wherever they keep birds. I, I an aviary. Story. Aviary, yeah. I mean, that was actually my customer. Oh, it was okay. Yeah, they yeah. had they had uh, nine parrots. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and, yeah. And they keep true, them back here. True story. They're out, they're out in Pennsylvania. Wow. Yeah. Well, cool. So let's talk about the outside of this yeah. monster. Uh, you know, of course we. Uh, I, I'm all about nitros. I, I love them. Uh, they're 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 beautiful inside and out. Uh, this one is what you see is in the standard color okay. but there's I, I believe there's like uh, four or five different color options that you can do this wow. in for a full body paint uh, I mean as I said it, it, you know talking about other toy haulers I mean when you get into something like a nitro the, the options are just endless yeah. aftermarket is is widely available too if you okay. want to just deck it out however you want and XLR is just do they just do toy haulers. Yes, so they toy haulers do just do, are, are the only thing that XLR does. Yeah. Uh, so, needless to say, they, they're they pretty good at it. Yeah. Um, now, one thing that you see back here is that you see the, the garage entry door uh, that goes right into the garage. So, when the, you know, whenever the kids yeah. are... Uh, you know, anybody comes back in off the trail and they got mud, it's they can right. they can peel off in there, so they don't have to track it through the whole uh, trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, you get uh, you get two huge awnings, um, one back here, and then you get a bigger one up towards the front. All LED lighting underneath, of course. Um, you have um, auto level, uh, the ground control auto level, mm -hmm. more ride three thousand suspension. Um, so and these are uh, uh, the uh, the torsion axles, um, and moving up forward, you get your outside entertainment area where you can hang a TV, mm -hmm. speakers, cable outlets, anything you need to do out here to all have fun. That huge uh, awning, all underneath the massive awning. Yeah. So um, one of the one of the things I really like about a nitro is that they they think about it all. They, they want a trailer that you can take the whole family, invite some friends over, and it's just an entertaining kind of trailer where, you know, a, a, anything you want to do, you can, you can do it in here. Right. And, or out here, you uh -huh. know, watch the game, you know, underneath the massive awning because it might be a little bit soggy outside. Right. You know, so, I mean, it, it, it's all thought about by uh, the engineering department over there at XLR. You know, customers talk, they listen, they make it happen. It's good. So, um, moving up forward here is uh, you get uh, big pass-through storage. We have some boxes in there to show. Now, these, those boxes, are, they're pretty long, and they, uh, you, it just goes to show that you got plenty of space in here to put whatever you need, um, you know, fishing poles. Uh, uh, maybe you want to bring a, a second generator because there's an option on these that you can build in a generator. Okay. Um, and, um, and, and, and you'll have plenty of space for all of it. Okay. Now, the big slam baggage doors, yep, you just kind of shut it there, yep. and it, it's super easy, not a big problem at all. Okay. Now, um, this one in particular does have a generator. I, I actually want to crawl under here and show you. Okay. So this one is the is the 5500 Yamaha generator. Uh, it's uh, it's an inverter technology generator, mm -hmm. so it's gonna have uh, it's gonna have cleaner power. Uh, this thing actually has remote start. That you can have like a key fob. It's, oh, it's really? remote start, okay. so you can start. You know, saying, "Oh shoot, you know, um, I'm too busy over here uh, drinking beer. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go over here inside and, uh -huh. and and start it." So you know, hey. 
let me just hit that remote start. Um, you know, it, it, these things were actually tested in, out in the Mojave. Uh, one cool feature about them is that they run really cool. So they don't overheat. They actually tested these things out in the Mojave for several weeks on end, and they ran into no overheating issues. Wow. That's yeah. impressive. So, yeah, I mean, XLR, you're getting it all. All right. Should we take a look inside? Yeah, definitely. Right. This is yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, when you walk in here, it's just, you know, one thing you don't really get in a, in a toy hauler is a nice... Uh, homey feel, uh -huh. you know, and in here you get a whole lot of homey feel. Yeah. You know, you get your recliners over here, your Thomas Paine furniture, all of those recline, by the way. And even the center? Even the center. Okay. So, uh, you get your nice big area over here for your, uh, for a pretty large a TV. Big TV. And yep. Especially when you're sitting, you know, only that far away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you know, to... You know, pollute your brain nice and good. Right, right. You know, like like what your mom and dad told you. Yeah, yeah. Too close. Yeah. But, uh, you're you know. your so, eyes you said that close. Yeah, so, uh, really, you know, this setup is, is to entertain 100%. I mean, even, you know, uh, everybody's over here, so mom can watch, watch the kids right. behave themselves. Yeah. While she's, uh, or she, or even dad's over here making, making up some dinner or lunch, you know, nice solid countertops to repair everything, uh, deep stainless steel sink. Uh, a lot of cabinet space. Yeah, I like this. I like the, the detail where you get the centerpiece that sticks out a little bit. It just looks nice. Yes, yes. It, it is very nice, and it's all with frosted glass, uh -huh. uh, so everything looks good. Um, you know, one other thing in a toy hauler that you, you don't really get is you don't, you don't get a lot of storage space. Mm -hmm. But in here, as you see, there's a ton of storage space. It's storage space above the garage. Yeah, there, there's a there, or or, or a, a bed. You can sleep up there. Yeah. There's a there's a mattress up there. It's a loft. Okay. Um, you know, and, and over here you have even more storage uh, with uh, with these cabinets, pretty deep cabinets, frosted glass as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, as far as a toy hauler goes, this this one and the the size layout that it is, this thing's, you know, as as we said, it's only about forty feet. Uh -huh. So you get a ton of storage space in this thing, just in the kitchen area. I was gonna say, it's, I don't think there's any such thing as too much storage space, but there is a lot of storage space. You get everything under here, mm -hmm. drawers, this this up here, this uh, drawer down here. Yep. All of this, this up here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, this this uh, yeah, and and uh, one thing that XLR is doing new is there is this is their new fridge okay. that they're putting in the nitros. So it's uh, it's a bigger fridge than what was in there before. Mm -hmm. um, so they uh, you know they they managed to squeeze in a bigger refrigerator without sacrificing space anywhere else in the 351. Okay. So that that's uh, that's a big feature, you know. Cu one thing that XLR is really good at is, you know, customers say I want, I want, I want, and they do. Yeah. So that's always been the thing customer. with the with the nitro. It's always like, hey, I want that bigger refrigerator. Well, you got it. It's great. It's great. All right, should we step back here to the garage? Oh yeah. So my personal favorite area of uh, of any toy hauler, of course, uh, because I'm just a garage kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, is is coming in here to be able to, um, you know, to work on work on ATVs, mm -hmm. dirt bikes, or uh, really anything, or just uh, you know sit back here and just you know and just, or just and just watch the scenery. Right. Uh, you know, it's a party room. If you if you if you don't have toys, it's a party room back. Yeah, here. and actually, uh, a customer of mine out in uh, out in Virginia, he just uh, he bought a, a different uh, nitro, but um, you know he he works in tech and you know he they're going to be living full time in that thing. Uh huh. But he basically turned that whole garage space into an office. Uh, wow. You know, so so his wife doesn't have to hear him on the phone. Was his yeah. was his thing? And how cool is an office that opens up to the back, yeah. and you have a, yeah. a patio out back? I mean, yeah. this would be this would be a good place to have. Yeah, an office. and and he ordered the three season doors that you see back uh -huh. there. This is an option on the on the nitro it's line. Sharp. Yeah, they, they you know they have the nice tinted glass where you can lower the windows and get that breeze rolling in. 
or you can uh, you can close them up to where you can just get the light coming in, but not if it's cool outside. Uh, and of course, as you see, it opens up as a door to go out to the patio. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people deck these things out. Um, you know, I've seen people that have a 351, and then uh, I believe the company More Ride actually makes a whole like tent thing that goes over really that, i mean that we we don't we, wow. we don't have that here but you know like there's options that you can do even afterwards like, to, so it was like aftermarket type yeah stuff aftermarket that wow. you can deck a nitro out pretty pretty solid see i uh, feel like we need to change the name from toy haulers because there's so many other options you can do there's so many other toy. options and uh i mean you, you think about it i mean what what can you do with a toy hauler? And I it's it's not, I mean what can't you do yeah. with a toy hauler? I, I mean it's basically it's, a, an extra room on yeah. the back of the thing to do anything you want. Yeah, including laundry. Yeah. Oh yeah, there with, you go. You know, with, <laughs> yeah. it's just a laundry room. Yeah. We just, with, with we your, just wanted a really big yeah. laundry room, so we yeah. got a toy You know, with uh, with, you know, with, even with the washer and dryer prep, it's got a half bath back here. Uh huh. You know, which is perfect. You know, for when the kids. Uh, come in and there's you know there's mud all over their feet. Uh, they they get it on this uh, super easy to clean rubberized flooring in here, and they can go straight to that bathroom, peel them off, and get into something clean before they track it all yeah. through there and, and and get everything dirty. Yeah. That's one thing about having another door back here too. It's a nice feature on the side to have that door uh, right. for you know when. You don't want all that mud getting through here, uh, you know. See, so they can all come in here, get a fresh pair of clothes on, and then walk through the trailer. Yeah, and no matter like no matter what you're doing, uh, when you're out camping, you're out in nature, so you're gonna get a little dirty. Whether you're just hanging out mm -hmm. or you're out mudding around and on a toy, it's it's always nice to have something like that. Oh yeah, you know well, with. You know, like me and my cousin and and his son. You know, we we all have dirt bikes. Uh -huh. and, you know, whenever we're whenever we're coming back in off the trails, I mean, anybody watching this knows that talking trail and dirt bike uh -huh. knows that you know we've got about two inches thick of mud all over us. <laughs> so it's uh, it, it's very nice to have something like this to to be able to easily keep clean and keep all right. the dirt out of there. Now I noticed something back here that I, I've never noticed before, and it may not be what I think it is. Um, these little, these little things right here. Does this come with a like a ladder that you? What are these little, the little hooks under there? So that's for uh, that. That's part of a patio kit okay. that you can get for okay. uh, for this nitro. It's actually for a staircase. Okay, that's yeah. That's what I'm a ladder, yep. like a staircase, just to yep. make it easier. And okay. it has a handrail and everything that you can. Uh, you know, it's like a nice swinging porch door here. Right. Uh, that you could just walk right in and out off the patio. Cool. Um, you know, and I, and um, one thing I forgot to talk about in here is. Uh, you know the bedding setup back here. Uh, not only can you do everything else, but you know one thing that I talk about with even larger families. You know one thing I will always recommend for you know like say a family of seven or eight. You know one thing that I'm always going to recommend to them is a toy hauler because now with with the bunk room back here you have one spot, two spots, uh -huh. and then you know you can sleep two kids up there. Yeah. So this whole garage space, and you even have room to put down a couple of cots if they want to bring their friends with them. Yep. I mean, you have all the space in the world so much space to, right to, you know, for a larger family, a toy hauler is the way to go. I mean, as you, as you said, mm -hmm. we, we should really start thinking of different names besides toy hauler. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we really do. Is that, a, is that an awning above us? Yes. So it does have an awning over yep. the po uh, yep. porch. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so this is a part of the whole patio package yeah. back here. So. The stairs, the awning, the three season doors, the railing, all that stuff. Uh, it, it's it, it's it's pretty smoky yeah, deal of, yeah. a, of a package to get. Great. And of course, I'm assuming most people know this obviously raises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. So this is this is called the Happy Jack system. So um, the the top bed will stow all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you can see, the tracks there. Um, these two uh, sofas here, they'll fold flat 
uh, that'll come up under here and raise and lower the bed. Okay. Or you can get this with two queen beds and, and get rid of, if you want just two queen beds, because that's what size the spunk is. Yeah. You can get rid of the, the two sofas down here and get another bed okay. to have two queen beds. All kinds of options. Oh, yeah. I mean, there, I mean, we could sit in this garage space and just talk forever about how many yeah. things you can do, option, aftermarket. Uh, it, uh, that's a whole show on that's all on its own. Cool. Should we head up front? Yeah. All right. Now, one thing that we were talking about with all the mud and stuff like that, uh, something that the Nitro uh, has in, in, I believe, all of their trailers is that it has the central vac system right here. Yeah. One other thing to really minimize the amount of dirt that comes into this thing is that XLR... In, in their trailers, they pride themselves on having no carpet. Okay. All nitros are carpet free. So. I never really noticed that. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you know, to think about it, like if you bring your dog along, you know, that brand new carpet carpet isn't always necessarily the healthiest thing for you know, right. say a dog or a cat. Uh, so you know, in a nitro right here, and I know a lot of our customers out there will really like the fact that it has no carpet whatsoever in this whole unit. Uh, so, um, but yeah, to keep it clean, central back system, you just kick that little thing up right there, it sucks it all in. <laughs> and I've, I've used that on one of them beforehand, it's super cool. Yeah. Again, there's so many things in RVs that I'd like to have in my own house. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Should we look at the bathroom here? Mm-hmm. That's a big shower. Yeah. So it's a very big shower, you have your huge skylight, mm -hmm. um, one thing to notice, uh, to take note of in, uh, in, in these showers is that it's a one-piece shower. Okay. Meaning that it, it, the, normally what you get in a big toy hauler is a two-piece shower. Mm -hmm. So what's the benefit of a one-piece shower is that water will never have a chance of getting where it doesn't getting belong. behind the... Now, don't get me wrong, the two-piece showers, they, you know, they've come a long way and they have a lot of overlapping space. Uh -huh where, you know, it's unlikely to get water where it's not supposed to be, but that one-piece shower is just that extra little bit to make it feel like home. Yeah. You got a nice seat in here for the waiting area for the next person to take the shower. Yep. So you step out, this person steps up and showers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you cycle them through. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me of the military. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, up here... Beautiful, beautiful bedroom. Um, yep, the the wardrobe here is in its own slide out, so you know you you don't you don't get stuck with just those typical side of the bed wardrobes. Makes I it mean, feel a lot more open yes. and not yep. closed and, in back and in. And with your outlets on each side, you know you have place to put your phone, you have place to put your glass of water, uh, or possibly even a CPAP, mm -hmm. um, you know, stuff like that. You have storage above the bed with lighting underneath. Uh, you also have book reading lights. Um, and and, and, all at, and all at the front here is in that windshield. Yeah. You know, so, like, you wake up first thing in the morning, and, you know, depending on where you have this thing parked, that could be a pretty awesome wake up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, king bed, uh, I mean, these things, these things are decked. Out. I mean, the nitro, it, it never disappoints. And anybody that ever has one, they, you know, they they know that yeah. they're getting a quality product. Now, um, one thing that they added for uh, 2021 is they actually added another, uh, second. yeah, another, a second uh, vacuum right here in the bedroom. Uh -huh. Because most fifth wheels, you don't get that. Yeah. Not even in some of the higher end fifth wheels, you don't get, you don't get an upper level um uh, you don't get an upper level vacuum, mm -hmm. so you have to like dust pan it or sweep it off the bottom, off the steps to, <laughs> kind of get it, off the to get it in the lower end. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, but hey, as I said, people talk, XLR listens, and they and they make it happen. That's great. So, very nice unit. Um, I mean, I, I as I said before, we can just we can talk forever right. about what you can do, uh, option wise, aftermarket wise with a nitro. It's just you know, it's, it's, a, a, it's a good canvas. This should have, uh, or could have, opened your eyes to uh, a brand new option for you. Like, you may be thinking, all right, it's a toy hauler. I'm not interested because I don't have any toys. 
lesson to be learned here is you don't need toys to have one of these. It's just an extra room that you can do anything with. So now you have even more options. So it's something else to look to uh, if you're thinking about getting a, a good size RV for your family. If you're going to do that, you need to come to RV Wholesalers and do it right here. Hey guys, again, we really appreciate you hanging out with us today. If you've watched the show in the past, you know that for a lot of us here at RVW and the Virtual RV Show, uh, faith is a big part of who we are, uh, and I want to talk to you about that. I understand that also in the chat, every once in a while when we talk about our faith, it offends some people. I, I apologize that we're offending you with just talking about our faith. I wish it didn't, um, only because being offended is awful. I try to not get offended by anything, but... Um, I do, I do. I just want to share with you my faith. And you can tune me out if you want. I, I don't care. I wish you wouldn't, but I, I, that's, that's cool. I get that completely. Um, with my faith, I know a lot of times, especially in media, you see people like the, the right-wing Christian, and it just it gets a bad name because I believe that a lot of times people aren't doing it right. Uh, for a lot of people, their relationship with Christ is more about just being right and telling you what's right and wrong. And for me... It's not about that. It's about this relationship and getting through life with, um, with this peace that uh, I'm going to be all right in the end. I don't know how else to put it. I, I, my life, I feel, is better because of my relationship with Christ. Uh, I've been through some rough times. My wife has lost family members that she's told me before. She's like, I don't understand how people could get through life without that relationship with Christ. Um, so it's, 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 it's more than just more than just uh, like what what comes next, although that's a big that's a big point. But it's also about like right now in the moment, living a life that can be abundant and full and joyful. Uh, I don't know I don't know what else to say. If you haven't started that relationship with Christ or or you're you're considering it, I can only say that for me, it's it's a huge part of who I am and what I do every day. And I I fail from time to time. I drop the ball. I do stupid stuff. But man. I serve a God that I believe loves me wholeheartedly and died on a cross for me so that I could spend eternity with him. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, if you haven't prayed that prayer and you're like, I need that peace, David, that peace that you seem to be experiencing, uh, I can walk you through a prayer right now that would begin that relationship with Christ. And if you mean it from the bottom of your heart, I believe your life starts to change immediately. I also think that if you're out there and you're like, I, I need something different in my life. I'm searching for something. I've got this hole in my heart that I need filled, um, but I got to get my life right first. I got to stop doing this and this and this. Don't, don't think that way, man. Christ wants that relationship with you just as you are. And if there's stuff that he needs to help you with to get out of your life, he can help you do that. So if you're at the point in your life right now where you're like, I need to pray this prayer. I need this relationship. Just repeat this prayer with me. It's super simple. And, uh, I honestly believe your life will change after that. So it's just a simple saying, God, uh, I don't know exactly everything about you, but I know that I need you in my life. I recognize that I'm a sinner. I was born into sin. We all sin, uh, but I want you to forgive me of those sins. Help me with those. Help me get better and, and avoid those. But I invite you right now to live in my life and uh, take control of it and lead me in the way that you know I should be led. God, I, uh, I surrender my life to you. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I believe you did that. I believe you rose three days later. Uh, take control of my life, God. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. It's a, it's a salvation prayer. It says, hey, I know I sin. We all sin. If you say you don't, you're probably a liar, which would be a sin. Um, <laughs> so, uh, guys, if, if you prayed that prayer and, and you want to talk to somebody, feel free to chat us up or email the folks at RV Wholesalers. They would love to send you information. Uh, but if you prayed that prayer, the next thing to do is just find a, a church, a Bible-teaching church, and get involved, get in a, a small group or something like that. But guys, I promise you, it will change your life. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, if you're watching and you're thinking, I've got a specific RV that I want. I, I don't want to sit through the motor coaches and all this stuff. There's, there's one I want. I'll tell you what you can do. You know, virtualrvshow.com slash schedule or just go there and click on schedule and you will see a schedule of what we're going to show today uh, on the virtual RV show so that you have an idea of when you need to be back in front of your computer. You can keep the computer on all day and maybe you'll see something else that you like that you didn't know you were going to like 
But if you need to know specifically when certain RVs are going to happen, go to virtualrvshow.com slash schedule and get all the information right there. Hanging out with Nick and Wakarusa, right? Wakarusa, See, Indiana. I'm from Pataskala, Ohio, so okay. I still have that like, Indian name. So I should be good at saying Wakarusa, but I yeah. sometimes forget how to say it. Wakarusa. Okay. Wakarusa. That's a pretty cool name. Uh, but we're talking about RVs, and this one is the Wildwood FSX. And uh, Nick, you going to walk us through it? Yeah, absolutely. This has probably been uh, one of RV Wholesaler's best-selling units as far. It's the case for most of my dealers. Okay. This trailer went crazy uh, post-COVID, right at the beginning especially. If you had an SUV or something that maybe wasn't a conventional you know, mm -hmm. truck tow vehicle, right. you could still fit this behind it. It's okay. under 4,000 pounds, and we crammed every feature we could into a little 18-foot box, and nice. that makes this kind of special. So. Yeah. Yeah, the outside's great. Again, 18-foot box. Uh, the biggest feature you're seeing under this huge awning, 15-foot uh, awning, is going to be your outside kitchen. Uh, usually an outside kitchen indicates bunks are inside, and in this case it is. You've got, <laughs> you've got your, uh, your refrigerator, your LP griddle. Uh, we've given you a quick connect, a bunch of USBs, everything you're going to need if you're out here hanging out and need a spot for stuff. On the back side, you've got uh, hot, cold showers for the kids or the dogs off. Again, trying to give you every little feature, just put it in a really tiny little box. Right. Yep. You know what? I don't think I knew. I never even thought about that hot, cold shower. I just always oh, assumed sure. it was cold water, but it makes sense to be hot water. Depends on how much you love your kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. So the Murphy bed, it's nice to have the bed out of the way to get more space during the day. Yeah, again, we have to make this thing as versatile as possible. To, for us to get this in a condensed footprint, uh -huh. things have to do multiple things. Right. So you've got a nice sofa here during the day. When you're sitting here, you're looking opposite the TV. Yeah. And then obviously a big dinette. And actually, we call this a U-shaped dinette. Okay. Where you're going to be able to sit four or five people, depending on the size. Yeah. Uh, but extra, extra seating room in a, in a small camper like this is really, really key. Yeah. So... And that, of course, breaks down to a bed, so you can have people sleep here. It would. Here, so you would end up with somewhere between a twin and a queen, uh, queen is how that kind of lays out. Okay. This would be a t traditional RV queen. Um, storage white below there, star storage up above, storage on the side as well. Great. Um, and then big bunks as we look to the back as far as where are the other sleeping options. You've actually got what we consider a full-size double-over-double. What that mm -hmm. means is 48 inches wide, so okay. 4 feet wide, 6 feet long. Okay. So that's an adult-sized bunk. A lot of times in these small ones you see these Little. real skinny, like 2-foot bunks. And that's fine for tiny kids. This is going to fit a, a normal-sized you know, adult or, or big kid as well. Right. Nice feature. In the bathroom, you've got actually what we call a three-piece bath. Again, in, in these small ones, it's tough to fit everything in. So you've got your shower, you've got your vanity, medicine cabinet, idea. cabinet Let's toilet. Give folks, an idea. Yeah, you've got everything you need. Um, really, not that small of a bathroom. All things no, considered, it's all right. It's, it's everything you need. Plenty of room to, uh, like I said, I'm six foot. You got a, a little more space here for folks taller than me. Uh, some storage underneath the sink, and of course, like a medicine cabinet here. Little corner sink, everything you need. You're right, you, you're, you, it's a smaller space, but you're squeezing stuff in that you, I shouldn't even say squeezing, because it doesn't feel like I'm like we're squeezed sure. in here. A lot of obviously people, a little smaller. But. Yeah, when, when we talk to folks, a lot of them say, we want the same content when we looked at the outside kitchens and these Murphy beds and even the big AC that we use on a, on a large trail mm -hmm. trailer. We just put it in a small box. People don't want small things in the small box. They right. want the big size stuff, just want to be able to tow it. And that's okay. what we're hoping to give them here. That's good. Yeah, decent kitchen. You've got a little extra countertop space, a two burner uh, cooktop here as well. You've got a split style sink with sink covers, mm -hmm. um, exhaust vent for all your all your cookings, and then a microwave and some storage. Is that a regular microwave or a convection? This would be a regular microwave. Okay. Um, we don't really have room for an oven per se in right. this one. Um, so what about like extended packages on these things? So again, back to you know campsites full up or people wanting to camp in unconventional areas. Mm -hmm. An option that we offer that's starting to get really popular is that big 190 watt solar panel. Um, that'll power a 30 amp controller and two batteries on this one. Again, a camper this small, you get a lot of extra days out yeah. of that. Depending on how you use it, you may not ever run out of juice. So right. that's been a popular option that more and more people are opting for. And then we also offer this in a fiberglass exterior. Okay. Um, you know, if you like the look of this, great. If you like the look of that other one we saw, that's called a uh, platinum package. Mm -hmm. That's going to give you a different exterior right. look to the unit. So both those things are, are pretty popular. Great. Yeah. 
All right, thanks for walking us through. Look, guys, if you want this RV, stop waiting. Stop waiting. You may not, we may not have it in stock right now, but if you get in today, you put $1,000 down, you get today's price. So uh, my goal is for you to get into the RV of your dreams, and this very well may be it. All right, I'm back with the man, the myth, the legend, David Durnell. You can make biscuits right here. It's hot. It is really I'm hot. I'm telling you. Yeah. And flies are awful. They're, they're right around wonderful, here. yeah. We need one of those hangy Yeah, just the things. strips everywhere. Yeah. So let's talk about what's going on on RVW. There's a lot of expansion mm -hmm. happening, right? Yep. It's kind yeah, of exciting. We, we uh, opened up Texas, mm -hmm. uh, Dodge City. Uh, so if you're in Texas, go check that out. Really close to Dallas. And now we've just uh, bought a uh, store in Mansfield, Ohio. And it was a place that was already in existence. You yes, kind sir. of bought it and took over. Yep. And uh, we were able to pick up the Cherokee line, which we're very right. excited about. Showing a couple of those tonight. Able to get the uh, Sabre line as well. But the biggest thing is it's going to give us the ability to, to service our customers in northeast Ohio. Okay. So, you know, they, they don't always want to drive, you know, uh, two and a half, three hours to get here. It makes sense to me. Right. Uh, but now they'll be able to drive there a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we try to do is pinpoint where our uh, customer uh, clusters are, right? Right. And then we can we can put a, a dealership there and be able to get them serviced quick and easy mm -hmm. without uh, them having to travel. So we're also looking at the rest of Ohio right now and figuring out uh, where else we need to locate. We're actually in talks uh, to cover southeast Ohio right now with a store. Okay. Any place else around the country you're thinking about? Oh, yeah. Can? No, there's, uh, you know, more. In, uh, we had actually signed on a piece of land in Florida, and then the uh, county wouldn't change the zoning. Oh, crap. So that just fell through. So we're, we're back, you know, searching in Florida again okay. uh, for a store. Las Vegas? Because I would move to Las Vegas uh, if you I would wanted move, me to. I too. would move to Las Vegas, yeah. too, yeah. Yeah. I'd probably live there for like three days and then move back. Yeah, yeah. That's all I want to do is live <laughs> there for three days, once or twice yeah. a month. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, let's talk about anything else you want to talk about going on right now. Price increases. Uh, uh, the, the, the price increases keep coming. Uh huh. They're not getting better. Right. Uh, they're getting worse. Uh, are they all real? I don't know. You'd have to ask the factory that. Yeah. But uh, there's there's too many of them. And, you know, we see a lot of people, another phenomenon going on right now is people don't want to wait. Right. Right. I, I want to camp now. I want to. I want to still, you know, what they tell you is, hey, I missed all 2020 mm -hmm. because of COVID. Right. Uh, you've almost missed all 2021. Yeah. So they're desperate to find a trailer, but the problem is we're seeing people pay 20 and 30 thousand dollars more mm -hmm. for the same exact it. unit. You know, and and some of the big box stores are really gouging people. Some of the little dealers are gouging people because they aren't getting anything. Yeah. So when they get one, they really go after them and. You know, the, the biggest problem I see is number one, you got to pay tax and interest on that twenty, thirty thousand dollars, right? The guy the other day said, No, no, I'm only ten. <laughs> so yeah. you're gonna pay tax and interest on ten thousand right. dollars more. Plus then when you go to sell it, you gotta find someone. Remember these things have already shot up in price like crazy. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna have to find someone to pay you ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars more. Yeah. When you go to sell it, here's the thing. If the price increases stop, what do you do? Yeah. You're so upside down. How do you ever get out right. of this thing? You know, and what, what we've been telling people is, look, we, we all miss 2020, right? Mm -hmm. You're missing 2021 now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost, what is the date? It's July 28th. Yeah, we're almost August. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're rapidly approaching. If you want to camp next year, you should buy right now. If it gets in early and you can use it, great. Yeah. Right? If it doesn't, it gets in next spring, you know you're camping. And I get that. I mean, there's been plenty of stuff where I want it now. It's, it's a perfect example. You go to a store, maybe at a mall, and you you want something there. They don't have your size. I'm like, well, we can order it for you. They It'll be three wait. days. Like, well, yeah. do you have one up in Cleveland? Because I'll go up there to get it because right. I want it right now. And you yeah. spend the gas money to get up there. And oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I totally I get, get it. it. You want what you want a, now. Yeah, I get it a thousand percent. We just took a, uh, and we mentioned it earlier, but we just took a, a two-week, 6,000-mile motorhome trip. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get a motorhome. Yeah. You know, it's like, right. this is kind of, I mean, it's kind of funny. You, 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 know, you own you an own RV sales. Place, yeah. you, you've been doing business with these factories for 25 years, and they can't build me one. <laughs> right. And it, it literally, they moved my date, I think, 11 times. Wow. You know, so customers are like, well, we're not getting updates. If 
they don't want to update anyone because like with me they moved it 11 times mm -hmm. if they moved a customer's date 11 times it's, it comes back, it looks bad on you. Well, well at some point, not your people fault, think but that yeah. you're not being honest, or right. they think the factory's incompetent. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and while we were on the road, we had uh, part of our refrigerator went out, you know, part of the leveling system stopped working, et cetera, et cetera. It's crazy that you can't get a refrigerator. Yeah. You yeah. can't. I, I was just going to buy, like, a little small dorm reefer to get us through until uh -huh. we got it fixed, right? And um, there aren't any. Wow. Well, yes. I know. I went out looking for a printer cartridge for my printer. Yeah. A standard HP printer cartridge, and I had to order it online because I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm not right. sure if that's. I'm assuming that's the problem. They just, you don't. They don't have product, and it took yeah. a week and a half to get right. printer cartridge. Well, and see, I'm worried now. I just, you know, found out California is back to mask mandates. Now Nevada is going back uh, to mask. A bunch of states are going back to the mask uh -huh. mandate. Here's the thing. What's next? So. If you're sitting home and you don't have a camper, order a camper. Because as all this comes back at us again, mm -hmm. people are gonna people that thought, yeah, I'm gonna buy a camper and then got out because they heard oh it's gonna be a few months. Yeah. Right? Or hey, the price went up nine percent, whatever. They're gonna be running right back in because they're not gonna take the chance to miss another year's vacation. Yeah. You know, and, and the thing was, I'll be honest, we were on the road with the with the motorhome. We had total freedom. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it was just freaking awesome. Right. You know, you didn't, you weren't worried about walking into a restaurant. You, you, you can't get a seat. You yeah. know, there was no one saying, sir, are you vaccinated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to answer you. Right. No, but, I mean, it, it really was. And, you know, you find yourself outside, fresh air, tons to do, everything you want to do. You're not worried about COVID. You're not worried about any, you know, and, and there's a, Someone is leading a very big misinformation campaign about national parks right now. Okay. Very interesting. Everything I read before we left was bumper to bumper traffic. You wait three, four hours to get in right at the uh -huh. gate. Right. Um, nope. No problems. We we pulled up every time. Went right through. We pulled up early in the morning. We pulled up. Wow. Uh, late in the morning. We did early afternoon. One park we did late evening. Uh huh right in every one of them and they're like you know yellowstone is bumper to bumper and yellowstone has like this huge loop uh -huh. okay and then a road right through the middle we never waited to move it was always flowing it was always wow wide open you know um, it, it was busy but it wasn't bumper to bumper. so there's like yeah. this misinformation campaign like to get people to not camp it's really weird that's crazy because we didn't see any of that but again guys if you want to camp next year order now just just order now, lock in your price. It'll be price protected. Get the thing on order so next spring you can camp. Because what a lot of people are doing is we keep hearing this. Well, I'm going to wait because the price will come down. <laughs> if they drop the price now, they would face such a class action lawsuit. Okay. Because all these people would be in these things. And, and let's say they drop the price five grand. Yeah. How they ever get out of them. Right. The banks would go nuts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. They're, they're not going to drop the price. Not only that, the Fed just came out today and said inflation is going to get worse. Jeez. So you're best off to jump in now, lock in the price, and make sure you're camping late this year, early next year. Okay. All right. So there you go. Some information, some hard-hitting information, but some good information also. We, It's not like you're just trying to sell RVs. You're no, letting we're, we're, people know that if you want your RV, you got to jump in right. today. And the good news is the, the interest rates are staying down. Yeah, I did read that today. Yeah. That's a great thing. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, there's some real pluses to buying right now. And, you know, we, we don't, we hate to upset people, but we always want to tell people what's going on in right. the industry. You right. know, that way they're not surprised. Okay. It's good to know. All right, we need some uh, cheering up. So let's get Trailer Swift to do it for us. Sounds good. Summer 69.
guys. Tim Richardson hanging out with David McCreary in Elkhart, the capital of RV world. Yeah. This has been kind of fun. It has. I brought him along because he has to do the dirty work. Like, he's the guy that sneaks in. Uh, and gets, <laughs> gets shots of the 2022 <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Because I don't care. You can yell at so, me all you want. We I wanted to bring funny. you this 2022 footage so that we can uh, give you a little sneak peek. So yeah. Go One thing, thing they're adding is yeah. the sound of crickets. I don't know if you can hear that in background, but I'm going to find me a cricket <laughs> and I'm going to kill it. And then eat it. That's how mad I am about that. I'll go find the cricket and then I'll go look at the 2022. All right, let's go, guys. Okay. All right, so, so we got an outdoor TV. Yeah, we got an outdoor entertainment system with the with the sound bar. Uh, for a couple smaller coats, this thing's perfect. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of storage space, uh, nice chrome wheel covers, uh, nice high gloss finish, uh, graphics. You know, they kind of um, brightened everything up. You know, on the on the storage, and nothing's too dark like it used to be. Mm -hmm. So you know, you you got plenty of storage, uh, or you know, it, it could be a maybe a mother-in-law suite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, depends. <laughs> You know, so, uh, yeah, you got this nice, massive awning up here. Almost stretches the whole length of the coach. Yeah. So, uh, everything out here about the exterior on the 4 Winds 22E mm -hmm. is just everything that you could ever want. Yeah. Now, yeah, th this is wrap. Let me see if it was paint or a wrap. It is a wrap. This, 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 these are wrap graphics. But in the 4 Winds, you can get uh, body paint options. Okay. Uh, I think there's two or three. I'm going to say safely at two. There's two choices that you can get for full body paints on these. Yeah. Uh, pretty nice options. Of course, you always want to talk to your salesman and see what's available. Right. And maybe they have artist rendering from the manufacturer that they can send you if you don't have photos already. Okay. Very cool. So, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and check out inside. Jump inside. Now, this Tim and I back in, oh, it was our Christmas, our Christmas episode took a trip down to Nashville in one of these and it was pretty close to about this size. I think it was it was either this one or it's or it's twin layout that had the uh, dinette on this side if I remember correctly. I'm trying to think. I know that it actually had a back room for the bedroom. Right yeah, yeah. That, so I, I think it was the uh, oh shoot I can't remember the layout. That was a while ago you yeah, guys did yeah, that. Yeah it was December. Yeah it was but it was nice it was it was just nice being in class C like Tim drove the whole way, and I sat up here most time. At, at times, I would shoot something or record something, but I was back here working, maybe editing a video for yeah. the, the yeah. RV show, and it was, it was nice. Yeah, I mean, everything is is really roomy. I mean, as I said, you know, for, for a couple's uh, motorhome, this, mm -hmm. this thing is perfect. It's got everything you need. Yeah. You know, it's got residential fixtures. It's got nice big microwave, a lot of storage space, really, when you, when you look around. I mean... For a smaller coach, this thing has a lot of storage space. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what this reminds me of? This mm. might be the exact model that our friend on the last episode we had our buddy come up and cook for us, and I think this was the exact, the exact model he had. Yeah, I, I thought, remember him cooking on. I, this I thought it, I thought something like this was used recently. Yeah, that was, that was um, probably it. Yeah, so it's um, you know, it, it, it's just it's got everything a couple's ever gonna need. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys want to pack up, I mean, you saw the outside storage on this thing. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. Yeah. So you know, if if a couple just wants to take a whole year to travel around the country, yeah, I mean, it's got everything you, you got need it. to do it. You got what you need. Um, you know, decent amount of counter space. I mean, you got a countertop extension here. Um, this one has a uh, gas electric refrigerator. Uh, so. You can you can go dry camping in this thing. It has a generator on board. I mean, it mile long list. Yeah, <laughs> mile long list of stuff that this thing comes with. Well, let's take a look at this this bed back here, kind of. Yeah, it's almost like the uh, the bunks that they have in the corner, but and like a travel trailer, yeah. but it's it's this. So it'll be way, it'll be like a full camera back there. It'll be like a full size bed. So as I said again, perfect for a couple. You have uh, various charging ports um, up here in the cubby. You have storage spaces, uh, and you have a nice Max Air ventilation fan right above the bed. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, that's that's nice to have if you guys don't have power hookups for the air conditioner and things like that. So that Max Air fan is going to move a lot. Right. Um, you know, wardrobe over here. It's uh, actually that's that's about. 
I want to say about 18 inches deep mm -hmm. back here if you want to come and check that out. Yeah, you got a oh, yeah. hanger rod up there. I'm trying to stay out of the way here. I oh, swear yeah. I'm not lazy. I'm just staying down here so we can. But you need to, you need to do the shower. I mean, oh, that's you, right. you, you, you always, the, you always get the, the shower. In there. Yeah, all right, you got to go. go step up in the shower. I'm six foot. Again, I'm six foot. And all right, on this one, it's probably a good thing. There's a skylight here for me at six foot. But I've got plenty of room above my head mm -hmm. with, uh, with the skylight. So, again, plenty of room. You got the... the uh, cloth shower curtain mm -hmm. and uh what you also get you get that nice big ventilation fan up there right yeah. so what's what's good about the size of that is that you can actually swap that out and for an extra I, it's not an option that you can build in but the opening will accommodate for another max air fan oh, wow. if you wanted to put that in there okay so it's um it, it's kind of decked out really as a as a standard coach Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Thor Motor Coach, they always do a lot as to making something look extremely beautiful yeah. and very functional. Uh, so, you know, it's always going to be a win for me. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. I see the TV above the, above yeah. the drivers. Yeah. So, and, you know, without sharing any more stories about your wife like last month, <laughs> you know, uh, this would be perfect if you're, you know, you have a grandchild that wants to come along uh -huh. uh, and they can go and sleep they up the, here. Did the same thing on this one? They put the... Yep. It has the, like the... It has a little... That's the hard side. It's yeah. upside down. Is it? A, oh, yeah. It is yeah, upside you, down. You can't put the ladder here. <laughs> yeah. If you flip it over, these are going to be here for the yep. ladder. Yep. It is upside down. Yeah. But, um, and you see you get another Max Air fan yeah. right up here. So, I mean, realistically... This thing will move so much air through this coach that you won't even you won't even need to use AC half the time. Right. I mean, unless you're down in like Scottsdale or something, uh -huh. you know. But you know, if you're up around Colorado in the foothills of the mountains, so you just right. you just crack a window and turn those fans on, and right. you're never going to need AC in this. Uh, it's got some nice features like up here. You can get swivel seat options. You can get a booster seat option. Uh, you know, if somebody's a little bit shorter, there's a big pad that you can put down to set them up higher. Okay. Uh, Pioneer in dash entertainment system that has your backup camera, and you can also get heated mirrors with side view cameras as an option. Okay. This one doesn't have it, but you can get that built in. Uh, you know, of course, 4D series van chassis, seven three liter V8. I mean, it's miles of long list of what this thing comes with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, let's do another giveaway. Let me show you a video of what we're giving away. It's Passport America. Check this out. Passport America, it's 50% uh, off over 1,400 campsites across the country. How cool is that? Thank you, Passport America. They give us five of those to give away per virtual RV show. So thank you for that. We just want to get you guys out to national parks or out, out to uh, campgrounds to have a good time. So I'm going to take the first caller at 937-649. Turn my phone around here. 5970. 937-649-5970 and you're gonna get 50% off campgrounds, RV campgrounds. Looks like we got somebody on the line. Hello? Hello? Hey, who's this? This is Jennifer. Jennifer, congratulations, you just won the Passport America. Awesome, Boom. thank you. Just like that, have you ever won anything before? Uh, not on this kind of a show, no. Okay, awesome. <laughs> well, glad we could be your first uh, first chance at winning something this awesome. Where are you calling from, Jennifer? Thank you. I'm calling from South Carolina. Okay. What part of South Carolina? We go down to Surfside Beach once a year. Um, we are in Indian Land, which is close to the Fort Mill area. Okay. Closer to the Charlotte area. Yeah, gotcha. Well, awesome. Well, listen, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. I'm going to hand you off to Tim. He's going to get your information from you, and he will send that out to you. Thank you so much. Right. I appreciate Thank it. Thanks so much, Jennifer.
All right. All right. Bye. All right, there you go. Just like that, we've given away a Passport America. Again, thank you to Passport America for sending five of those to us that we could give away during the show. I'm going to throw it to a walkthrough. We're going to get through a Rockwood mini light right now. All right, the Rockwood Mini Light. Oh, this guys, this is the most popular floor plan, one of the most popular floor plans. This is a 2511S. So this is the 2509S, has the bunks in it. So as we see, we do have an outside kitchen with your grill. Mm -hmm. Dad's medicine cabinet. Yep. And then... It'd be nice. My mouth hurts if there was a Pepsi. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> looky there. <laughs> and then on all Rockwoods, you also get standard with the outside griddle, like a Blackstone. Um, and then your prep table all hooks up to here. On um, this floor plan, we are going to have the power jacks for front and back, TV hooked up on the outside, two inch receiver standard on these guys now, the tire monitoring system, outside speakers, power awning, LED light strip, everything. Yeah. How, long is, how long is this one? Uh, 25 oh, foot. Okay. Not very big. They don't go over really over 25, 26 foot. Okay. Um, as well, that's you, right, because it is uh, the mini light. I forgot that we mentioned ex it. Exactly. Uh, you can even put a, a solar panel portable one, you know, plug it in right there. We do have a bit of uh, storage under the Murphy bed. And then one key fits all. So what that means, your one key can unlock all this stuff. Nice. Which is nice. Magnet doors. You want to hear a coincidence? What's that? Chelsea that just won the Red Lobster gift card bought this RV. They're waiting for it to be delivered. Holy smokes. Yeah, Look, crazy. We, we must have just throw her... Red yeah, you could have just card. put the gift card in there. And he said, Blake, even though he's married, he's open for a wife and kid date. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> anything for free food. Yeah, anything. I'll, I'll risk the idea of my wife being furious that I'm going out with another woman just to eat free red lobster. <laughs> and then as we come in, we do have the U-shaped dinette slide. Uh, this also goes into a bed. Uh, we do have the Murphy. Now, those seats do kick up. So you have a nice little foot rest that will pop up. Um, as we come through here, this is actually your chocolate Newport Ash cabinetry, so the lighter cabinetry. Mm -hmm. Gas electric refrigerator. It's called chocolate? So the furniture is called chocolate. Oh, sure, okay. This is called Newport Ash. Gotcha, okay. Which is so I was nice. going to throw a fit if this was considered chocolate. Because <laughs> white chocolate is white, which yeah. definitely is not that, and then regular chocolate obviously is not that color. Maybe even white chocolate this sit one. for a couple of years and I get a nice little mold. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, this is called the moldy white chocolate. Who's <laughs> <laughs> right. naming, naming our cabin tree? Rockwood, please don't pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do like it. It's, it's, I like nice. the light color. Um, gas electric refrigerator. Now, you can get a 12-volt refrigerator with this. If you do, you automatically get a 190-watt solar panel in the roof, okay. which is pretty sharp. Uh, we do have all your bunks here. Let me step out of the way so everybody can see. Uh, bunks, the bottom bunk will actually lift up, um, and so you have a little bit more storage under there. As we see, a little netting, a yep. ladder, and everything's under there. <laughs> Chill. Still swallowing spicy spit. Uh, we had somebody ask if there's any electrical outlets. No, not in this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there yeah, are. All over, guys. So we got some of my bed. We have a nice little pop up here um, on the counter spot. We have some down here where your control panel is. Your speakers and everything, got some there. We have them here. On we the, have them the over bunks. here by the door with the pantry. All over. Yep. See if there's any in the bathroom. You got some in go. the bathroom. Uh, actually, yes, right there. There you go. You get a little bathtub thing here. Yeah, it's a nice little tub. So a lot of people like this floor plan if they have younger children. Who just can't take showers yet. So yeah. nice little tub. Do I need to get in this one too? Do I need to stand on this one? Yeah, Nobody's making fun of me yet, so I'm going to do it until people are like, this guy's weird for standing in every shower. Well, guess it gives them a nice little perspective of right. an actual human being inside of yep. it. Six foot tall, again, sorry if you've been watching all day and you hear me say this over and over again, uh, but room because of the skylight. You're not looking like Elf yet. No, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Uh, I almost fell. How awesome would that have been if I would have fallen out of that? Just a bit more karma, right you know what I'm saying? Hiding a jelly bean and she's just going to make a trip. Yeah, uh, they have some nice little pantry right here as well for dry goods. Yep. So the Rockwood Mini Light guys, these are outstanding. About twenty five foot, maybe right around probably twenty five, twenty six grand. Uh, the price is over here. Don't quote me on that; it's probably wrong. Um, it's 
it's down on it's down there somewhere. <laughs> there, they're gonna, somebody asking about another outlet on the. I don't know if there's one under there or not. There is. There is right here under this guy. All over. I don't know if somebody's messing with us. Or trying, it would be awesome. If you're messing with us, just getting us to point out all the outlets, I applaud you. <laughs> I wonder how many things you're going to plug in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Murphy bed. Yes, this is a Murphy, so lay that flat. And then if you get that side, I'll get this side. Okay. Watch your fingers when you let this yeah. down. You don't want to get them pinched in there. Pinch point, guys. And you've got plug-ins up there. Yep. Outlets on the end. Yep. And then more storage here on the sides. Now, this is pretty cool. So this just can't lift up. Right. I so tried earlier with one. I couldn't it. get it. You actually have to pull the little lever. Yep. Unlocks it. And then you can bring it up. And that is really easy to, Very easy. to get rid of. Very easy. And does this, what do you do, pull on this? Just pull it up. Push it back. Push it back. Nice. Easy. Nothing to it. Nothing. The best part about this campground is that there are no bears. <laughs> what? I'm, what are you keep looking at? Good night! That's a big bear! Let's do a giveaway. What are we going to give away? This right there, somewhere in this general area, is the prize we're going to give away. How are we going to do it? We're going to text the word WIN to this number, 833-717-0327. 833-717-0327 probably right there. This is what you're going to win. That's the number you need to text the word WIN to. And we'll do the 10th person to text the word WIN. Watch for the announcement in the chat. That's where we're going to announce the winner of this to that number when you text the word win, 10th person, uh, congratulations in advance. Five slide unit. Um, uh, again, I'd always, I always want to start up front. Uh -huh. We'll go up front and just sort of show you the front end. There's a full profile. There's a difference between full profile and mid profile um, units. Um, a mid profile. See how tall this is. See how, see how straight up that is. Yeah. Okay. You get a lot more, a lot more head clearance in your bedroom. Okay. okay? Um, stackable washer and dryer. You can do that up gotcha. there. Gotcha. Mid profiles are going to slope down, so typically you're not going to have near the I head see. clearance. Okay. Uh, for a person like me, full profile is the only way I can go. Okay. Right. Cool LED lights up front. Now you use the new RhinoFlex um, pin boxes, so you got a lot more turning radius because they're not, you know, really. Uh, basically long okay. and wide they're, they're more more compact compact okay. and everything yeah absolutely so i just want to show the front end just show the mm -hmm. differences there show the cool lights up here we'll move on back um huge passenger storage yeah. so you've got all kinds of space led power awning um blue or white light underneath um they do do some cool outside speakers which you'll see right there and then there's another one tucked behind the doorway there as well uh they do locate their spare tire up front um, now, a lot of people are like, hell, you know, I would, I wish it was mounted underneath. Well, until you get a flat, and then you don't wish it's there. Yeah. But look how big the storage is. I mean, you can, you can, I mean, you can put anything you want in this yeah. thing. And they use a nicer material um, for their flooring and everything on their outside storages. And they got jacks in there and everything else. So awesome. um, for TVs, and if you want to put like a TV up right there, you can do that. Okay. Four slide solid steps. Um, let's stop right real quick right here. Underbelly armor. So basically, um, Sandpiper's doing this now where a typical underside of the unit, right, is going to have a long piece of, I, I like to call it like, um, almost like duct tape. Right, okay. but it's but it's in certain pe uh -huh. pieces all the way through. Now they're using actually plastic pieces that are individual pieces that are screwed in. So okay. if you need access to a certain area, no more t pulling down this whole big duct tape and then have to put it up. You just take out individual panels, then drop down. You got an access point, screw them back smart. in. Simple and easy. So that's, that's one big thing smart. they're doing there. Buckeye service guarantee. I don't know how much we've went over that today. Um, that for if you're an Ohio customer, um, this this is a must in my opinion. Yes, we're going to have a great price, uh, but we're going to have free Ohio delivery. We're going to give you a free loaner RV if you got a major problem. Units got to come in, um, and, and it's going to be in the shop for a long period of time. We give you a free loaner RV so you're not missing trips. A lot of people don't think about that. You know, you've only got 
six month period of, of camping, right. right? Right. Well, if your trailer's in for three months, now you just miss half the camping season. That's a big plus with us that we do part of the Buckeye Service Guarantee. No other dealerships done that, and they haven't even thought about matching and doing that thing. So that's a big plus for buying from us. Awesome. This is a two entry unit, second door, bath and a half. Um, so this is your half bath which will come off of your uh, rear bunk room. That's okay. your main entry going into your main living area. It does have a cool outside kitchen. One of the nicer... This is also, real fast, this is great that it just goes right into the bathroom. You don't have to track through the whole unit. Yeah. Saves a lot of cleaning for mom. Right. Um, and, you know, it's easy access in and out. Uh, yeah. Hey, guys, another one we probably ought to address on camera. Don just said, do I need an appointment to come to your Virginia location to see a trailer? We do not have a Virginia location. We know last count, 27 dealers using our name. They try to fool people, make people think that they're RV wholesalers so they can get the business. Mm -hmm. They make people think they're going to get the service, but they're not us. We get phone calls all the time, unfortunately, from people saying, hey, I bought from your blank location. How do I get my trailer fixed? Unfortunately, wow. that wasn't us that you bought Ooh. from. There's a dealer in Virginia. She named the town. If you want to go peek, they do... Uh, Try to use our name. They are not us. We are in Lakeview, Ohio, and we are in uh, Dodge City, Texas. That's it. Now, we ship RVs all over the United States into Canada, actually all over the world for that matter, but sure. that that's not our dealership, Don. Please come to Ohio and see us. We'd love to take care of you. You don't need an appointment. If you want an appointment, though, we have people that make appointments every day with our, with our folks. We do have quite a bit in stock right now, yeah. surprisingly, again, because we've kept them on order, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, make them prove to you. Well, just call us if you're wondering. Yeah. Is that is that you? And then we can tell you. But we are not in Virginia. So thank you. Man, I'm glad yeah. you caught yeah. that. Thank you. you. May have saved him a lot of money, a lot of <laughs> frustration. That's good. Absolutely. Um, this is nice. One of the nicest outside kitchens you're going to get. They use a nicer material for prep, right? So not a formica that's going to absorb moisture over time. It does. A, it does have a sink. This is a sink that is plumbed into your gray tank, so you know filling it up and then just dumping it on the ground, it does actually go to your holding tank. Okay. You've got a fridge, it actually has a microwave out here. You've got full storage all the way up, right? They do cool little lights out the here. lights are great. You know, they do blue and, and white different lights, and you got little little switches for those, and you got more lights down below here too. Um, so why is this important? Why people like it so much? Because you're camping, mm -hmm. your campfire, your friends. This is great for prep. This is great for you know sitting around a campfire. Children want a bag of popcorn. Just heat it up here. You yeah. want to clean up. Everything's done here. Keeps your inside clean. Um, makes it simple and easy and very very accessible. So, awesome. um, does this have a thing on the back for a, a grill? It does. Okay. It does. Um, so you notice on the grill that is a swing around grill. Okay, so that'll swing all the way around to the side here. There's a quick connect propane disconnect there. Plugs in so you can grill back here. So you're not just stuck all. with just a microwave. A microwave is great, but sometimes you want to really cook out. And that happens with this outdoor kitchen because of the grill in the back. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just to mention something as we were coming back here, just uh, we just we just recently had, had renovated um, and built this building for, um, and, and again it came down to customer service. You know, we used to just have a bunch of bay or a bunch of uh, pickup spots out here, but they're all outside, yeah. right? Well, now the experience for the customer is not as great because when you can in the cold winter. It's cold outside, yeah. it's raining, <laughs> yeah. you can't control that. So we've got a nice bay now. This is where we do all of our pickups. Uh, customers are a lot more comfortable in here. Uh, they do the nice windows so you can see real good and everything too. So I just wanted to point that out. they got the nice flooring and yeah, everything. Yeah, the floor it's just, just went in. Just Buckeye something just colors. Yeah, recently got done, and, and I, I think it's just a huge plus for, for the buying experience for the customer. Yeah. Um, as we walk in here, let's stop for a second. I want to show this is new this year that I'm starting to see the um, different manufacturers do. So when you've got your, A, this has a strut, right? Mm -hmm. So it's easy okay. for, for my wife to be able to pick up, you know, otherwise it'd be pretty heavy. Yeah. The old ones, old solid steps used to have a pin that would go through here, right? Okay. Well, now those are, you can never hit them just quite right. <laughs> right. So now you just push this lever, right? So just locks in place. You want to adjust it. Oh, nice. You just adjust, right? So that's what's cool. They're doing that on their steps now. So that's a nice thing to have. Awesome. So I just wanted to point that out while we had it right there. Um, Let's go check out the inside. Yeah, I mean, that's the coolest part about it. This does have auto leveling, six point hydraulic auto leveling. I noticed as we were walking up through, so that's going to be on the unit. Come to the living room, right? So this is again a five slide unit. Um, you've got two slide outs in the living room, two slide outs in the bunk room, and one up in your bedroom. 
What's cool about this is, you know, you've got your sofa, right? You've got your theater seating. You've got your entertainment center, which just will come with the TV. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got your dinette. So you can sleep or sit two, four, eight people yeah. in here really comfortable for bigger families. Right. Um, or having company over and everything. Uh, they do nice accent lining up above their slide outs and nice residential um, refrigerator. True solid surface countertops. Um, stainless steel undermount sink and look at that freestanding range. That's how, a nice. How cool is that? Yeah, four burners, just like a house. It's, yeah. Um, check out the microwave. It's just like a house microwave. Right. It's not really small, right? And see that light it might switch. Be bigger than the one we have in my house. I hit that light switch right above you. That's some accent lighting right above the slide out. Oh yeah, okay. It's just neat how they do that. They do yeah. that, all, you know, little lights everywhere just to you know help accent. You got nice cool blue light underneath the island down below here. Um, which is cool. I see outlets on the back side of the island mm -hmm. everywhere. They do a fireplace in here, sound bar. Man, it's storage. It's got, uh, it's even got a lot. I mean, these units anymore have more stuff than my house yeah, has. Yeah, these are, this is, you know, this is sweet. As far as accessibility. I really dig the, uh, the, uh, fabric and the, the design on these. That's, that's cool looking. It is cool. Yeah, it's that cool. Sweet. It's got cool little residential lights up here. You look up above the island. Look how cool that residential is up top uh -huh. here too. So you're like doing. You can hang like pans from that. Yeah, it's just. You need to hang some stuff from that. That's. You know, modern. It's really like the modern type of look that a yeah. lot, a lot of things are going to now. So. Yep. Um, while we're right here, it does have a swing up countertop extension to give you more counter space. Um, Let's move forward and then we'll come back to the okay. cool part of the, of the bunk okay. room too. So while we're right here, while we're going up, there's all your locations for all your pa panels, um, slide out buttons, how full your tanks are, um, more, you know, different lights and stuff like that. So just a nice little cool, you don't even, it's not something sitting in your hallway, it's actually in a panel yeah. itself. So this will have two air conditioners. It does have a ceiling fan in the living room. Uh, we'll squeak by here and let's go to the bathroom first. Okay. All right. Real quick, I'm just getting an update. This is kind of cool. We mentioned earlier that we're going to give away two thousand. Or I'm sorry, two two hundred dollars per RV sold. We've already given two thousand dollars to that charity today. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Thank you and, guys. And for that for that mix up that I just said, I will give two dollars for everyone sold to charity. <laughs> uh, Tim just committed me to that. Uh, <laughs> And I still probably won't be able to afford it because you guys are crazy with your RV buying. Because, you know, this is the place to buy RVs. Uh, I can't see in there right now. Is it? Yeah, I nice? just wanted to show you real quick in here. Um, I'll just squeak in real quick. You can see, just to give you a perspective on size wise here, yeah. right? I'm 6'5. Plenty of room in this bathroom. Or five foot seventeen. <laughs> so you got nice uh, residential. It does have a seat in here where you can sit down. Um, you've got a you know your nice porcelain toilet. You do have a nicer. Just don't confuse the two. That could get nasty. Yep. Right. <laughs> nice mirror to get ready. Storage up top. So just a nice size bathroom. You know, I just wanted to sort of point it out yeah. and show the actual perspective. Let's go up to the bedroom. All right. So first things first, yeah, start, start there in the front. Yeah. Notice how much how tall that is in there. Yeah. There's there's your stackable washer and dryer. Right. There's your full profile. Um, already got the the hookups in there. If, you know, if you're not putting in a washer and dryer, it's just more storage. And now people are going to ask. I know washer and dryer do not come with. Do not come with the unit. Um, we can, and we can put them in, or we can order you one um, with an option for a washer and dryer. Okay. So um, you have a nice clean bed. Walk around. You'll have full storage underneath the bed. Uh, they've got a whole nother side to that storage up front. Yeah. Um, as you as you pull it pull it shut there, you'll see. And there's little latches just to keep that from doing. So that goes all the way through. Got a cool, nice Wi-Fi ranger up front to help with signal and everything. They cut into the front cap, so you got plenty of places for storage for shoes and everything else. They do a cool, you know, backlit headboard. Right. That's pretty cool. Little night light. That's all that they do there as well. At the foot of the bed, you've got um, your, you can put a bedroom TV in here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't actually come with a TV in the bedroom, but okay. it can be put in. Um, the jacks are already there, and then you've got more storage um, drawers down, chest down below there too. For the plug in. It's great. And I mentioned earlier, this does have two air conditioners. They run current together, so they're gonna push the whole coach with two airs, not just dump AC into your bedroom. Okay. So um, let's, let's head to the awesome. bunker. Pretty cool bunk room we'll nice go to there. 
Nice steps coming down with no carpet, so that's not going to wear out over time. Wow, look at all the storage up here. Holy moly. More accent lighting down below on the dinette there with that's blue lights. That's cool. I, I don't think I've seen it around the... That's that's sweet. Yeah, it's got a nice little switch down there. Yeah. You can utilize it. And then come back. This is this is great for kids, right? So you've got a whole entertainment center back here. for. So you've got storage over there, right? And notice this. A lot of people don't realize on Sandpiper, self-closing drawers, nice. right? Um, you mount your TV. If they got games, PlayStation, Xboxes, they can mount there, put their stuff down there. They've got a hole there, and you can plug right in. Cool little ladder. So you've got a bunk up above here. You've got, this is, um, this is your sofa that goes down to a bed. So this thing's really soft, but it's got USB ports and everything else located right here. You just pull this lever, that goes straight down to a bed. So it's sleeping or just hanging out area, good sure. for you. And then a bunk up above as well. Yeah. Um, so awesome little spot where parents can get separation for the kids. They got their own room. Kids can play back here and everything. Yeah, and bathroom. then you Got your half bath access yeah. that we had seen outside earlier. Yep. So it's great. Yeah, it's a nice RV. Five slides, and, and you know it's you're definitely going to need a bigger truck to be able to pull it. Uh -huh. uh, but a lot of people are putting it on the permanent spots, right? So you know instead of pulling it all, all over, a lot of people just like the little getaway. They'll put it down there at a at a permanent spot um, around the lake here at Indian Lake here in Ohio. That we we have. I mean campgrounds everywhere so there's people who aren't pulling these things and you know and we can deliver it over to the camp spot and stuff like that we do full setups and stuff like that so right very accessible on that type of things too so what's the uh, total on this bad boy yeah so uh real quick on the, everything uh this with all the uh, discounts sorry that was my fault i put the i put the ladder out just ladder out. just to watch it <laughs> gotcha <laughs> i tripped over it i'm hysterical this is fifty three two eleven with today's discounts. Um, estimated payment's going to be right around four oh nine. Um, it does come in basically thirteen thousand pounds. Total length's forty one foot eight inches. Width of the um, is eight foot, and then you've got five slides and sleeps uh, up to eight. You know, so plenty plenty of places to sleep and everything else. So. Um, before I let you go, I mean, like, one thing I'd just like to say is uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, one thing that God, God put on my heart today is don't don't waste a day. Have fun. Get out there and camp with your kids. Um, tomorrow's never promised. A lot of people don't realize camping really draws your family in together. Mm -hmm. Allows you to have some time together. Don't waste a day. Get, get, we'd love to get you camping. Come by from us. Good Christian-based business here. Um, and, and we do appreciate you and, and, and think the world of you and treat you like family. So. You, know, you mentioned the family thing. Right outside, they've got a sticker out here that says making memories on it. I did a commercial for a garden center a few years ago and my line, my line with my fake family was uh, we were working and putting like plants in a pot and I looked at the camera and said, we don't call it gardening, we call it making memories. And my buddies <laughs> teased me about that commercial. I was paid to say that line. It sounds super cheesy, but that's exactly what you're doing. You're making memories that you will never, ever forget. You'll cherish for a lifetime. I've mentioned before about a quote that really uh, opened my eyes to wanting to spend more time being the best person I could be. Uh, and the quote was, at some point in your childhood, you and your friends went outside to play for the very last time and nobody knew it. And that, that when I first heard that, I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty powerful. And then I started thinking about... Um, about um, at some point, my Sebastian, my now 20-year-old, asked me to wrestle with him for the very last time, and I can't remember if I said yes or no. And so I, everything I do now, I try to think, okay, this is, this is going to be a memory for the rest of my life, and camping is one of the best ways to make memories. My wife and I went camping three or four times last year, and I remember everything about every trip we took. Absolutely. Um, so absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So much more than just the RV. It's the experience. The, uh, and the memories that you're, you're buying, you're, you will be creating. So if you're in the market for an RV and you're ready to make that jump, this is the place to do it. Call, talk to Mitch, talk to any of the guys in there. They want to get you into an RV. Yep, thank you guys. Yep, thank you for tuning in. And I'd love to help you out. Call me anytime. Um, we got somebody asking about price matching real quick. Angela is asking about price matching. What's what's the deal on that? I don't know if we've ever talked about that before. Yeah, absolutely. We'll price match anything. Um, I mean... 99% of the time what I run into is when we go to price match, 
we, we could get a bill of sale, but we got to get a bill of sale with all fees. So most dealers, what they're doing now is they'll, they'll give you a price, right? But then when you sit down and do paperwork, well, we've got the this fees, fees, this yeah. fee, this fee, and this that's fee. Something else now we're two, today. three grand difference in money. So that that's no problem doing it. Yeah. Um, very rarely do, do we find something that's matched up apples for apples, and we have to do that. Um, if somebody's going out of business uh, from time to time, we might have have that happen, but very rarely, especially as good as the market is, most people ain't going to be going out of business. Yeah. So, yeah, we, absolutely we can do that. Yeah. Awesome. But, again, uh, like you said, a lot of those lower prices – are going to be higher prices once they throw in their hidden fees that don't happen at RV wholesalers. Uh, so, yeah, be aware of that. But, yeah, listen to Mitch. He knows what he's talking about. All right, perfect. I got something cool for you to do. If you're thinking, I want an RV and I'm excited about it and it's just going to be kind of fun to build my own, you can do that. You go to RVWholesalers.com. You can see up in the corner, Build My Own. I think that's what it says. Super easy to do. I've even shot a video. Maybe we'll show that. Maybe we won't. Uh, but you just get on there and you build your RV. You, build, you pick like what RV you want and then you go into the floor plan. The cool thing is that you can, you can put your phone number in there and then after you build it, RVW will send you a quote, and it's, I mean, it's almost immediate, it's, it's weird how quickly you get that quote, but uh, it only takes a couple minutes, and it's kind of fun to just play around with different ideas, and the cool thing is, I've done this once just to see how it works, I put my phone number in, I got the quote, like within, I'm not joking, within like 15, 30 seconds, it was fast, I got the quote, and then I never heard back from them again, I mean, they had my phone number, they could have spammed me and sent me all kinds of text, hey, you want that RV or not? It's going to go quick. And they never did. So feel safe knowing that you can build your RV, take a look and kind of peruse your options and send them your phone number and they're not going to harass you, but you will get a quote. It's so easy and it's just, it's kind of fun to just even just live vicariously through that as you're building the RV. Go do that right now. RVWholesalers.com, build my own and see what you can get for the price range you're looking for. All right, another great, great day selling a bunch of RVs. And I mention every time, it's not just that we sold RVs and we did well at our jobs, but we've made people's dreams come true. People are out there. They've got the RVs that they've always wanted. And, uh, yeah, that's good for them, right? That no, was good. Yeah, was absolutely. Good. Yeah. Hopefully they were entertained. Yeah. If Hopefully they had some fun. If not, come back next month. We'll try again. Yeah, we'll give it another try. We'll try harder. Yeah. Maybe not yeah. harder. We'll just try. We will we'll try, try at least this much. Maybe a little less. I felt like we really, really stretched ourselves today. Yeah. Well, don't we always? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thanks again to our sponsors, uh, Equalizer, Blue Ox. I got their hat. Uh, Dish Good Outdoor. Showers. And, of course, RV Wholesalers. Perfect. Uh, it was a good good day. Let us know. Let us know about your experience. You can always hit us up, send us emails at rvwholesalers.com. We would love to hear from you. Tell us about your experience. Tell us what you love about the show, what you'd like to see us do. If you'd like to see maybe Dave Drinnell get pushed into a pool sometimes instead of me always falling into the Nobody water. would enjoy that at all. Oh, I would. I would. The all right. is way too big. <laughs> Splashes in. The, water's the gone. Is, what they all like is Trevor Swift. Yeah, Trailer Swift. Nailed it. Thanks again, guys. All right, we'll see you next month. Uh, be there or be square. I, sometimes I need to think about my endings. That was, yeah, you that, was, that was kind of neat. Yeah. That's all right. We expect less. Just